let's see. Okay. Do do do. So if you guys are watching this back as a video, welcome. I have not live streamed in I think over a year. Hello, uh, username I cannot understand because uh, it's in a different language that I don't know how to read, unfortunately. So, how would you like me to refer to you as? Um, otherwise, I don't really know how to address you properly. Um, Abigail, my friend, hello, hello, hello. How are you? All right, bear with me, guys. I've streamed in what feels like an eternity. Um, <laughs> so just getting everything set up again. Finally have time. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Just like I said, I haven't had the time. Kimmy, got it. Well, Kimmy, hello there and welcome. Welcome to the stream. So we playing some Godbracer 3 today because it's like the only thing I can stream <laughs> currently. I'm doing well, Abigail. All things considered, I'm doing well. I can't complain. Mm. Cannot complain. Um, Alright, so... Has it really been two years? Maybe it has. I keep forgetting. The pandemic threw everything off, man. I'm like, my timing schedule, I'm like two years off of what I think. I'm like, oh yeah, I did this last year. And it's like, no, I actually did it two years ago. <laughs> pandemic really threw things off for me. Um... So yeah, let me double check. Everything is good. So just bear with me for a second. All right, um, wrong controller. Turn on my PS4 and I was trying to use it. I don't use that controller here. Um, is my actual controller even working? I don't think it is. Strange. My controller is not actually working. Hold on. I might have to restart the game. Um, no? Hmm. Hold on, guys. Yeah, I'm good, Kimmy. Thanks for asking. I hope you're doing well. So, yep, yeah, we will be playing Gout Racer here today. I'm just trying to see why my controller isn't working. A little bit of Stranger Danger going on here. Stranger Danger, that's a great name for a horse. I feel like we haven't done that on any of my horses, so... Maybe our next original in this game. Why is my controller not working, dude? Okay, hold on. Controller. My computer's not even detecting my controller. WTF. More Stranger Danger. Okay. But yeah, I think Stranger Danger would actually be a pretty good name for a horse. What do you guys think? You're doing well? It's good to hear. Very good to hear. Um, Leanne, hey, how are you? Good to see you all in here. Blah, 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 blah. Seriously, why is my controller not working? I just used it yesterday. <laughs> uh, it's so strange. That's really strange. Maybe I have to like, actually restart the emulator. Hold on. Ghost, um, hold on a second. Ghost Stranger Danger controller says no. <laughs> Honestly, though, I just want to play some Gallop Racer, man. That's it. Just want to play some Gallop Racer. Um, so let me make sure this works. I have another controller I can use. I just don't want to use that one because I would have to remap my controls. All right, this should work. Love this game, still so much nostalgia. All right. Controller just not working today, huh? Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, there it is, finally, my, my goodness. Okay, are we good? Can I play now? 
I can't tell. This thing is still acting so weird. Okay. It's working, but not in the way that I want it to. So yeah, we will be playing 2000 and... Uh, 2000. This is technically God versus 2000. Game was made in 99, but you know how games are. Alright, I think I need to remap my controls. Oops. Um, is this... Yeah, this is D-pad. So this will be... I think up... Left, down, right, triangle, square, yeah, 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 mm. Just remapping the controls and we'll get in here. Don't worry. And that's L3, R3. I should be good to go now. Let's see. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. It's all working right now. It's all working. All right. Let's play some freaking Galbracer 3. Uh, let me know if the volume is good for game and commentary. I usually have a second window with my stream open, but uh, I'm not doing that today. So just let me know if I need to turn down the game volume, and I will. And let me make sure everything is good in the Streamlabs software, which it should be. Oh, you guys will hear my PS4, which I need to turn off. Apologize for that. That's, um, do -do -do. Let me see. So... That's the only thing about streaming, man. When you don't stream for a while, it takes a little bit of time to kind of get back into rhythm, honestly. But everything should be good. Now, why isn't the chat popping up? I want that so people can see who watched this back as a video. Um, chat box is not popping. Done. Will that work? Hmm. I guess I need to make a new one. Hold on. Chat box, chat box, chat box. Yeah, I really do need to stream more. Because I forget all of this stuff. <laughs> Naturally. Add. Uh, I mean. Sure, just add something now. I just feel like it's not working. I don't see anything. Do you guys see a chat box on screen? Goose is a good boy. Yeah, Goose is doing pretty well for us, honestly. Really happy with his, his efforts. Um... I doubt it, but can you guys see the chat box at all? It doesn't. It works and it doesn't work for me. I, I don't know why. Um, yeah, it works and then it doesn't work. So you know what? I may have to do something different. I will just go ahead and add a source. I think it's... Um, is it media? Is it browser? No, it's a display. No, I think it's Windows. It's another Windows capture and I'll just call it like chat or something. 2022 chat. All right. I apologize. To be honest, I wasn't going to be able to figure this stuff out until I went live anyway. So, um, I will put this like, actually, I'm going to move this over here and then put this in the upper left hand corner. Up. Yeah, didn't want to do that. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. No. This is the issues I go through, man. All I wanted to do is just move my chat over here. That's literally it. I just wanted to move it to the corner. Don't worry. I'll shrink it. Hopefully people have good vision. I could just move this over, honestly, but my over it messes up my overlay and everything. We are live. Arminio, what's going on, brother? What's going on, man? Long time no see. Long time no talk. I'm um, happy you all are here, man. That means a lot. Thank you. Oh, what am I going to do? Let me think. Because, like, the chat is not cooperating with me as I want it to. I can't really move it anywhere where, like, it's not obstructing all of the screen. I could probably do something like that, but I don't know how that'll look. Like, I had my, I had everything set up properly, and then I just barely moved the box. You know what? I'll just stick with that for now. I can always adjust things as we roll. But yeah, we'll finally get back into... I've been wanting to play 2003 for a little bit, so I'm kind of happy to be playing it now. All right, whatever. Um, So, we only have four horses. Wow, I didn't realize I retired so many. Um, So yeah, guys, let me know audio and everything is still good. Um, Oh, I can't shorten the chat. Oh my goodness, Eric, you fool. Just, yeah, shrink the chat. Shrink the chat, dude. Ah, uh, yeah. Guys, please keep me um keep me on task for like live streaming more regularly. 
when I say regularly, I mean like on a weekly basis. Which horse camp um, for the Triple Crown? I, I'm not really not sure yet. I'm still kind of doing my research. I I can't say anybody stood out to me like in previous years. So I'm kind of kind of indecisive. Wow, Goose 107 turf rating, absolutely amazing. Look at that price. Look at this purse. Goose has been our best horse, honestly, man. Five wins. What a what a stud. Um. So nobody's ready for a race. Well, actually, everybody is except for Goose. I have any colors? What am I keeping this horse for? Does anybody remember? Okay, speed. So we can poke you in the comments and other vids. Yes, please do. Like 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 big pokes, man. Really big, solid like. Ow, that hurt. Type of poke. <laughs> <laughs> so I can keep myself accountable. Does anybody remember? Were we using Ebony Colors for probably like eventually to... Yeah, he has, I had to have been saving him to use for uh, some sprint breeding. When is my next live stream? Uh, I'm going to try for f probably Friday, to be honest with you. Ideally. If I can. I I'm not sure, actually. I'll have to wait and see. If not Friday, it may have to be some time next week, but, um, but yeah, I, I would like to try again Friday. Um, if not, like I said, it'll be next week because there's a lot going on right now, so I'm getting new internet, but I don't know if it'll be ready by then. Yeah, right, Abigail. Uh... And blues colors, he has very good stamina. And oh my gosh, look, look at that preference! Look at that leg type. Can run him literally anywhere. That's amazing. So and then we have Alshiba, uh, who is okay. No wins yet. So let's go to Ebony Colors to get you in a race. You run five to eight on the turf in the flesh, and we'll start off at the sunset. And then Alshiba, you go six to nine again on the turf, but he can also run on the dirt. I mean, it's true he can. I'll just put both of them in those races. And then Blues, blah 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 blah. Only one win in sixteen races. What's going on there? Is he a late developer? He's at his peak, so maybe this will actually be his year. All right, so a Blues, let's get you seven to thirteen. Uh. Grade three? I don't know. Well, you know, he, uh, nah, I don't know. Actually, I'm just sticking to opens. Oh, handicap. Okay, so maybe a grade three will be better. Ten furlongs is kind of long. Handicap. Handicap. My goodness. Stop. I just checked that one. Sorry. Um, I don't think he's ready for a grade two. Like, I'm not trying to do that, man. <sighs> Thank you. My goodness. Game is just like, handicap for you, handicap for you, handicap for you. Relax, bro. Relax. Let me race, man. All right. Uh, not the greatest of odds. Mm. Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to do something with my computer right quick. Hold on a second. Hold up. Pay. All right, uh, let's do that. Oh, wait, wait, just changing some things around right quick. All right, let's see if any of that improves. And actually, I can set you to like really, really low. Okay, here we go. Let's race. Let's race, let's race, let's race. I haven't played this game in months. Since the last upload, which I think was like the beginning of January. Okay, not a bad start. So he's a closer. Do 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 do. Now I forgot. I always have to remember the controls. Arshar Junior, hello. Ah, gosh darn it! Don't move into my way. Um, but switching Gallop Racer games, especially since I literally play like all of them, I always have to be mindful of controls so I don't accidentally whip my horse. At a very early stage in a race. Who are you? Where are you going, bro? Who's that? That is uh, Sonic Wings. Okay. I think we're doing good with stamina. We should have a really strong run here in the stretch. I'm going to wait till this field kind of 
Oh yeah, they're going really early, and we have a really strong chance. So we got a long way to go. I gotta get them going now. I don't know where the gap is gonna free up. I don't know where the gap is gonna free up. Come on, Blues, run them down. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, the AI. We have been we have been robbed. Ah, oh, that's so. That was a win. That was an easy win. Like we had so much stamina. There really wasn't a gap. Uh, the only option would have been to go all the way to the outside. And I didn't, I, I hesitated to do that. That's usually what I like to do. But I'm just like, no, maybe a gap will free up. That's, that's why I don't like waiting for gaps. It doesn't work for me. I know I was watching other people play. Like, gaps do clear out or do clear up for them. But, like, it doesn't work for me. I should have went to the outside. That's annoying. That was an easy win or at least a, a podium for sure. But what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Obvious Gourmet didn't pass away in February. She had her foal in March. You retired her in March. Leon, what game are you playing? Or are you talking about real life? All right, Alshiva, better odds here today. Uh, we're sitting, well, right outside the money, field of 10. We're expected to finish, like, what, sixth? Fifth or sixth? Um, we're going to run towards the front and towards the outside, unless I can get a nice inside trip. Ashard, I appreciate that. Oh, Galbraith 2006. I don't play 2006, bro. Never have, actually. I play all the Galbraithers except for 2006. I will eventually one day, but I'm not I'm not a huge fan of that game just because Revolution seems so easy to get. I just feel like it wouldn't be challenging. You know? Like, at the highest level, like I just feel like it'd be so easy. Um, so, 2006 is a game, you know, if I do play, it'll be just kind of one-off videos. I don't think I'll, like, do a long-term series. Unless I try to do something specifically to make the series more challenging. Like, maybe I will intentionally not get double S ranked horses. You know what I mean? That would make it more worthwhile. Because it's too easy to get revolutions in that game. And I just don't want to do a series on that. So we're sitting pretty good here with Alshiba. Three furlongs left to go here. And uh, we actually have space, so I don't have to worry. I'm going to move to the outside. Now we're going to go. Now we're going to go. Let's go, Alshiba. Run him down. Run him down. Furlong and a half left to go. Alshiba closing in. Very close race. The leader is tiring. We will finish. As long as we finish in the money, I'm straight. And fifth place. It's about the best we can do. This horse is still kind of like ish at the moment. Still ish. Not a lot of great stamina, to say the least, clearly. Um, you're playing 2004? Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, 2004. It's still very, very enjoyable. I like that the AI aren't as stupid in that game as they are in 2003. But I gotta say, 2003 is really becoming my favorite. Um, which is, yeah. It's pretty amazing. But I, I enjoy all of them, clearly. But 2003 has really been enjoyable for me. Okay. Yeah, Alsheep, I don't know. I mean, he's only three years old. Keep in mind. So, I mean, he's... what? What is his growth type? Is he a late developer? No, this is going to be his best year. Well, Shiba, you better start putting out. Do I play iHorse in my iPhone? No, I do not. The only games I play on the iPhone are Champion Horse Racing, Rival Stars occasionally, and then Pocket Stables um, occasionally. But I don't really play anything else mobily. All right, Ebony, we got to redeem ourselves with you because that was an easy win. But you run 5 to 8 on Zetef. Nightingale, let's go. And Goose Army, let's get you into a race, finally. Look at Goose. Oh, my gosh. Pretty solid, man, for an original. Uh, 10 to 14 on the turf. Great stamina. Really good speed on the turf as well. So Goose is, I mean, Goose is a grade one. I haven't played this game in a while, so, like, I've totally forgotten how many grade ones he's acquired. Or uh, maybe one or two. Um, None of these are looking enticing. I guess we're going to have to do, like, a grade two or something, huh? That's fine. A grade two should be right up his alley. Undercover is favorite horse. Undercover agent? Or is it a different horse? All right. All right. Loose colors. Better odds here today. And we, we should have won the last race. I'm, I'm winning this race or coming very close to it. So with Goose, I'm... Oh, this is Blues. Blues colors, excuse me. So, yeah, with Blues... 
I can run him anywhere. I'm going to run him as a closer, and I'm probably going to keep him to the outside if I can't get the, uh, get the trip on the rail. That would be ideal, but we'll see. Okay, start. Doesn't really matter. Uh, since we're already outside, I might as well kind of keep him out here, to be honest. Just save ground. And then... Well, 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 relax, 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 bro. Relax, 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 brother. Yeah, I'm just going to keep him to the outside because I don't know what they're going to do. Right now, Galbraith 2004, you have some promising foals. Awesome, Kelly. It's always exciting about that game and the fact that it doesn't cap how many foals you can have. That's the only thing about 2003 I really do not like. The fact that there's a limit on how many horses and how many foals you can have at one time. I love that 2004 is unlimited, but sometimes it does become overwhelming for me. Now, I know we have a long way to go, but we'll make it happen. All right, let's go. Here we go with loose colors. Very long way to go. On the outside, very nice trip. Down the stretch. Now, this horse in front of us, I don't know if this, this has, that has to be the favorite. Yeah, it's definitely the favorite, but we're going to get an easy second place. Fair play, fair play. Clearly, the favorite was too much of a match for us. That's fine. If I would have gotten the jump on the favorite, maybe we could have won that race, um, but... I'm not disappointed with that. I'm really not. We'll take it. I tried. Favorite was not budging. So it's second place in a grade three. Ruby Dooby Doo. I forgot the horses in this game. Spoon Man, yeah. Yeah. One by two lengths. Weren't catching that horse. You've been there as well? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2004 is uh, very, very enjoyable, man. It's very enjoyable. I'm excited to see uh, our newest foals from our previous episodes once we get to that point. Just to see what we can acquire. Still, we still have a lot to accomplish in that game. I know we're like at year 24 or something, but there's still a lot. Goose Army, are you the favorite? Yes, sir. One dollar. I love it. Heavy favorite. Nobody should even be close to us. And we're going to run towards... Oh, we are completely... We're going to stalk in this race. I like it. All right, let's get Goose Army a great two win, eh? Here we go. Beautiful. The Oakland Stakes, the great two Oakland Stakes. All right, and we'll just let the field do what they need to do. Go ahead. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You're currently in year 10? Nice. Oh, Goose, relax, 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 please, relax, okay. Year 10. Man, that feels like forever ago for me. Because I was playing a lot of the game without commentary when I first started kind of YouTube. I think I, initially I started with no commentary. Then um, as I started to play it more, I realized, like, yeah, commentary would help. Slow pace, that's good to know. So we have to win this race though. I don't know what the why are they running eight like seven wide? Oh gosh, the AI in these games, like they just they don't even race properly. Like look at this. There's seven wide up here in the front. They really are. Now with Goose. I don't know what is gonna free up, so I'm just kinda gonna Oh my goodness. I have to move to the outside. That's fine. Okay, late run. Here we go. Here we go with Goose. Close him down, man. Look at this speed from Goose Army. <laughs> Look at the closing speed. That's a. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. And we're just going to get there at the wire. Very, very close race because I was waiting for a gap to clear. I wasn't going to be able to punch through. Goose Army. What an absolute stud, man. Gets it done. By a neck. Half a length. Great, great two win. Yeah, you're the winner. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's so funny. Great win for Goose. Gets the job done. Yeah, half a length over Loving Dream. Let's go. Love that speed, man. The fact that he can stalk like that and then just absolutely mow down the field in the last two furlongs of the race. That's such a fun ride, man. Big win, big win, big, big win for Goose Army there in that grade two. Try to get him into a grade one whenever I can next time around. 
Ebony Colors, long shot here today. Why? Why are we the long shots? Huh, interesting. All right, let's roll. Let's rock and roll a Ayatollah. Year 14, Gout Racer, 2004. Nice. All right. 232 wins and 6, uh, 148 starts. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sorry, guys. I was just changing that to make sure my chat was on live. Pretty solid. I mean, that means you ha you almost have a 33% chance of winning with those uh, numbers. So, so that's really good. 33% win ratio, essentially. All right. Um, I know we're the long shot, so I, I might as well just keep Ebony back here, to be honest. I don't think we have anything to lose. All right. All right, let's just see how close we can get to the rest of the field. I'm not going to use the whip till we get up the hill. All right, let's go. Wow, look at this surge from Ebony Colors. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow, look at Ebony Colors. Are we going to get up to win this? No way. No way. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, man. We were the long shot, ladies and gentlemen. We weren't supposed to, We were supposed to finish last. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. Oh my goodness. What a run. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. Ebony colors. You go. What on earth? <laughs> I gotta watch that back. Fast pace. And we win by a length. What just happened? What literally just happened? I wasn't expecting that run. I think Ebony does have a pretty high speed rating. I'll double check. I think the speed rating is 80-something, but I, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, we saved ground running essentially as a closer. I had the inside trip. Oh, my gosh. Ebony, what a run, man. Holy cannolis. Seriously, like, what a freaking run. <laughs> I can't remember having a race like that in any of these Gallup Racer games in a while where we were the long shot, and I genuinely had no expectations of winning no chances i'm just like i'm gonna see what we can do i'll wait i didn't use the whip till we got to the top of the hill i keep forgetting in this game that that's amazing what a run what a run look at this all the way from the back could you imagine seeing that in real life <laughs> look at that it just like it's like the rest of the field were just gassed man ebony punching right through what a win. What a win. Wow. Good stuff. Let's go. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Abigail. Yeah, that was awesome. Awesome win there. Wasn't expecting that. 22 starts, 18 wins at Galbraith 2004. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good to hear that we all are pretty good at the game. You have any colors? Let's go ahead and check. Oh, I forgot. Ebony is a late developer. So that, that was his first win. Wow, I forgot. Late, late bloomer here. So he's raced 17 times. That was actually his first win. And his speed figure is 79 on the turf. So yeah, he's pretty quick in this game. I mean, of course, you can get much higher than that. But for the most part, that, that's a decent speed figure. And obviously, it's going to get into the 80s possibly high 80s by the time he's six years old that was a really really big win great stuff there from ebony colors let's go you know, all my horses are boys now don't have any fillies i think most of them are in the quote unquote breeding barn waiting for us to use all right al sheba six to nine 12 group one wins nice very nice 37 starts, 23 wins. Guy's got some good stats. Play on normal? No no worries. Whatever difficulty you play on, getting the wins is really all that matters. All right, Oshiba, decent odds here today. 
all my games for Galbraith, right, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Um, this one is hard. 2003 is hard. For, yeah, they're all at the, the, at the highest, I think. The only game I don't play on hard is uh, Horse Racing Manager 2, I think. I think that's still on normal. Just because that game is still difficult regardless of the difficulty, but, like, it's really hard on hard. Like, it's it's... It's very difficult. Only a couple people are able to, like, really play that game on hard. Just because it's not coded and programmed properly. I know there are people in the community that work on that game. And they've made some improvements, for sure. Um, but again, I, I kind of want to play that game for more so the experience. Like, the challenge is, is fine. But it's about the experience. Because I've never been able to get through Horse Racing Manager, like, long. Um, you know, the, the longest playthrough I've had is like three years in the game, and then I would go bankrupt. So I would like to get through that game like how we are in these games. Ten plus years, get into breeding, see what we can do. And then eventually, it may, it may just kind of get boring. Alright, Alshiba, we're going to wait, we're going to wait. Now we're going to go, now we're going to go. Now we're going to go with Alshiba, not going to whip till I get to the top of the hill. Here we go, here we go. Oh, look at this closing speed from Alshiba. Field is tiring. Field is tiring. Alshiba's rolling in. I don't think it's going to be enough for the win. It's going to be a fourth, almost a third. That's fine. Alshiba just needs a little bit more speed, man. Especially being a stalker like that. Just need a little bit more speed. We just missed out on third. Just missed it. Not bad, though. Not bad. We'll still get money for that. That's fine. Wing stage. I recently won a G1 against Colts with a Philly. That's a great feeling, isn't it? To have the girl just absolutely annihilate the boys in the field. Gotta love that. <laughs> Gotta love that. The Phillies deserve so much more respect. Like you guys remember from my previous video, she was 25 to 1. That's a huge win. Big long shot win. But I really want Phillies to be eligible, at least, to participate in the Kentucky Derby if they can win, you know, acquire the points. I just, I think it's stupid that they can't because. There are some fillies that are just as good as the boys if you give them the chance. And honestly, your horses are like athletes, you know. Um, certain fillies, certain horses can be a little bit more motivated depending on the competition. We've seen horses like that. So the gals can smoke the boys for sure. I'm just like, it's just traditions. It's like, oh, the Kentucky Derby just has to be all the boys. Like, no, let a filly have a chance, man. That would be awesome. There's no reason. There's literally no legitimate reason to not allow a Philly to have a chance in the Derby at this point. I understand traditions, but like, you know, it's 2022. Like, give a Philly a chance. Give her the chance. <sighs> honestly, give her a chance. And honestly, like, if, if, like, when you think about the Horse Racing Association and anything that's a part of that from a business perspective when it comes to America... And it's just like it's stupid. Okay, ten to fourteen for Goose Army, because I'm okay. Um, so yeah, I hope one day. I, I I hope in our lifetime, obviously, they they will eventually allow Phillies to be eligible. You know what I mean? I don't know when, but I hope it becomes a thing. All right, seven to thirteen for Blues Colors, who can run on turf or dirt, um, which is actually really nice. Now, Blues, what type of costs? Hmm. So, Blues... Yeah, Blues got his first win. Ebony and Blues, how confusing! They both are five years old. They both have... Guys, look at this. Ebony Colors, five-year-old. He has 17 races, one win. Blues Colors, almost a very similar name. He has 17 races and one win. What are the odds? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what are the actual odds of that? That That's kind of wild. Did I see the F1 race last Sunday? Oh my gosh, did I see it? That was a great start to the F1 season. Oh man, I, I can't wait. I actually have an F1 channel. I keep forgetting to link it because I know some people that obviously watch horse racing also watch Formula 1. I'll be linking it. Um, but yeah, that, that race on Sunday was, was really, really enjoyable. Like it, I'm so excited for the season because, to me, that race proved that the cars, how they were designed to be able to follow each other closely, we got to see that in Sunday's race, like 100%. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm really excited to see how the teams continue to develop and fix their issues. You know, seeing the Haases up there, seeing the Alfa Romeros, um, seeing Ferrari dominate. Ferrari's my favorite team, always has been. 
So, yeah, I just, I'm so excited for this Formula One season. I, I cannot wait for this race, even this weekend. And so, and, in uh, the Middle East, that that should be a really good race, especially on, on a street circuit. Nobody, they haven't, none of these teams have really been able to test these cars out on street circuits. Like Sims simulators are probably the most work they've been able to do. So now that they can actually go to Super Haas, right? <laughs> Gotta love it, you know? Let's actually put Blues in the World Cup, eh? Heck yeah. Um, but yeah, none of these teams have been able to test their cars out on street circuits. So this this weekend's race, I think, is going to be really, really amazing. I, I think it's going to be very unpredictable and chaotic in regards to just not knowing what's going to happen. Um, yeah, so I am really excited, man. All right, Ebony Colors, not bad odds here today. We have a chance. Did you see the Fountain of Youth? I did not, Rhea. I did not. Excuse me. But yeah, um, if you guys, like I said, I'll, I'll link it. I'll try to link it actually after this race. My Formula One channel, um, it's a discussion channel. I do talk about, you know, the events, drivers, and all that stuff. So I also have a Formula One gaming channel. Um, I'm not, I haven't been playing on it as much lately. In fact, I haven't really been playing on it at all. But I will start uploading more content. So just for anybody that is into Formula One, um, yeah, I will uh, link that channel. So. All right, Ebony Colors. We're sitting outside the money here with our odds today. So, I think I figured out the best way to really run the spurt in this game. You don't use the whip until you get at the top of the hill. See, previously I was using the whip still while my horse is going uphill, and obviously that's just going to tire it out more. So, you get on the reins as you're going uphill, and then as soon as you're on flat ground again, then you go on the whip, and you have a really strong furlong and a half to use the whip, essentially. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's being patient. So I'm going to have to get in my gap. See, they're on the whip. They're on the whip. We're going to save some ground, save some stamina. I'm going to wait till a little bit later. Okay, furlong left to go. Let's push. Let's push. Tough field here today. Very tough field. Closing in, closing in, getting the money. Not going to happen. Yeah, that's a tough field. That's fine. Fair play. We weren't supposed to do great anyways. Pretty tough field. I mean, you look at everybody. There's, there's, I mean, there's seven virtually... Eight out of the ten horses were all within two lengths at the wire. That's that's what lets you know it's a very tough race. Jello Cello. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Love your content, passion, knowledge, and horse racing. I'm in the harness racing myself. I just wanted to thank you for everything. Jello, thank you for your support, honestly. That means a lot. It really does. I love to see uh, that you guys enjoy the content. Um now, Jello, do you actually participate in harness horse racing yourself as like a driver or a trainer, or is that just a sport you know you're into? I would say over more than thoroughbred horse racing, regardless of whatever you do. That that that's awesome. I was just curious, but thank you for that comment and, and the support. I'm just glad that I can. Uh, I'm fortunate to be able to play these games and talk with you guys, and we have a community. Um, yeah, I, I really do appreciate it. I've been telling my girlfriend that I'm like I, I appreciate. Uh, the community here. I have another channel with almost 40,000 subscribers. Completely different niche. Completely different stuff on there. But, like, the community here is so strong, you know. And I feel like we all really know each other to an extent. Even if we don't talk all the time. And I, and I think that's that's special to have, you know. And we're all from so many different places in the world. I, I really think that's special, you know. Goose Army's up in a grade two here today. We are the favorite. Let's keep it rolling. Goose is absolutely killing it right now, man. Goose Army. Finally! I've been naming my horses Gooses in this game forever. And finally we have a goose that's actually winning. You know what I mean? <laughs> I watched this video when you tell us how to download this, but you messed up. Huh. Um, Rhea, you would probably have to um, just restart the process, honestly. And, and it should work. I was wondering if I need to update that video and like come up with a new one because I know sometimes like files and things change so I'll probably look into that after the live stream because I think I don't know if it was you somebody else left a similar comment so maybe I actually need to check my files to make sure everything is updated properly <sighs> my weather apps always telling me about it's gonna rain it's gonna rain and then it doesn't freaking rain like it's like ah rain's on the way hey do you know rain's on the way hey Eric you want to know something rain's on the way and I'm like what is the rain I don't see the rain there's no rain on the way. 
The planet really must not be in a good shape because I swear, like, um, meteorologists. Well, no, is that what they're called? People that study weather, or is it something else? The, whatever the, the title is for people that study the weather, I feel like they've been so off lately, like in the last year. You know what I mean? At least for me, maybe you guys, they've been more better about it. But for me, like in my area, they have been extremely off. No, I don't need rain. I, I really don't either. But I'll take rain over snow. I've been around harness horse racing. I was a kid. My dad is a co-owner, so I've been around horses my whole life. That's awesome. That that's something I really want to do. Jello. Like I've always loved horses. I haven't really, like I've I go to my local track. I have two local tracks: thoroughbred and harness horse racing. I've only been, I would say, in the stables like a couple of times. I haven't really known anybody per se. That's, you know, that could allow me to be in a position to actually be around the horses to that extent. But I really want to one day. Look at this run from Goose Army. Look at Goose fly. That's it. It's over. <laughs> Game over. Goose Army is going to win another grade two. This horse is amazing. Look at Goose. What a stud. What a stud. But yeah, Jello. Um, I, I would love to. That, that's still a goal of mine. I'm 30 years old. So I still think I have plenty of time. And I would love to be able to be around horses more in the racing scene, actually, kind of behind the scenes. Um, in any way, whether that was caretaking, whatever, I just, I would love to do that. That's always been a goal. Like I said, when I go to the tracks locally, at least for the thoroughbreds, um, usually before they go out onto the track, you are able to like actually spend time with them. And then some of the, um, the horses that are, uh, the exercise horses or the exercise riders on the horses, you can feed them. Um, they're all very, very chill and nice people. So I really appreciate that. Horses are such magnificent creatures, man. And they're, they're such amazing animals. You know what I mean? And just how big some of them could get. There's this thoroughbred that's maybe 11 years old. And he was, I mean, ginormous. And he used to be um, a racehorse at this local track that I go to. And, I mean, just, I've seen big horses, but he was huge. I mean, literally, like, such a stud. Such a calm horse. And, um, yeah. He used to own horses as well. That's awesome. Currently playing 2004, you just won my 10 lengths in a G1. Kelly, that's awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. That's a big win for you. Congrats on that. I need the sun for the UK going to the seaside tomorrow. That sounds like a lovely time. I hope you enjoy it. I promise it's the best experience with animals you ever see. I'm at Northfield Park. Which harness track? No way! Northfield Park in, in Ohio. You're kidding. Jello, you're kidding, right? Northfield Park in in Ohio. Like it's essentially, I mean, Northeast Ohio. You're kidding me. That that's the track I that's that's the same track I'm talking about. <laughs> are you are seriously? Northfield I mean I don't know many other Northfield parks. What if that's the case, what a freaking small world. Holy cannolis. Last horse he owns is related to AP Indy, nice. UK thoroughbred, 18 hands, solid. Parents and grandparents bred harness horses. Sloth guy, welcome to the stream. Hello. Thunderstorm today where I live. MG, dude, that's crazy. My hands are on my head. What are the odds of that? <laughs> that's the track I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. There is no freaking way. How? <laughs> wow. It's amazing. We're on this, this huge planet known as planet Earth, and it can be such a small world sometimes. And, of course, the thoroughbred track I'm talking about is Thistledown, Jack's Thistledown, you know, Casino. <laughs> at North Randall. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a small world. Ebony colors, why are you upset? Oh, it's, oh gosh. I mean, blues colors, sorry. That's amazing. That's um, <laughs> that's absolutely amazing. I've been wanting to go to Northfield. I've, I've been waiting till the weather has gotten better. I have gone there in the cold. I just haven't been in the mood to do it lately, but <laughs> um, I'm waiting till the weather gets nice. I, I love going there. Um, Especially, it's so nice. You can go there and just, you know, just watch the horses race. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay. You just can literally go there, sit outside on the bleachers, go down by the, you know, the gates. I mean, by the fence. Oh, man. You got a year to go. You're only 20. Wow. Jello, that is awesome, man. You know, if if you want, if we're at the track at the same time, or if you're going, I, I, that, I that would be fun to meet up. I, I wouldn't mind doing that if you were cool with that. That would be... That would be that would be cool. I've never met anybody from this community before, uh, in, in real you know, in real time. So um yeah, I, I think if we could do that one day, that that'd be pretty fun, man. 
Wow, what a small world. Angry pants he is. Yeah, really angry blues colors. Relax, you're going to race. You're going to race. Let's win a G1. Ming, Ming, fuck. Yeah, I'll get to it. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. All right, let's put Goose in a G1. Now that you mention it. Um, he runs 10 to 14, right? Yeah. I was like, I wanted to be a jockey, but I'm six feet tall. Same thing with me. I was already too tall to be a jockey, like, in fifth grade. My dreams were crushed. <laughs> I was already, like, too tall at that point. And uh, turned 15 only a few months ago. So, yeah, I'm focusing on basketball. Hey, you're still playing a sport. That's awesome. Congrats. Hope basketball works out for you and, um, you know, enjoy it. That's the main thing. Spring Mile? Do you guys think Goose can run in that? He's a 10 to 14 distance horse pretty much long distance you think he can run eight furlongs in the spring because the g1s it's gonna take a while i mean the summer actually here's what we're gonna do we will run him in a g1 we can run him in summer at the summer gp but before that because i don't want him to be cranky we will run him and uh actually let's see maybe i wonder if he'll be too impatient for that you know what screw it let's just do it let's put him in this race He's too impatient. We'll adjust. Lightning Flash, what's going on, brother? How are you? You're always willing to. Uh, you're in Kentucky for college. Nice. We'll be at the track pretty much every day, mid-May. Awesome. Well, Jello, I, you know, I've that's that's what I'll be there too. Um, Thistle Down, you know, here, um, Jackson's Down opens up in April uh, next month, which is so crazy. Like, it felt like winter was so long. It's like, oh, horse racing at least from places that deal with cold weather here in the states is finally about to really start um so yeah that'll be awesome jello like what are the odds you're like northfield park and i'm like wtf whoa no way <laughs> oh man that, that that's awesome that just made my day man <laughs> i finally have a break from racing i felt like a year I, I i hear you kendrick i definitely hear you no problem kelly i definitely hear you on that doing all right how are you i'm, I'm doing well lightning can't complain can't complain. Cannot complain. Need some more coffee. Get some after this race. All right, Ebony's. Let's see. Okay, so not bad odds. I definitely can win this if we run it right. It's just an open. So yeah, who's the favorite? Farmbridge. All right. Yeah, Jello, it's such a small world, honestly. <laughs> such a really, really small world. I had no idea where you were from or what track, you know, you were talking about. And it's like, oh, Northfield Park. MGM, Northfield Park. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. It really is a small world, honestly. <sighs> Let's see what we can do here with uh, Ebony Colors. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going to keep the horse right here. I um, think this is fine. Hopefully the hopefully we get some space that opens up somewhere. Checkpoint coming up. Come on, Gallop Racer. There, the fast pace. 46 and 2. Uh, okay. Hmm. We're not that far off the lead. We, we should be okay, actually. We have plenty of stamina. All right. Here we go. Let's push. Let's push. Let's push. All right. Whip, 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 whip. We got to get ahead of this horse. Actually, there's a gap. There we go. Look at Ebony Colors. Look at this. Look at this spurt. I don't know if we're going to get up there for the win, though. I mean, we're not supposed to win this race anyways. But I just want to be in the money. Fourth place. We'll take it. A little bit of a late run. A little bit of a late run. But uh, we'll take it. Could have possibly started earlier. Every time I get out of the gate, I get a heart attack because I've seen horses lose, jockeys out of the gate. I hear you. I hear you. I can't imagine. That was always a dream of mine. Of course, when I was younger, I always wanted to be able to ride on a horse in, in that fashion, even though it's dangerous. But me being me, I'm a little bit of an adrenaline junkie. So most of the activities I like are just happen to have a little bit more danger to them um so we got race shifter carts those things go pretty fast granted for the most part it's pretty safe but sometimes there's some bad accidents but i mean it's it's pretty rare i just happen to like things that 
I like speed. I like speed, clearly. <laughs> right, right. Thanks, Light. Uh, thanks, Flash, man. Appreciate that. Your dad has a friend that's a trainer at Thistledown. And every time he watches the races, he's always rooting for that friend. Such a small world. Like, what are the, what are the odds of that? <laughs> I cannot believe it. Jello goes to Northfield. You have a dad that has a friend that's a trainer at Thistledown. It's just like, oh, my, it's blowing my mind right now. It's, 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 it's overload. It was a great ride. Thanks, Leanne. Try my best, honestly. Try my best. I think we were still going to be a little bit off, but Ebony Colors gave it his best shot. So, Oshiba, it's a pretty close field we got right now. I mean, good stage. The five horse is the only long shot. Otherwise, the rest of the eight horses in this field could easily win this. Yeah, those are down. It's fun. It's fun. It's, uh, I've been going since I was literally a kid, man. Literally, like, in strollers. <laughs> I've been going since I was, like, pretty much that young. Got to see... Quite a few Ohio Derbies, and got to see the Ohio Derby. That actually was the year of the pandemic. Um, since they changed the Kentucky Derby to September, that Ohio Derby was pretty special because that race was really big for points still. So that was really fun. I used to do show jumping, and that can be very risky, but I love loved it. I don't have a horse capable of doing it now. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I can imagine. Can imagine. But we all like what we like, right? Sometimes that just happens to be. Uh, a little bit more on the dangerous side. And I do not have Al Alshiba in place. I kind of fell asleep. Yeah, how much preparation and training goes into that, Abigail? I can imagine that that's pretty... It's a pretty extensive, um, you know, uh, sport and thing to do. I think I botched this race because I had Alshiba so out of place. I'll be surprised if we can still finish in the money, but I think I kind of messed that up. Uh, Shiba's still still hanging in there, though. Still hanging in there. Yeah, it's not going to be a money place finish. I, that could have been much better. That's my fault. <sighs> it's my fault. Seven hours a day every day? Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, I figured. I don't really know much about it, but I figured it was pretty extensive as far as that's concerned. Let's grab some more coffee, ladies and gentlemen. I shall be right back. Alright, let's race. Um, you get older, you plan to own a racehorse? That would be awesome. It's still a dream of mine. I know there's a long way to go. There's a lot I need to learn, but I am always a big believer of chasing your dreams regardless of what people say, you know what I mean? Trust me, thoroughbred's way too hard. That's why I'm not into it too much. Unknown factors going to thoroughbred racing. Yeah, Jello, I hear you, man. Harness horse racing seems a lot, a lot less, um, oh, what's the word? Yeah, yeah. Clearly with thoroughbreds, I think there's a lot more that goes into it. Um, they seem to get injured more, unfortunately, of course, just because I think the intensity of just the sport, the running, um, I'm sure there's a lot more factors that I don't even know. I'm going to bet on Epic Center in the Kentucky Derby if he qualifies. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. I'm not really sure yet who I'm completely sold on in the Derby yet. Still want to do my research, but I haven't completely identified a horse that i think is going to kind of take it away really like harness because uh most part harness race you see what you see is what you get and you know what to fix thoroughbreds change day by day it's unbelievable i can only imagine i can only imagine um i remember reading something like that at uh in a comment somewhere i don't know if it was one of my videos or a video i was watching a horse racing and somebody said something very similar 
when I do, I will definitely tell you guys. Yes, please. You love Local Chief? I haven't ran with that. Um, I haven't gotten Local Chief yet. I'd love to. Come up with a name for him or her? Yeah, I, I would love that, man. I think we have a really great community here. So if like anybody gets a horse or owns a horse and or has a foal, um, I think it would be really cool for the community to kind of be a part of that horse's name. You know, who's ever, you know, whoever has that horse or that foal in this community. You don't really follow the Derby UK racing girl. Yeah, I want to get more into the UK scene uh, outside of the States. Like, I know a little bit about uh, horse racing in, like, the Asia circuits, especially, like, in um, in Japan and then Korea a little bit, but uh, not too much. 201, yeah, ridiculous. I I think he was, um, yeah, he's, he's very angry today. <laughs> get local chief when you're starting. Yeah, I still want that horse. Down the stretch they come. Yippee yappy, what's going on? You know what? We were the long shot, and we won with this same horse. No, it was Ebony's Colors, I think. Or was it Blues? I can't remember which horse it was. We were the long shot, but I don't expect that to happen here. I think we're going to be well off the pace. He's a front runner that rides well in openers and some G3s. Nice. I know we're way far back, but relax. Like, I can only do so much. <laughs> All right. Let's just see what we can do. This is a really tough field, and it's the Royal Cup. Hey, if we don't finish in last, I'm okay. And that's it. Blues is tapped out. Blues colors is tapped out. It's fine. I really didn't have any expectations with that race. We were so far off. Royal Ascot is coming up. That I do I do like to watch that race. Many times hopefully you will be attending this year. That would be awesome, Abigail. I hope you can attend that. I hope you can. I'll be tuning in for sure. Yippee yappy, what is everyone's favorite game? Uh, our favorite Gallup Racer. Mines, I was saying earlier, is probably still 2003 as of this point. I've really been enjoying that game. Again, I just hate the limit that game puts on you for your, like your um, how many horses you can have at a time and, and how much you can breed. I, I don't like the limitations. Outside of that, I love everything really about that game. With the exception of the completely idiotic AI that just don't even realize you're there. They're not programmed to realize you're there. They're just It's almost as if they're programmed to just get in your way. But I would say 2003 followed by 2004. And then um, Galbraith 2001 has been really enjoyable. This game is still very, very fun. A lot of this game is nostalgia for sure. Yeah, a lot of my love for this game is definitely nostalgia. Because it's the first Galbraith racer I ever played as a kid. See, Goose is not happy. Goose is not happy. So what I'm going to need to do... I'm going to scratch him from this race. Um, I'm going to race him now and just hope that he'll be in condition to go. Um, I'm going to run him in an open if it's, there's no handicap. I was just said there probably is going to be a handicap. Ah, I was worried about that. Are these all going to be handicaps? Okay, we'll have to run him in the spring mile. I don't really want to do that, but I don't think I really have a choice. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the other. Actually, maybe we can get a Sheba in the race. A Sheba's peaked already. Ugh. Get my flare on an all glam. We'll be standing at the rail calling my horse home. I hope so, Abigail. You better root it on. That will be your responsibility. I like champion jockey. Champion jockey is fun. Very challenging. I suck at that game. Oh, my goodness. I was going to do a series on that, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to torture you guys with that. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I don't think anybody would want to watch me play that game in a series. I am really bad at it. Even on the easiest difficulty, it's still pretty challenging. It just it plays so much different than Gallup Racer. It's just a completely different way of playing a game that I'm not used to. I'm sure I could adjust, but I suck at it. All right, Alshiva, not great odds. I don't really care. You played a lot of Gallup Racer on PlayStation 2001 on um, PS2. Yeah, liked them both a lot. Yeah, yeah, I, I like all of them. Honestly, I would say my least favorite is probably 2006, but I really do like all of them. You'll get better after time. Yeah, probably. Probably, but I mean, I'm really bad. I just, <laughs> it was bad. Like, I, I genuinely wanted to start a series, but I'm like, I'm so bad. People are just going to be like, ah, oh, you suck, you suck. Not that I really care about that, but I, I wouldn't want to torture people. I keep forgetting to get Al Shiba into front running position because all my other horses are closers or stalkers. I, I keep forgetting with this horse. Granted, he's not doing much anyway, so. I, I mean, if I did a series on that game, it would have to be on easy. I do like the way it plays, though. I admit it. I do like the way the game plays. I just wish I was better at it. 
And there's nothing stopping me, obviously. I, I need to practice and play more. I never played that game until somebody suggested it literally like maybe a year and a half ago, two years. And I'm like, okay, I'll try Champion Jockey. Now I play it and I freaking suck. <laughs> I'm like, all right, this is not turning into a series. All right, Sheba, let's see what you can do, man. Sheba just has no speed. That's the problem. This horse just has no real speed. Not like our other horses that can kind of show some late closing speed. 10-1, you can do it. Ah, I tried, Yippee. This horse, Sheba's not great. He's uh, he's just a, I mean, I don't even, he hasn't won a race yet. He's going to peak after this year. Like This is supposed to be him at his prime, and you see the results. He's just not really a great horse. I don't even know who I used to, to breed to create him all right the spring mile with goose army we still have decent odds considering the fact that he's really anxious and kind of angry about not having raced in only two months but he's in his prime so goose he, he's ready to rock and roll we can win this spring mile this is not his preferred distance he's a 10 to 14 furlong horse but we're dropping him two furlongs for this g1 we have a chance if we run this right we have a chance pretty tough field though odd family spy pleasure really tough horses last earth uh, country mine war pig this is a really it's a pretty tough uh spring mile from those horses so we'll see what we can do man we'll see what we can do i can save ground with goose ultimately and hopefully get a really good run in the stretch uh inside trip will be preferred but i never know if the, if the rail is even going to be open so Betting 6-9 exacta. All right, let's see if that happens. I do wish betting was in this game. That would be really fun. That'd be really fun, you know. Ugh. Mm. I mean, he's comfortable right now. I'm not... I feel like I'm going to have to make an outside run. I don't know if the inside's going to free up. And I hate that the AI run five wide in these games. Like, why, man? Fast pace, 46 and 2. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit anxious. I don't know what's going to happen up here, and we have a long way to go. Oh, this inside, is it freeing up? It's freeing up. It's freeing up. Oh, my goodness. The seas have parted. The gates have opened. Oh, we have a long way to go with Goose. Long way. This is going to be tough. Very tough. I hope they gas out. Furlong left to go. Ah, tough field. We're closing in. The win ain't happening. I don't think the win is happening. Is it going to happen? Nope. Just, oh, man. Does 2003 have betting? It does, yeah. That's how we've been able to get a lot of money in that game. I, I would, was able to hit Exactus and Trifectus. And, um, yeah, betting is in 2003. So that, that's a good thing about that game. Because you need that money in order to upgrade your training facilities and stuff. Uh, who ended up winning? Fusion Power. I kind of I kind of brushed that horse off. Gray Sky, Country Mine, they finished up there. Yeah, that was going to be tough. I was a little bit far back, further back than I probably should have been. But I still think that was going to be tough nonetheless. Fourth place for Goose, not bad. That wasn't even the race I really want him to be in. The summer GP, that's 11 furlongs. That's where he needs to be, but five would be mental on UK tracks, yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like in, most, in horse racing in real life, most tracks, from my understanding, that I've watched, like usually they're not running five wide for a majority of the race. In the, in the Gout Racer games, running five and six wide is just very normal. You know what I mean? They just do it, and it's just like it's it's a normal thing. All right, so now with Goose, I hope he'll be ready for the summer GP. I know he's not feeling good right now, but he should be ready by then. Because this will be a huge grade one to win. It's 11 furlongs. I mean, that, that would be a really strong win. Ebony Colors will get you ready to rock and roll here. You're still developing, which is fantastic. All right, five to eight on the tiff. And um, just run you in six furlongs here. All right, let's go. We're ninth in jockey leadings. We were 43rd, maybe about a couple months ago. We dropped down the ninth, so we're making some progress. Not good odds here today. 15 to 1, essentially. I'm not really worried, though. This horse has had worse odds, and we've been able to have pretty decent performances. So I think I just have to try to keep them closer. I can't be too far off. That last G1 we did, we were like almost probably 12 lengths off the lead. It's just too insurmountable of a lead to close in at the end. But great start there for Ebony. Punches out pretty nicely. 
and um, should keep him right here. He should be okay. And I'm going to keep him at the rail. All right. Yeah, I don't want him too far off the lead because um, what I've noticed with this horse, since he has pretty, I think his stamina on turf is okay. It's not great. But the key is to really kind of wait and pray. Oh, the inside's not clearing up. There's no gap. There's no gap at all. There's no gap. I have no idea where I'm going to squeeze. Oh, no. There's no gap. I got to move. I got to move. Ah. See, that's a race we could have won, but that's why I hate the inside sometimes. It, you're coming up against Golden Monster. Good luck, Kelly. Good luck. Golden Monster is literally a monster if they run it right. Really, really fast horse in the stretch. Snappy favorite on the outside. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. Um, I should have moved to the outside. That That's... I don't like waiting to see if the inside is going to free up. Sometimes it, it works and it's beautiful, but in my luck, usually, like, the inside, they just they just completely just clog it. So I'll have to be more mindful. Probably need to keep the horse more in the middle of, of the field. That way, if I can move to the inside, I can duck down. If I can't, I can just kind of swing to the outside. If I'm sticking to the rail, and then we get around turns three and four, and then the inside isn't free, then I'm forced to literally move to the outside. Because, like, if the AI don't move, they don't move. Her speed rating is 97. Yeah, Golden Monster. She she was our she was one of our probably our best brood mare in the Galbraith Racer 2004 series. So her only downside is close race not good. I hate that ability. Like if she dominates, she dominates. But if there's a close race, it's I mean she's gonna lose. It's just it's the only downside of her. She really was an awesome awesome Philly turn brood mare. But that close race not good. She can't handle competition if if she's racing with them at the wire. In the stretch, I should say. She's just like, oh, no, I can't do this. I got to give up. I'm throwing in the towel. It's like, Golden Monster, what are you doing? You're such a great gal. It's literally the only downside to her, man. She does not like the close races. All right, so today is a summer GP, and Goose, he's in green condition, not blue. So it's fine. We'll, we'll try to make it. Hopefully you win. Good luck. Hopefully you do. The main thing is to make sure you get a start on Golden Monster, or at least try to get going at the same time. Because if it's a close race, she's not going to do well. So just time your spurt really well. All right, Goose Army, still good odds here today. Uh, essentially, almost 5-1, to 6-1 to one if you want to round it up. But, I mean, we're expected to finish fourth. This can be a win. Goose is a stalker, so Crafty Saint in this field. Love that horse, man. I really would like to get Crafty Saint. I think he cost a lot in this game. Look at Goose. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. All right, let's go. Big G1 here. Really big G1 for the summer J pay. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs in this game. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm not going to torture you guys with that, but I really do like this song a lot. Shwang! It's like that old school, funky, like, 80s jazz, man. Love that music. It's perfect for racing games. That that, that genre of music for racing games is like, it's, it's, it's so perfect. Gives you that nostalgia. You just need to get up close to Monster and make sure you can get the jump on her. Yep, exactly, Abigail. That's the key with Monster. You get up close, get the jump on her, and she's going to be demotivated. All right, so with Goose, I don't know if the inside is going to free up. I am going to move him to the outside right now because I don't know what's going to happen on the inside. I don't know if they're going to free up or not. I'd rather take an outside trip, even if that means using a little bit more stamina. I can't take the risk. Cannot take the risk of the inside not being free. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know how this is gonna play out, but I have faith in my horse. Yeah, see, the inside's not even freeing up. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Goose. Let's go, man. Oh, the speed is there. The speed is there. Oh, the speed is there. Goose Army flying. Ah, oh, come on, Goose. It's tough. Are we gonna get there for the win? No, second place. Ah, who won that? Yeah, no problem, Kelly. 
Oh, man. Who ended up winning? Was it the favorite? I mean, that's still a great effort. We were supposed to finish fourth. That was a little bit longer. We could have possibly caught that horse. I think whoever that was, whoever won probably was the favorite, but I can't remember. I had a feeling that was going to be tough. Sexy pageant and with the record. Yeah. Crafty Saint, third place. That was a tough race, but Goose was up there. You got to think about it. We were close. Only half a length off of the lead. Thanks, Yippee. Yeah. I mean, that, considering Goose was in the green, not even in, in perfect condition, ran him in the green and still ended up finishing half a length off Sexy Pageant, who sets the record at with a mid-pace. That, that, that's a great effort. I'm not upset at all. Goose has been such a great horse for us, especially as an original. So, Thanks. I just tried my best. That was going to be tough no, nonetheless, but great, great purse. Let's actually look in the horse shop. Not that I'm going to buy a horse now. Tender Value. I mean, Tender Value is a great horse. Don't get me wrong. But not 200,000. This game is... Oh, my goodness. Now, Tender would be... Tender Value would be a great value because... Not going to hit his peak until he's five years old. So, you, you have some time there. Four, essentially, four stars average. And then you have five star for Temper. This is Galbraith 3 on PS2? No, Galbraith 3 on the original PS1. And I'm running this on an emulator. I wonder, what is Tender Value's like max stats once he hits his peak? That's what I'm curious about. Because for him to cost 200k is insane. Alert Falcon? Distance Horse? Good leg type, but nah. Sedate Soul? Classy Kelly? Sedate Soul... Uh, quick peaking horse, blah. What was the cost of Classy Kelly? I'm curious. Pretty good turf rating. Mm, okay. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's any... Yeah, there's nobody in there. What about the Phillies? Anybody decent? His max stats are like 100... No way! Seriously? 120 plus per turf? Greatest horse in Japan? Yeah. I'm just wondering if he's worth the price in this game. 200k is quite a lot, and I'm only at 88. It's, it'll take probably another two years in this game to even get to that point. Because I only have one legitimate grade one horse, and that's Goose Army, who we just ran with. So, yeah. Yeah, tender value is great. That price tag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, any of these fillies, are any of them worth it? Single Kelly. She's not... Let me see. Is she okay? Eh, no. Not bad, but... Okay, well, none of these horses are worth buying right now. I'm just going to continue to save our money. Dear Moon, I like her with the red shadow roll. Guts, not good. Flight developing, okay. I can't believe you forgot to breed Lee's Gold. I know, I know, I know. Oh, it slipped my mind, it really did. I'm so mad, I was so mad once I realized that. I'm like, ah, I kept talking about it, I retired me. Into the abyss. The Gallup Racer Abyss. Not not a fun place. Okay, so these six furlong races, are we gonna have handicaps or just opens? No. It's just the six furlong ones. Hmm. Oh Shiba, I don't know what to do with this horse. Like I, I think he's peaked, clearly. I doesn't want to race. Speed is in the sixties. Stamina's it's so weird. You know, his his star ratings are pretty pretty solid. I mean they're okay. I should say I would say they're average. A little bit above average actually. Um, but, like, he hasn't really shown us anything. His speed is not in the 70s. I'm not going to use this horse for breeding, because, I mean, there's nothing really to, to use. I'll just retire him, probably sell him for some money in this game. That's all I can do. Odds don't matter. I remember winning. Yeah, they really don't. If you know what you're doing with the horse and you can make it work, the odds really don't matter that much. It's really just an indicator of where you're supposed to finish. It's not like a, a sentence of what your result is going to be now since his stamina isn't good i should be running him in a shorter distance but we have handicaps with all these like i'm gonna run him on dirt actually can i do that let's try that yeah i hear you mouse am i saying your name right mouse mouse matt how do you mouse uh I, I don't like mispronouncing people's names i apologize you were shaking your head yeah i know mouse okay gotcha 
Ah, yeah, trust me, I was so annoyed with myself. I'm like, I literally retired her at that point to breed with her, like, in that episode. It just... It just... It just vanished. All right, Lucky Sage is the favorite here today. It's a field of 10 going 9 furlongs on Zatif. Uh, we're expected to finish, like, what, 7th? Let's see if we can, um... Yeah. Imagine King B and Pink Gemstone. I'm so excited for that. I really am. Really excited for the both of them. Yeah, there's a lot of breeding I'm really, really excited for in 2004 since we can do as much as we want. I truly am. But yeah, a question for you guys since more of you are in here now. For Gout Racer 2006, I was talking about it earlier in the stream. I feel like that game is still too easy um, because the revolutions are so easy to get and then your horse is running like 500 miles an hour. It's just obviously this is a game. There's only so much realism, but like it takes all the realism out of that aspect in 2006. But I was thinking if I play that game as a series, should I do a challenge where I don't buy any double S ranked horses? I think that would make it more challenging and it would probably take longer, but I think that would make up for the revolutions being really easy to get and once you get a revolution your horse is just open yeah, it's overpowered so if i were to play 2006 how would you guys feel about me just staying away from double s horses s ranked horses maybe not but i think double s is i would try to stay away from i think that would bring a different aspect of uh, a different challenging aspect to the series you know what i mean otherwise i think it'd be too easy and i just i wouldn't want to do that yeah alshiba just average horse really an average horse i'm just kind of like uh don't want to use them for breeding oh no this was uh this was ebony colors i think right yeah that was ebony sorry i'm thinking about alshiba um i don't know what happened with ebony in that race we we finished in the money though so uh, that's good we get some prize points could be interesting huh i'm contemplating it i'm not sure but yeah, I think that would be interesting. Just to make it a little bit more challenging. I just I wouldn't want to waste time playing that game with how the revolutions are. Not as a series. I, I could do one off videos, you know, every blue moon, but You didn't beat Golden Monster? Yeah. She's tough, man. She's tough if you don't really get the right jump on her, depending on how the stretch run goes. You gave her a good fight? Well that that's what's important. I mean, she is a tough filly. Like, if you have to get the jump on her, otherwise she will just absolutely annihilate the field. So losing to her is not a bad thing. She's one of the best fillies in that game, at least as far as speed and sprinting is concerned. So Alshiba, this is the horse I was talking about that I'm kind of ready to get rid of because, like, I don't think there's anything much to this horse. I feel like this horse was bred from, like, just two very mediocre horses, and I just decided to do it. Um, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Ran third. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. We haven't ran Alshiba on the dirt, I think, ever. Or maybe this is the first dirt race in a while. Now, i got to remember to get him to the front. I've also been messing up his races lately because I haven't been running him at the front. I cannot stand that in these games. Front runners that don't have, like, the speed, the stain to stay at the front. You know, it just, it, it's such a hard thing to do. You're much better off having a horse with weaker stats be a closer than be a front runner. Because unless you have great abilities, and obviously this game has no abilities, but if your horse doesn't have good stats in general, being a front runner, um... Or wanting to even run in the middle is is usually not ideal. Which God Racer is Golden Monster in? I know she's in 2004. I don't know about the other ones. She's the best horse you've come up against? Yeah, like I said, she's one of the best fillies in 2004, hands down. She's one of the best. Uh, we I won so much with her. And we had great originals for from her. The only reason they didn't work out was because they had that stupid close race not good ability. Yeah, Sheba is just very average. Digging in, though. Digging in, digging in, digging in. Not bad, not bad. Whoa, we're going to get up for sis, almost second, third. That's fine. Yeah, they were just in the breeding barn. That's why I think Abigail. I'm pretty sure that was the case. That was a decent effort from Alshiba, but I actually did keep him towards the front. So maybe I need to, maybe I need to give him a little bit more of a chance. Because I have been forgetting to run him where he needs to be. Dear winner with the record, 142 and 9. 
Horses are going off. 2004 has gambling for betting. I don't know about 2006. I actually have no idea. I don't remember. I haven't done it in that game. Maybe somebody else here would know. All right, let's go. Yeah, that was actually a decent race battle, Shiba. I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, content with that effort. It was much better. Blues colors is up in a G3, and it's okay. Whatever. Odds don't really mean that much. All right. I have an original horse that I think could beat her. Give it a shot. You can give her a run for her money. Yeah, she'll she'll be exposed. Golden Monster is like what's another horse? Fast Navy. Fast Navy is a horse that you kind of got to get the jump on too, because once Fast Navy's in the stretch, it's and if Fast Navy has open space, that horse is going to be a problem. So pretty similar. Bionic Monster, uh, Colts. He's pretty much the same way. Those type of horses, you really do have to get the jump on them and get a jump on them at the right time. Otherwise, if they have room and space, okay, cool. Casmel, I don't want to mispronounce your name, um, but Smith, thank you. So you can do that. Okay, cool. I, I never did that in 2006. I don't know what's going to happen with Blue's Colors here. I don't really like where we're at. I forgot. Genesis, um, Genesis, if you're watching this, I remember you told me about this camera angle. I'm going to stick to this. I know it looks weird sometimes because it's so far up, but I do like the difference. It kind of gives you like a little bit of an old arcade -y feel like you're playing like, you know, um, I mean, this was an arcade game when it came out. There's no space. I'm going to have to bump. Oh, there's space. Okay. Oh, push through, Blues. Push through. Push through. Push through. Push. 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 Go. Go. I didn't realize that gap was going to open up. I would have went harder. Oh, no. That was a win. I didn't realize that gap was actually enough to squeeze through, and I didn't realize the field was going to tire out. Cast mail? Gotcha. Run it around five? Gotcha. She has a Dominator ability, Pack Passer, and Last to First. You talking about Golden Monster? Or... Yeah, Fast navy is gone once he has space in it. Yeah, exactly. Like, once Fast navy is in clear air, you... Good luck. <laughs> good luck, seriously. You had a you had, you got fast name. You had a good battle with Courtly Lark. That's another horse I like too. There's so many honestly when you guys think about it, there are really some really solid, enjoyable horses to race and ride with in this game. Fast Navy, Courtly Lark, of course, who we were just talking about, a golden monster. Bionic Club. I forgot Bionic Monster is actually an original line name. It's from Bionic Club and Golden Monster. Um but Bionic Club, he's great. Crafty Saint is really good in this game. Is does he exist in the other God Racers? I've never seen him. I like all the videos I've recorded. I've never seen Crafty Saint. Is he one of those horses you have to unlock? Is he like a special horse? If you run it too far from the back, you have a lot to make up. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, most of my horses are stalkers or closers. I don't mind. That's my pref preferred running position. I just need a horse with good speed, and most importantly, I have to make sure I have the space to make the run. The last couple of races, I've been getting myself kind of stuck in traffic, and, and I need to get clear of that. So, um, Frugal Ark, nice girl, yeah. Kramer's King, love Kramer's King. I want him in 2003 or 2004 so bad. I would love to have him in 2003. That's kind of my goal. You play 2004 on hard right now? Nice. Awesome. You're talking about your original horse. Okay, gotcha, Kelly. Crafty Saint is no good in the others. Wow, that's disappointing. You're liking it? Yeah, 2004 on all the games on hard, once you really kind of get into it, it's very rewarding once you can succeed. Because it, it's a grind. You don't just start off just dominating in the beginning. You do have to grind. I love the progression. I love that in video games. I love going from having to struggle in the beginning, really having to grind, and slowly work your way up. It feels so much more rewarding when you get to a point where you can start winning the big G1s. All right, so that many color goes 5-8 on Zetef. 5-8 on Zetef. Okay. Um, Goose Army. Would like to get him in another grade one. Is he at his peak? Yeah, Goose is at his peak this year. But the thing is, if he goes too long without racing, he's going to be very upset. You see, like, can he run in the King Cup Autumn? Because what month are we in now? Hold on. We're in... Sep okay. I feel like if I wait till that... He's already in the blue. I'm going to have to run him in a race like now and then give him a little bit of a layoff. And run him in that uh, King Cup Autumn. So I will run him in this grade three. As long as there's... I, was, I had a feeling there was going to be a handicap. 
Grade two, yeah, we can run him into grade two. These have been doing pretty well for him. Let's do that, and then we'll have a, a long enough time off where he should be back in the blue by the time we run him in the summer G one or the summer uh, King Cup autumn. Um, so yeah, let's race. Ant B is the best mare if you can get um, bad or spicy. Yeah, Ant B, I really, I really appreciated Ant B despite her temper because I felt like I was able to actually keep her under control for the most part, and she did really well for us. But like you said, you have to get that temper under control or have to be willing to, to work with it. Outside of that, Aunt B is great. Can you record on the Wii Lane or on the Wii Leanne? Oh, you're talking about uh, Leanne. I have Champion Jockey G1 and Gout Racer on the Wii. Leanne, if you ever can get a capture software, I would love for you to record those. Any of you guys that have these games, if you're ever, ever in a position to get a capture software, upload your stuff to YouTube. We have a really great community. We're all supporting each other. And, of course, I will shout out your channels so other pe so everybody can go watch as well. I just I really like where the community has gotten to since we've started. I just it, It's awesome to see more people playing this game and uh, more people even putting their content on YouTube. Um, I, I'm really happy that we've gotten to that point. 3-9 exact a box. All right, yippee. Let's see if that happens, eh? Here we go. Good start. Great start for Ebony Colors. Um, I'm not going to keep him as far to the back as I have been. I'm going to try to keep him a little bit closer to the front. Oh, did I bump a horse? I did. Yikes, yikes, yikes. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. All right. Mmm... The only thing about closers and stalkers, man, like you really, you're kind of at the mercy of the rest of the field because like you can't run them any closer to the front than they should be. You're kind of at the mercy of what the rest of the field does. All right, let's go. Let's go. Go, go. Oh, I don't like this gap. Is that going to free up? That space is there. That space is there. I know I bumped a horse. Who cares? Go, go, Ebony, go, go, Ebony, go. That's a win. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That is why I like my closers and my stalkers. I kept them a little bit closer to the front because I knew the last couple of races I had been keeping them a little bit too far off. We punch through the gap. It opens up. And boom, there's your win for Ebony Colors. She's a bit spicy at times. I'm surprised King B didn't get her spicy temper. Yeah, King B was very mild-mannered. King B was like the complete opposite of her. I forget, who do we breed him? Who do we breed with her to create King B? Because he was like the complete opposite of Aunt B. He did not inherit her her temper at all, which is really nice. I race. I play on the emulator too. Uh, can I just record? Yeah, if you play on the emulator on a PC or a laptop, you can record 100%. Um, I probably should do a tutorial on that, eh? There are other tutorials on how to do all that stuff, but since you guys would probably be playing like this game or something similar, I probably shouldn't make a tutorial for that. Horse racing games are very underrated, yeah. They, they really are. Horse racing as a, as a sport itself is not as popular, at least not here in the States, but um, it, it's it's very niche, you know what I mean? But they are underrated. Do I have to get software? Yeah. You'll need capture software to record your gameplay on your emulator. Um, I use Fraps. Now, the only thing with Fraps, the, the files are recorded in like really big sizes. Like a 20-minute video will be like 40 gigs for me. It's, it's ridiculous. It didn't used to be that way. You might upload some races. Please do. I would love that. I love seeing you guys upload your content. It's very enjoyable. I felt so lonely for the longest here on YouTube because I like, nobody was uploading content except for me. I was like, I want to see you guys upload some stuff too. I love watching other people play. I like to watch how other people play the game in comparison to me. And it's just enjoyable. It's very nice. Excellent race. Thanks, Yippee. Had to go to work. Yippee. Take care. Appreciate your support. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us today. And being Desert Diver. Yeah, okay. That sounds about right. Desert Diver was very calm, so that would make sense. I, ne I mean, we never had any issues. Desert Diver, I think, was our best horse in 2004 to this day. He got Horse of the Year. He has like two or he has several titles. Desert Diver was amazing, man. He was so easy to work with. So easy to work with. It was just winning was just winning was on autopilot with him, really. So, this is a Grade Two, the All Comer Stakes here with Goose Army. We are the second favorite. And um, we have a chance to do pretty well here, but now he is a stalker, so I am going to have to be very mindful of where I have him. I think I could still keep him ahead of like one or two horses, and he'll, he should be okay. I don't think, well, he probably still wants to be, does he really want to be in last place? Let me see. He really wants to be in last place. Wow. 
I kept him ahead of that horse to the inside just to see if he would be in the blue. He wasn't. He really wants to be in last. Yeah, I'm sad about Tiger's Eye too. That's uh, my luck sucks. I have nine. You have nine subscribers, Leanne. I will um I'll shout your channel out in the next video. Um, next video I actually record. I'll, I'll shout your channel out for sure. Any of you that end up playing Gallup Racer and uploading to YouTube, just let me know. I'll, I'll put you in my description and I'll, of course, give you guys a shout out in the beginning. That way, people that don't know about you, know about you. You actually went with Desert Diver a couple months ago. Desert Diver is an awesome horse, really. Really is. You need some good breeders for 2004. You'll get there. You'll get there. No worries. You will get there. I have no doubts. All right. We got to get Goose going now. Uh, is the gap going to clear? No. I don't like. Uh, I can't. Uh, no, 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 no. That gap wasn't there. There was no gap. There was no gap. Now there is. Oh, no. Go, Goose. Go, 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 go. Oh, I hate that. We're not going to get there in time. We could have easily won that. That's fine. It's a G2. Could have won that, but... Oh. K&S, what's good? Hello there. How are you? Uh, man, the no gaps, they, they really don't like me. Slammed in my face is like an understatement. Like... Actually slammed in my face and then body slammed me on the ground and then swung me around ten times. That's what happens to me in gaps in these games. They they show me no love. They really don't. I watch Basic Blue and Genesis play and the gaps are just there and I'm just like, you know what? I, I wish that was me. I just don't have good luck with gaps. I really don't. I don't know what it is, but it's so funny. We all are playing the same games, but we'll have different like fortune and different luck. You know what I mean? And my luck with gaps has always sucked. You guys have been watching me for probably years. Some of you years at this point. Gaps have never really opened up for me a lot of times. So, it's a bit of a bummer. But you know what? It's all good because... Uh, wait, who am I trying to enter in this race? Oh, Alshiba. Blah! I'm like, why can't I enter that horse? Goose Army. I hope you'll be ready for that. He should be ready. Doing good. Glad I caught the stream live. Nice to see the best covers are being played. Thanks, KNS. Yeah, this game is really enjoyable, man. Not just for the nostalgia. That's a big part of it for me. But I'm actually getting through this game. When I played it as a kid, I would get through like three seasons tops and then I would go bankrupt because I just wasn't good at managing myself. But now that I actually know how to play this game, it's been so enjoyable. It really has. And it's very simple. It's very to the point. Obviously, um, you know, breeding, you wish you could keep the parents, but... It's fine. It really puts more of an emphasis on breeding because you're like, okay, I can't just waste breedings as far as like a really good stud or a really good mare. Like I have to make sure if I breed, if I have really good horses I want to breed, I have to make sure it's worthwhile. You know what I mean? And then sumo wrestle to the ground and bear hugs. Yes, Abigail. That, that's what happens to gaps with me. They, they, they just do not cooperate. All right. So let's try to get everybody into a race. <laughs> Five to eight for Ebony. Let's do this if we don't have a handicap and we don't. Okay. Um, blues, try to get you into a race. I'm saving these horses for, for breeding. Blues, for sure. I think there's a really good mare in there. I'll check her out in a second. Casmo, what'd your message say? I think it said something about playing the games, but I don't know why it got retracted, or maybe you retracted it. Okay, so five, or excuse me, seven to 13 on the turf, or dirt, actually. Let's do a grade three. Handicap, interesting. Can we do this grade two? Actually, let's do Hiroshima. We don't really run on the um, tracks like these a lot in this game. And Alshiba. I still don't know what to do with you yet, but I'm giving you a chance. You actually had a decent third place outing last time. Grade 3. Now, let's do this one. All right, guys. I will be going to the restroom in a second, and uh, we'll continue to roll. All three have different choices in 2004. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We really do, right? We all play the game so much differently. But I think that's what makes it nice, that there's different perspectives on how we all kind of approach it. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
uh, ebony colors in an open. Better odds. Let's rock and roll. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stream today. Having a lot of fun. Love that everybody is, uh, for the most part, stopped by. All right. So Ebony gets out really well, man. He really does. You need to ask Genesis Cafe, um, Genesis Cafe Latte Parent. She turns into a beast of a filly. Really? Huh. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'll go ahead. Or Abigail, if you can, and then just um, let us know or let me know if I forget. Because sometimes I do forget. You're editing some footage of uh, 2006. Awesome. I really look forward to seeing that. All right. Here we go with Ebony's. We got to close the gap now. Let's go, Ebony. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Down the stretch they come. Ebony colors. Half a furlong left to go. Closing in on the field. I think they're still a favorite to the outside. We're going to get up there for second. That, that's not a bad effort. I think we're supposed to finish second anyways. The favorite was probably still too much to catch. And I was further off than I wanted to be. She'll ask too great. Thanks, Abigail. Leanne, enjoying the stream? Glad you are. Having a good time here today. Darn. Um, that's fine. Fast pace. Bass accounts end up getting the win. Yeah, I was too far back. Too far back. I need to be a little bit closer. Just got to be more mindful of that. But yeah, it wasn't a bad ride. Yeah, that wasn't a bad ride for Ebony Colors. Still second place. It's still money. That's what we need. All right. Yes, Goose is ready to go for the King Cup Autumn. We might actually get a G1 finally. Loving the stream. Awesome. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Big G1 here. I think if we are racing with Goose Army first. No, Alshiba, long shot, don't care. I just kind of want to get this race over with. <laughs> I want to get to that G1 for Goose Army because finally he's in the blue. So we should have a really good shot of actually winning that. All right, but before we get to Goose Army, let's go ahead and see if Alshiba is still worth, worth keeping around. Granted, I don't think this horse costs that much anyways. So I don't think I'm losing that much money by keeping him. But, I mean, there's really no sense in racing with him still if he's just going to be average at this point. This is supposed to be his best year, and he hasn't done anything special. Winning a race is still pretty difficult inherently. He doesn't have great stamina either, so if he had better stamina, I think we'd have a much better chance of winning. But his stamina isn't great. Closing in, closing in, closing in, and that's why his stamina just taps out. Stamina, stamina really does tap out. And third, not bad. He's That's two back-to-back -back podium finishes. Like, is that is that it, though? Is that going to be the, the highlight of Goose, or excuse me, Alshiba's career? Podiums? Third place, third place, second place, third place, second place, third place, no wins. I don't know. I'm, um... I keep forgetting it. I need to go ahead and look at the mares. Oh, we're right to Goose Army. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, big win or big race here. Hopefully we win it. King Cup Autumn. It's 10 furlongs on Zitsef. Allah. It's a tough field, man. It's a tough field. Where are we looking at? We're not the favorite. I didn't expect us to be. It's a really tough. Lee's Gold is in here. No way. Pretty good for 25 and 8. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Honestly. Um, Alert Falcon. Prior Fair. Last Earth. Sexy Pageant. Lee's got... I mean, the rest of the horses are kind of whatever, but, like, the top five, top six, it's, it's really competitive. Let's go ahead and look at Lee's Gold. I forgot the horse was in here. Lee, where are you at, you beautiful thing? The horse that I forgot to use for breeding in 2004. Oh, if I was live streaming, Abigail, you wouldn't have been on my case, and I wouldn't have forgot. Lee's Gold, look at her. There she is. The beaut. Lee's Gold, she was awesome for us. Well, I got to beat you today, Lee, so, you know. Sorry, not sorry. Let's go, Goose. All right, big G1. Really need this win for Goose Army. <sighs> Keep in mind, Goose Army is a stalker. He doesn't want to be ahead of any horses. He wants to be in last place, so I got to run him like that. Now... 
Um, I'm going to keep him to the mid field here because I don't know if the outside is going to free. I don't know if the inside is going to be free for us. I, I can't take that chance on a race this big. I'm going to have to keep him out here. That way, if I need to swing out, we can swing. We've seen his. We've all seen his speed in the stretch. So it's not like he can't catch up. I'm literally going to keep him right here. I'm going to keep him really close to um, whoever is in front of me, which I don't know. Who am I? Who's the favorite? Not alert. Prior affair was it? Fast pace. I'm moving him to the outside now because, like, I need to make sure I can make that run. We're probably what 12 lengths off the lead. This is good space. This is really good space. Really good space. They're gonna move out. That's fine. That's fine. Stop doing that. All right, let's go. Here we go with Goose Army in the King Cup. Oh, look at the speed. Look at the speed. Who is this battling with us? Look at Goose Army closing in. Almost half a furlong left to go. That horse is going to get blocked. Goose, is there a horse to the inside? There is. Who is that? Oh, uh, no. Who was the two? I didn't see the two's radar moving. Oh. <laughs> it's just robbed. Robbed. I didn't even see the two. I kind of want to watch that replay back because I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at that horse, this the five horse with the pink silks. Who was the, was that the favorite? I remember the parents, the Marrow's favorite wish and the daddy was X Factor for Cafe Latte. Wow, really? Favorite wish? I have, I don't really run with her. Lee's, Lee's Gold ended up winning. No freaking way. And I can't even watch the replay because we didn't win. I forgot. Lee's Gold. She's a beast. She's a beast. Just watch our most recent 2004 videos before we retired her. Lee's Gold was and is an amazing horse. Ah, uh, what? There's nothing I can really do. Lee's Gold is really tough if you run her right. Darn. She pulled away. It wasn't even like, you know, she was there the whole time. Like, she shot up out of nowhere and pulled away. Now, I did have a little bit of interference into the stretch coming up that hill. Ah, man, so close. The mare I never bred, yeah. Yeah, the mare I never bred. She just beat us in that G1 Lee's Gold. She's a great horse, though. She really is. Never raced on Hiroshima. Look at the blue gates. Oh, this looks... I love how this game looks. For a PlayStation 1 race horse racing game, it, it really is ahead of its time. <laughs> Look at this. This looks... The blue gates. Look at the grandstands. Awesome stuff, man. Uh, darn, man. I really wanted to win that race. But, like, what are you going to do? Lee's Gold is amazing. It wasn't like I lost to some scrub. I literally lost, like, a great filly. Oh, man. Goose is gonna get his grade one. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. I really wasn't looking at Lee's gold. I forgot, and she wasn't even the favorite. That's the thing. I had my attention on the favorite, and I neglected Lee's gold. Shame on me, considering I've had that horse, you know. So blue's color. He feels good. He's in the blue. And uh, check point. Did we really go around the track that quick? No way. All right. One lap around. One more to go. Yeah, I was so close. I was so close. Ah, oh, man. Really, really, really wanted to win that race. I felt like we could have, but I, I wasn't expecting Lee's gold to shoot up there to like a rocket. That I swear that indicator wasn't moving. Maybe if I watch this back, I'll see, but... Now, we are the long shot here with blue, so any any good effort here. Okay, we got to go. I don't know where the space is. I bumped the horse. I'm sorry, but, like, I had to. Let's just see how you fight. Really, really wide, wide trip. Not ideal, but um, blue still fighting. Is anything going to clear up? No, yes, maybe so. Look at this blue's color. Still digging in, still digging in, still digging in. That's going to be second place. Wow. Man, if betting was in this game, I would have a lot of money right now because we've been having some great results off of some really long shot odds. We were like, we were going off at 200 to 1. <laughs> 200 to 1, and we finished in second place. I. <sighs> wow. Blues colors. And that was in a great two. Whoa, I wasn't even paying attention. Social mood with the win. Yeah, uh, Kelly, we can see your messages. Thanks. Thanks, Mouse. That was, uh, I wasn't expecting that again. 
So pretty good line of races. No wins though. We're actually over 100k. Yowie wowies. Well, we were. <laughs> I say that and then it drops us down because uh, horse. Fine Saint. Should I buy Fine Saint? Because um, he's a. I mean, he's he's good for sprinting, and he's a late developing horse, and he doesn't peak until he's like five. His speed figure is already 81. Is he worth it? He costs 43,000. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, that was a pretty good ride. Crazy Winner, 98 rating. Crazy Winner, also another good one. Quick. Quick. Developing horse. 8 to 12 furlongs, and it's a turf horse. Likes to run towards the front. Much better stats than Fine Saint. The thing is, Fine Saint's speed is already at 81, and he still is going to have three years to develop. So, and his spurt is fast. Keep an eye out for Sexy Sunrise, a cheap low rank horse that can take a few G1s and make decent babies. I always start with him. Sexy Sunrise, you say? Okay, I will keep an eye out. Buy Fine Saint, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Yeah, I like that fast spurt. Six to eight, very specific. Winged Light is here for the Phillies. Night Breeze, no way! You guys remember Night Breeze from our 2004 series? It's nice to see some of those horses in this game now that I've actually used them. She's okay. Her stamina's not bad, honestly. Her stamina isn't bad. Her spurt's pretty fast. 8 to 12. She costs 22k. Wayne's light. Are you even worth it? 88 speed. Holy moly. But her spurt is really slow. But she's late developing. Look at that. She won't peak till she's 5. She's worth 62,000 points, but her speed is already at 88. Ugh, what do I do? She only runs 5 to 7. That's really limited. But she's a front runner, so her spurt being slow is actually not a bad... It's not a terrible thing. Her stamina sucks. I kind of want to buy Fine Saint. I'm not going to lie to you. I love how he prances. I love that. Ugh. <sighs> What do you guys think? Fine Saint, Crazy Winner. Wing Light, she costs too much. 62k. I'm not I'm not looking forward to that. This is Ardent Moon. She's she wants to be leading. She's quick. She'll peak really quickly. 85 speed for her. She costs 20k. See, that's not bad. I think Ardent Moon is a good buy for 20k. Um Fine Saint, should we get him? Yeah, you know what? We're going to buy Fine Saint and we'll retire Al Sheba. Oh, that really, ugh. Did drop our money, but I think it'll be worth it for Fine Saint. Al Sheba, I forgot I can't get rid of you here. I don't think that horse is going to amount to anything. He's dropping, anyways. Um, I always forget where to sell horses. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is it create a horse? No, horse data. Duh. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Art of Moon is pretty good for 20k. That would drop us down to 33 points, man. I'd have to really start grinding up again, huh? Alshiba, not using you for breeding. No way. 1,200 points. Whatever. Fine Saint's ready to go. 6 to 8 on the turf. We'll get him going. Let's look to see who we have available for breeding. Which I'm not going to breed till next year. Striking Tap, we still have... Um, he's okay. Decent dirt rating. Speed-wise... Had five wins. Double check Art of Moon. Yeah, I will. Give me a second. Forever Beat. I don't know what I'm using this horse for. Very average. No wins. Don't know what I'm going to breed her for. Does that sound good, guys? Uh, Kelly, what did you say? For Courtney, I think we're saving her for... Who was I going to breed her with? Goose Army? Cosmo Gal, I forgot she's still here. No, we were gonna breed Cosmo Gal and Goose Army. Yeah, that's who. Once Goose Army is ready to be retired, we're breeding him with Cosmo Gal. We should get a really strong Grade One horse. I would like to do that in today's live stream if I can. All right, let's check Art and Moon again. I could buy her. She could be a filly worthwhile. What do you guys think about Art and Moon? She has 85 speeds uh, for turf. Her stamina is blah, but whatever. She's a sprinter. Her spurt is really fast. 
I feel like she might be worth it. I mean, what am I really saving my money for? I'm not really going to buy those horses that cost like 200k. It's just not worth it. Oh, about the video editing. Got it. Nice Philly Ardent Moon. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab her. And we did. All right. Well, we got rid of Alshiba and we have acquired Fine Saint and Ardent Moon. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the squad. Six to eight. Let's see. Georgetown Gray 2. Why not? Let's go ahead and throw him kind of into the deep end right off the bat. Ardent Moon, I would like to do the same. They both run to six. They both run six to eight. Very nice. All right. Let's run her in a grade three. We're throwing both of these newly acquired horses right into the deep end. Let's see what they got, right? Crocker, nice. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. They're going to bring you lots of money? Yeah, yeah, I, I believe it. Appreciate you guys for being here. I don't know if I would have made that decision without being on the stream, so that helps out a lot. That's why I really need a new capture software, because then I can stream the other Gallup Racer games, and you guys can, we can have this real-time interaction with my, you know, with our decisions. Arden Moon, she's already the favorite today in the grade three, and she wants to be leading. I like it already, and who, Wayne Pride, was that the other horse that was in the shop? You know what, who honestly cares? Let's get the win with Arden Moon. Let's get the win. She has a very fast spurt as well, so I could probably still wait a little bit to get her going. She doesn't have great stamina, so I can't get her going too early, obviously, but let's get a good start. Hopefully she breaks well. Eh, she breaks okay. Uh, don't bump, don't bump, don't bump. All right. Oh, we're not in the lead yet. Get, uh, get in the lead, get in the lead, get in the lead. I know you want to be in the front. I know you're fine. You're fine. Okay, she's good. She's good. He's still running in the green. What's the problem? What are you what are you not happy about? What is she not happy about? She's in the lead. We're not running her that hot. What is she upset about? <sighs> Whatever. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Now let's go. Now let's go. Now let's pull away. The nine is trying to challenge. The nine is challenging. That's the nine or the five, I don't know. Come on, Ardit. Pull away. Pull away, pull away, get there at the line. Think we just held on. Why was she? What, what was she upset about? She was not in the blue that whole race. I had her in front. We weren't running her hot. She likes to be up front. Yeah, she was in the lead by herself. We had her up there. I mean, the other horses were what? Maybe a length off of us, but she was in the lead. Hmm. Does she want to be further up front? Like up front? Does she want to be like two lengths ahead of the field? Is she one of those type of front runners? Because we had her in the lead once I got her there for pretty much the majority of the race. She was still in the green that whole time. Maybe I need to push her a little bit further ahead. But she gets the win. She gets the win. I just don't want her running in the green every time. But I'll figure it out. It's a win. And a grade three win on her debut. So, Ardent Moon. Let's go. All right. She likes to be lengths off. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Fine Saint. You the favorite too? No. Warm Star. Wouldn't even pay a dollar. What, what is that about? Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Fair play. Fair play. We can stalk. When I say stalk, I mean we can just sit off of the pace of whoever's going to be leading. And uh, let's try to get Fine Saint his win too in a great two. His win two, T-O-O, -O, in a great two. Ha, ha, ha. Terrible, terrible pun, as always, from Horse Racing Gamer. What's new, you know? All right. Not a great start, but that's okay. Mm. Now let's get you comfortable, wherever that is. Okay, he's in the blue. See? Fine Saint got established and settled really early, and he's completely fine. Warm Moons. Okay, so the favorite is literally right in front of us to the left. That's the favorite right there. So, let me actually try to get the jump on the favorite if I can. Well, it depends. Okay. I'm not going to whip yet. Nope. Now we're going to go. Now we're going to go. Close. I think the favorite's done. The favorite is done. The favorite is done. But there's somebody else shooting up on the outside. Somebody that's not the favorite. Completely blew us. Whoever that is blew us all out of the water. Wasn't even the favorite. 
Can't say I saw that coming. Who really could have? <laughs> Who ended up winning that? Oh, Warm Star. Gosh, I didn't realize both of them were in the field. The favorite did win. Oh, Goofy Me. I didn't realize there were two horses in the field with Warm in the beginning of their name. I thought it was only the one. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm focused on the wrong horse. And, like, the favorite actually wins and wins by, like, several lengths. That, that's, how, that's kind of funny, actually. All right, how many colors... Still developing. I forget. Ebony is still not going to peak till next year. So five to eight. Maybe we can get him in a grade one. Matt Mile Champ Cup. Perfect. Let, let's see how that goes. Blues will be ready eventually. These horses have raced a lot. Twenty three races for Ebony. Twenty for Blues Colors. Eighteen for Goose Army. All right. I just thought about it. I could breed horses right now, even though Goose Army's not ready to be retired yet. 241 to 1. They, You know what? They, they do this to Ebony Colors all the time. They never give him a chance, and we usually end up doing very well. Like we finish in the top three. 241 to 1. That, that, that is a crime. Native, naive fiddle, excuse me, is the favorite, the two horse. Major flyers in this field. Stern Chief. Yeah, it's a competitive field. But gosh, they really have no faith in Ebony Colors, do they? They have like zero faith in Ebony Colors. They're like, oh yeah, you're not going to do well. You're going to suck. Whatever, man. All right. Yeah, I really wish betting was in this game. We'd be so rich right now because we won. Uh, we've done so well in a lot of races with just ridiculous odds. Even though we haven't won with those odds, except for like maybe one race, we would have a lot of money. Okay, Ebony is looking good here. I might need to run him closer towards the front. I feel like I've been running him as a stalker, right? and I should run him a little bit closer towards the midfield, even though he's a closer. It's not so far off. Like This is perfect striking distance right here. Gap opens up. No faith. Yeah, they have no faith in Ebony Colors at all. Let's go. Let's work. Let's work. Let's see what you can do. I know you're the long shot. I know you're the long shot. Now, he is gas, which is strange. Like, I wasn't even running him hard. Completely gas, huh? All right. Well, today he actually doesn't perform well. Usually he always outperforms what his odds are. Uh, expected to um, mean that was a grade one though that was a grade one maybe he's not grade one ready yet did almost forget that was a grade one race so maybe that wasn't ideal <laughs> so yeah he had no stamina left none and I didn't even run him that hard in fact I didn't run him hard at all like he was blue pretty much the whole time it's fine no worries Blues colors, you're ready to go. As good as these horses are, it's really shocking they have only one like a race each. Uh you go seven to thirteen, turf or dirt. Continental Cup. Is that even worth it? He has the stamina for it though. What about Vancouver? Forty five hundred. I wanna go to the race with the bigger price. Continental, of course. Alright, let's do that. I would like to retire Goose Army for breeding, but he's still he's still able to compete. So I'm gonna have to be more patient. Blues colors, I guess. Yeah, I guess blues and ebony colors. I guess both of them aren't really aren't grade one horses, unfortunately. So let's just do it the best that we can. I guess I'll have to stick to group threes and group twos, unfortunately. But um. We'll do our best. That's all we can do. Good start. Um, I don't really know where Blue wants to be, to be honest. Like, that leg type is anywhere, so... Okay, he's comfortable right here. Alright, fair enough. 
this is I mean this is fine for me actually I think this gives us a chance to have a nice run these horses in front of us should should uh, spread out a little bit as we get into the stretch so as long as we're saving ground saving stamina we that's what we need and these races where we're completely outclassed we really need enough stamina to stay in the fight if we have no stamina we're just gonna get completely left behind but having a decent amount of stamina in the end it gives us a chance and blues does have uh, 80 stamina rating for both turf and dirt so we should be okay should be okay probably what seven lengths off the lead maybe give or take between five and seven all right they're going now really okay all right let's see not gonna use the whip yet I'm gonna go really really late because there's nothing for us to gain here anyways yeah these horses I guess these fields are too tough blue and ebony both had the same thing they just had no stamina left at the end to amount any sort of effort none whatsoever so g1s I gotta keep them away from those that's fine no big deal it's worth a shot just to see how they would uh, perform and a slow pace as well there was nothing i could do i think even if i got the jump on the field we would have just been behind so everything still go with my stream you guys still here i think you should be i hope yeah we lost 1300 points yeah i can't be doing that no big deal, honestly. Goose Army's ready to go again. Is he dropping? Oh, he is dropping. Maybe Goose has finally peaked. Yeah, he'll be peaked as a five-year-old. He's earned 60000 in purse. That might be time. Maybe we'll get put Goose in one more race. 18 races, 7 wins. But there still aren't any grade... I mean, a two-year-old in this game can't race until, like, the summer anyways. I think. I'll, I'll check the schedule. Hmm. 10 to 14. Let me double check. Everything should still be good with the stream. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Um. Winter GP. That, that's a great way to end the year for Goose Army. That I think I will go ahead and retire him. Or I could just try to stack G2 wins with them. Art of Moon. She's ready to go again. Six to eight on the turf. Philly Cup. Perfect. This will be a great G1 win for her. I think we can do it. She should be ready. You're going to upload soon? Awesome, Kelly. Great to hear. Cannot wait to see your video. She's not the favorite here today, Art of Moon. Frugal Lark is the nine horse. Uh, not as competitive as a field. Uh, we have Urban Rose in here. We have Social Army. That's really it. We actually have a really strong chance to win this Philly Cup. Um, I need to make sure I get her into the blue. That's the main thing. If I get her into the blue, we, we have a chance. Here we go. Great start. Great start there for the Philly. She's going to get out to the front here. Okay, we're getting challenged a little bit. She's running hot. She's running hot. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. So yeah, she does want to be in the front by about two lanes. She wants to be leading by two lanes. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Frugal Arc is still back there. We're going to have to really be careful about when we decide to go. Here we go. All right. No whip yet. Frugal is coming. Go. 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 No, Frugal's not challenging. The six is pulling away. Come on. Dig in. Uh, dig in. I didn't realize the six was going to be so tough, and the field came out of nowhere. She's completely gassed. Ah, uh, not a good race. That's that's on me. And her stamina is really not good, is it? Darn. That's disappointing. We weren't supposed to finish sixth. Ah, she really tapped out at the end. I, I didn't think I ran her that hard. 
I know um, she wasn't satisfied in the beginning stages of the race, but... Yeah, that was... Yeah. That's that, that's a bit disappointing. Thought we could have done much better than that. I got her settled into the blue, though, uh, eventually, and she was fine. <sighs> oh, well, what are you going to do, eh? It's fine. But yeah, that's that's a little bit disappointing. Like, her stamina, what is it at? 52. Yeah, not a great stamina figure. Yeah, she, she tapped out really quick. That's kind of surprising. What's her guts? Her guts is 3. Huh. 6 to 8 for launch for Fine Saints. Cult Cup. All right. We put her in the Philly Cup. We're going to put Fine Saint in the Cult Cup. Let's see if he does better. He doesn't have to be leading, so that may give us a better chance to save some ground. Not good odds here today. He still has time. I forgot. He's still a late developing horse. He's still not going to be at his best for another three years. Patty's Rum. Remember, remember her. We had her in the very beginning of this series. Warm Star, the favorite. I'm a little bummed out about that race with uh, Ardent Moon. Thought she would have shown a little bit more fight there, but she completely just tapped out in the stretch. I just don't know what happened. All right. Schwang. Warm Star, where are you at? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well. On to the next race we are. We'll figure it out with Art and Moon, hopefully. We did win a race with her, so it's not like I can't win, but her stamina really isn't good. Knew that when buying her. I just... I hope that doesn't become a liability, especially if we're in really competitive fields. I, I don't like I don't like really good horses that have such bad stamina that it becomes a liability when they race against really tough competition, you know? Not a fan of that. Alright. Still battling, still battling. He's tapping out too. Am I running my horses too hard? Because they actually are losing stamina. And I'm not even going on the whip till late. Granted, though, he was actually not supposed to finish anywhere in the top five. That's not a bad effort. But they both are losing stamina. The video is processing right now. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. I don't feel like I'm running them too hard. I wonder what's going on. Do I need to wait later? I forgot. Fast spur. Maybe I need to wait much later. I'm running them how I've been running my other horses that have average or slower spurts but these horses because of their fast spurts they're going to tap out really quickly so maybe i need to maybe i'm running them too fast in the stretch i might need to be a little bit more patient all right last race of the year with goose army and um in a grade one not the favorite easy traffic oh my gosh Easy traffic is going to be hard to beat. We are stalking, though, so maybe we'll have a chance. But easy traffic, he's going to be really tough to beat, man. From post position one. Come on, Goose. We need a G1, man. Goose has officially hit his peak. He'll be on the decline, so we need a grade one. In the rain, 12 and a half furlongs for the winter GP in Miami. Um, where is dear puffy's in this field too oh my gosh i'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie a little bit nervous this is a pretty tough field easy traffic and dear puffy are both at the front so we have to make sure we we really um perfect our our, our stretch run our spurt yeah, I hope Goose Army does well too, Leanne. It's going to be tough. He keeps going back and forth between blue and green. I don't know what he's really trying to tell me here. He's where he wants to be in the back. I just don't know if he's... I don't know if we're running him too hard. Uh, running him too slow. Yeah, he's in the green. I don't know what's upsetting him right now. Yeah, I don't know what's really upsetting him. It's going to be a long way to go, man. I don't know if the inside is going to free up or what. This is the problem with running with this. Okay, that does clear up. 
that that's some space there's a gap there is a gap we gotta go we gotta go there is a gap we got a long way to go to catch the leaders come on goose dig in man show us some fight here please show us some fight there there goes the speed of goose arm i don't think we're catching the leader we're not catching easy traffic oh yeah it wasn't gonna happen it's up on your horse racing channel uh kelly is it on the channel that you're talking to us from now or a different one not a last couple of uh good races there what am i doing differently i feel like my horses are tiring out but i'm not running them that hard i really don't i feel like they've all pretty much had plenty of stamina until we start our stretch run and then they're just like oh i'm done end of the year awards let's see what happens on horse of the year was honest bird best sprinter of miler was fusion power best dirt horse beauty prize easy traffic was the best cult Honest Bird, best three-year-old. Warm Star, best two-year-old. Blah, 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 blah. Lee's Gold, best filly. Jockey standings. We finished ninth. I feel like we always finish around there anyways. I need to save. Oh, my gosh. I have not saved since I've started. Hold on. Save. Yeah. yeah imagine making all this progress and not saving. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Goose has definitely had his hit his peak unfortunately it's been fun it's been fun but um yeah i'll try to put him in a grade one to close out for him or a grade three maybe a grade two i mean a grade two not a grade one america jc let's do that that'll be his last race and then we'll go ahead and retire him blues colors is ready to go so it's ebony um so ebony still developing yeah ebony colors this should be his year five eight on the turf let's run him in another open that's fine Blues colors. Blues has actually peaked. Good stamina. I wonder if Blues is worth retiring now. I'm going to put him in one more race. If not, I'll retire him and get him ready for breeding as well. Let's run him in a grade three. See, no, he has handicap. And he has handicap. February, can he run in that? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Oh, it's a grade one. You know what? I keep forgetting. Don't do that. It's a waste of time. As much as I would like to, but there's no point. And we can lose points if we don't do well. So it's not worth it. It's not like Gout Racer. It's not like the other Gout Racer games where you can run them in a grade one and you don't really lose anything from it. In this game, it will punish you if you lose. I don't want that. Uh, all right. What was I going to check? Oh, yeah. I wanted to look to see... As far as two-year-olds are concerned, when I can actually start running two-year-olds for races... I still think it's not till summer, right? Let's see, three year olds. Yeah, two year old races don't start till the summer. So I'm not going to breed any of my horses until like midway through the year. Yeah, the first two year old races don't start popping up until July. That's the earliest. That's the earliest we can race any two year olds. So we'll have to wait a couple of months for breeding. Ugh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I just want to make some more coffee. I do that. All right, Ebby Colors in this race. Not bad odds. Post parade. Go ahead and take a look at the horse. I'll be right back getting some more lovely coffee.
All right, guys, we are back. My goal is to get to breeding in this video. I really want to see how the foal can be uh, between Goose Army and Cosmo Gal. I could save that for a video, to be honest with you. Or the next live stream. I could save it for that. Maybe that's what I'll do. Probably save it for the next live stream. Maybe. It depends. We'll see how things go here today. Okay, decent start for Ebony Colors. Racing Empire. Okay, thanks, Kelly. Um, I will make sure to go ahead and subscribe to you after this live stream and watch that video. Cannot wait. Racing Empire. Got it. Racing Empire. Just want to make sure I remember. Make a mental note. <laughs> Elite. What's going on, brother? Pretty strong run here from Ebony Colors. Oh my goodness, look at this spurt. Ebony Colors punching through the field. We're going to get up there for the win unless we get challenged at the line. No, Ebony Colors gets it done. Let's go. Maybe that's why I've been doing wrong. I, ha I had been starting my horse as well before the two furlong marker. Maybe I really do need to wait for that. Easy, easy spurt there. Ebony Colors gets another win. Probably the second win, but who cares? A win is a win, right? <laughs> Wasn't that's a grade two or a grade three win? That is a grade no grade. It's just an open. Okay, whatever. A win is a win. Who cares? <laughs> a win is a win, none the less. Ebony has a very strong spurt. Yep, very strong spurt when you time it right for sure. That's his third win. All right. Ebony Colors is still developing. This is going to be his best year. So he can rack up a lot of wins this year, I'm hoping. He'll rack up a lot of wins. Ardent Moon, she's ready to go again. Her ratings are still increasing. Got to figure it out with her. Her incline rating is okay. I think I have, to, I have to wait. I've been going way too early with her, and I'm tapping out. So we'll run her in this open. This should be good for her. All right. So Goose Army, this is his last race coming up whenever we get to him. Not today. I mean, not right this second, but I think the race after this will be Goose Army's last one. Ardent Moon, she is the favorite as she should be. Let's get the win. I think I know what I need to do with her now. She doesn't have good stamina, and I've been getting her going like half a furlong quicker. It just, it's gassing her out. I gotta wait. She has a very fast spurt, so I really gotta be patient. And make sure I get her to the front quickly and get her, you know, established. Get to the front, gal. Get to the front. Get to the front. Get to the front. Okay. She's at the front. She's at the front. I know. I know. She's a little bit testy. She, she's a little bit testy. A little bit spicy, as Abigail would say. Yeah, she's a little bit... She, she has a little bit of a temper. She wants 7-6 exacta. All right. She wants to be at the front, and pretty quickly. I'm going to wait. All right, let's go. I'm not even going to put her under the whip. I don't know if it's necessary. Ah, oh, the field is coming. No, she's got it. All right, We're, we are going to get challenged. She's still there. She's still there. She's going to get the win. All right. So Arden Moon, I really, really have to be patient with her. And I still felt like we ran her pretty hard in the beginning stages of the race. Because even though she breaks out of the gate well, I feel like she takes a while to, to kind of get her speed going. Ironically, even though she has a fast spurt for the stretch, but... When she gets out of the gate, even if she breaks well, then to get her to the front, she struggles a little bit. Yeah, what are you, Abigail? What is up with me, the, the spicy ladies? I always get the the, the the Phillies with tempers, man. They're they're all pretty testy with me, aren't they? <laughs> like they'll win, we'll win with them, but like it's always a struggle. It's always a little bit of a fight. It's like just resistance. That's our second win. I'm not complaining. Just, we're leading in jockey average already. Cool. Fine Saint. Let's, you still have not gotten a win yet, so let, let's change that, yeah? 
Six to eight on Zatef. Got him out in a grade three. That should be fine. Yeah, I don't know why I always pick them up. It's... <laughs> okay. Whatever odds. Refined Saint. Doesn't really matter. We'll watch out for the nine horse. <sighs> and we'll go from there. Yesterday I was in Genesis on our stream and I found out I'm the youngest out of the group. No way. <laughs> I'm expecting a spicy Philly from Aunt B. I hope not. But that that probably is going to be the case. As long as she's a good horse, I, I I can work with it. I, I've kind of I'm learning better as I play these games more how to deal with those type of fillies. It's not ideal, but I am learning how to manage. Elite, you're the youngest, huh? No worries with that. <laughs> we all are different ages. Some of us are your age. Some of us are in between. Some of us are my age. Some of us are even older than me. Yeah, Aunt B, um, her temper isn't good, but the fold that we got from her, King B, he turned out great. He was very mild-mannered, but I think it was because of his father, Desert Diver. All right. Now we're going to go with Fine Saint. That's the secret, really going at the last minute, but still quite a bit going on here in this race. Uh, finish third, stay third. I hope we stayed third. As long as she is pink, as long as she is a pink or maybe a king, you should be fine. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You can't see the start thing? Yeah, I know. Yeah, her start meter is like impossible. You just, I, you literally just have to guess it. Okay, we still finished third with Fine Saint. That, that, that's fine. He's still late developing. Keep in mind, Fine Saint's not supposed to be at his best for another two years. Although Polish Beat has a temper of six, he is a mean stallion. Yeah. It's really interesting how that, that works in these games, you know? It's quite interesting. Because, like, remember, we didn't have a lot of issues with Aunt B and her temper. I, I think I, I kept it under control pretty well. There were some races it was really bad, and then those were the races we lost. But for the most part, I was able to keep her under control. So, guys, this will be Goose Army's last race. It's 11 furlong G2, the America JS Stakes, or JC Stakes, excuse me. Lemon Cupid's the favorite. Goose Army has done very, very well for us. I think he's been our best original so far. And we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Elite, the Gallup Racer series started, like you said before, you were even born. Um, this game that came out, I was playing first when I was like 8 or 9 years old. So, And I'm 30 now, so it's been a long time. The series has been around for a while. Oh, oh my gosh, Goose, get out of the gate, brother. <laughs> Has anybody watched the, the Disney Channel movie Gallop Racer? I mean Gallop Racer, Ready to Run. That, that's probably one of my favorite horse racing movies of all time, even though it's a little like cheesy. I still love that movie. And a scene in that movie is when Thunder Jam is in the gates, and he just, before he was ready to really become like a racehorse and he wasn't ready to run, he would just, he sat in the gates. He just would not come out. That's literally what happened with Goose Army. He just sat in the gate, did not want to come out. That's hilarious. She did throw a couple of tantrums, but you did, yeah, yeah. I, I think I did my best to manage her well, fortunately. But yeah, Goose just pulled like a thunder jam. If anybody hasn't watched that movie, look up Gallup Racer. Um, excuse me, I keep saying Gallup Racer. Gosh, I'm playing the game, but look up Ready to Run on YouTube. If you don't have it, you can buy it. I think it's literally like $2. Maybe the price has increased, but Thunder Jam. I love, dude, Thunder Jam. Like you said, KNS, fun movie, right? It's just a fun movie. And um, really enjoy it. But Thunder Jam, awesome horse. I want to make a horse like that in this game. I want a horse like Thunder Jam in this game that, um, you know, we can utilize. I don't think I've ever created a horse named Thunder Jam here. I remember one... Um, yep, Goose Army is done. He, he's tapped. He won't finish in last, but... I got him going too soon anyways. I remember one movie which was about a donkey racing in an important race. Really? What movie was that? Cyclone the Gray was a tough horse, right? Hollywood, the show off. Yeah, Ready to Run. If you never watched that movie, it, it's, it's, a, it's a fun watch. Don't take it too seriously, but it's a fun watch for a horse racing movie. 
I mean, it was still tailored towards kids anyways, you know what I mean, <laughs> for the most part. But if you kind of just enjoy it for what it is, it really is a fun movie to watch. So guys, Goose Army, that's going to be it for him. His ratings are dropping anyways, but you know what? 20 races, 7 wins. He earned 60000 in purse. Goose Army, you've done very well for us. I have no complaints at all. Racing Stripes was a good movie. I actually haven't watched that. It's probably a lot of movies I actually haven't watched. As far as horse racing is concerned. It was a zebra. Really? Wow. I've, I swear I remember seeing that movie, but I can't remember anything about it. Racing Stripes, yeah. I, it brings a bell, but I can't. I couldn't tell you anything outside of just knowing it was a zebra. Is it like Donkey? I'm like, no, that doesn't sound right, but zebra, yeah. Goose Army, you have done well for us. Breeding, yes, sir. All right. So, Goose... The two horses will be breeding, guys, and I would like to get to it in this live stream. Not horse shop, Eric. What are you doing? We're going to be breeding Goose Army and Cosmo Gal. Look at Goose Army's turf rating. 107, 82 stam, or excuse me, 83 stam, 82 speed. Seven wins for him. We'll be breeding him with Cosmo Gal in a couple of months. 85 speed for her. We should really get a strong grade one horse, I'm hoping. Granted, keep in mind in this game, like you breed two great horses and sometimes it gives you a complete dud. Farlap is another great older race horse movie, yeah. I would agree. I would agree. Wish they had more, you know? I found out Genesis made Tecmo take out infinite horses from 2003. Really? How does she do that? Oh, yeah, she's playing on an emulator, right? Yeah, she's playing on the emulator. That would make sense. Okay, five to eight. February? I don't... I don't think Ebony is capable of running in a grade one, unfortunately. I think I should stay away from that. Let's do a grade three. Yeah, I always forget. I, I would love to be in a position to play Galbracer... Uh, the other Galbracers on the emulator, but... My computer's not strong enough for it, and we've already made too much progress, so I'm sticking to the PS2. Only one I may play on the emulator is 2006, but I need to upgrade my computer before that happens. I keep handicaps. You know, some, some of these races I've registered my horses for, the handicap thing didn't pop up. I don't remember it popping up for this race. Okay. Where's my phone at? Oh. Really fun stream here today. Had a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun. All right, Blues, uh, you don't really have a chance here today, but I'm going to do my best with you, man. I know that sounds terrible. It's like I just blew down on the horse, and I'm like, but I'm still going to do my best. In one of the horse games she plays, she has more foals than wins with Great Belair. Oh, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, Genesis has done a lot in her series. She's done a lot. She's very busy. I, I respect that. She's very busy. I am nowhere close. Sea Biscuit movie, yeah. Sea Biscuit's a great watch. Sea Biscuit is a great watch. I'm gonna wait really late here with Blues because like we have nothing to lose, and we have a lot of stamina. So let's just see if we can close down on any of these horses at the end. I know we're coming from a really far way off. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. That's fine. I have a name for a fold 2004 Whispering Soul if it fits a gray. Whispering Soul. I'm really gonna have to remember that because I can't access my spreadsheet right now. But um, let me see. Actually, I'll just write it in my in my phone. You like that? <laughs> I will try live streaming um, Horse Racing Manager two uh, soon as well. I think that would be a fun stream to do. Maybe I don't know. That game is a little bit more resource uh, dependent on your computer, so it may be a little bit choppy with the frame rate. Maybe I won't do that actually. Have any colors? Ruby Dooby Doo is the favorite. Boo. Just kidding. All right, let's just do our best with Ebony. Whispering Soul. I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm. Yeah, Lead, if you could stream something today, that'd be great. Which game would you stream? What about Wider Shade of Pale? So, wait, what would the name be, Kelly? Shade of Pale? Or the 
Mm. Singing stream with horse racing gamer. Oh gosh. Would anybody want that? <laughs> I'm literally just gonna sing a whole bunch of like 80s songs. That's pretty much it. I'll sing pretty much most of Wham's songs, because Wham is my favorite band of all time. R.I.P. George Michael. Great voice. Great talent. Oh my gosh, a singing stream. Oh man. <laughs> the horse name would be Whiter Shade of Pale. Okay. I wonder if I could fit that into Galbraith for 2004 or 2003, you know? I have a full name, Silver Hedgehog and Galbraith. Silver Hedgehog! I like that. That's a really cool name. That's a really cool name. Oh, look at this run from Ebony Colors! If I would have known this, I would have been at the front way sooner. Gosh, we could have won that race. I wasn't thinking we were going to have a chance. As the music dies. Da -da 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 -da. All right, I'm done. No, I'm not a fool. I've been given. I'm just singing. <laughs> I'm singing that song, just different parts of it. Um, you have 2001, 4, and 3. Um, Elite, honestly, play whichever game you would like to play. I wouldn't mind seeing you play any of those. You have a Philly called Justine. You guys come up with such great names. I feel like you guys have much better names than I could think of, honestly. Like, way better. Fine Saints ready to go again. 6 to 8. On the turf! <laughs> And the Tef. I apologize for that. That probably really annoyed people. And uh, Ardent Moon, she's ready to go. I'm sticking her to the opens for now, even though I know she's probably ready to run some group, group ones. As the music. <laughs> not sure if it would fit since Crackling of Thunder. Yeah, that's true. Probably not. That's the only thing, Kelly. I think that name might be too long for these. Field of Seven? When is the last time we've ran with such a short field in this game? Ardent Moon, not the favorite. Social Army is. Okay, but we have a chance to win, and I shouldn't have to worry about spacing. All Phillies. Y'all are too creative. Literally, one of my horses' name was Car Door. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Car Door. <laughs> yeah, Lee, they're way better with the names than us. I think, I think the gals are much better with, with the names than, than the boys, for sure. It's not even a question. Car Door. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Because that's, I mean, I've come up with pretty bad names like that myself. I mean, Silly Goose, remember, in this series, in this game, Silly Goose was a name I came up with for a horse. Silly Goose. <laughs> oh, Car Door, that is hilarious. <laughs> I wonder what inspired you to come up with that. Like, I know what goes through my head when I come up with names. I'm just a very goofy guy in, in general. Car door. That is hilarious. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad to know I'm not alone, Elite. I'm glad to know you, you know. Oh, Abigail, you have so many names. I swear in, your, in my spreadsheet, your names for horses, it goes down like t more than 20 rows. There are so many names we haven't used yet. Ardent Moon, she really gasses so quickly. Why? And I don't even run her that hard. Can anybody tell me? What do you guys think it is? Am I am I running her too early in, in the stretch? Is that it? Because I know her spurt is very fast, which means she's only going to have that top speed for probably a little bit of time. But she really gasses out. It's a little bit concerning. We got two wins with her so far, but she really she she taps out so quickly. It's a bit of it's a bit concerning. Name my horse was a total dud at inbred. <laughs> My name to horse was a total dud and inbred. I keep forgetting about inbreeding horses as well. I keep forgetting, like, the game does take that into consideration. So I know I've messed up quite a few of my horses from that. Poor Black Minx. Ha, tried his best. Right, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Don't remind me. <laughs> Ardent Moon. Let's look at her stats. Her guts is not bad. She has three stars out of five. Her temper is not good. So, yeah, she's very testy. Her incline is three stars. Her conditioning's two. Her breaking is great. So, she, she's a little bit of a struggle so far. I remember I broke a car door because I pulled a little too hard to close the door. And that's how you came up with the name. Wow. What a story, huh? 
You're racing Eastern Light in Gallup Racer 2004? Ooh, I don't really remember that horse and how to race it. So, Leanne, I can't really give you any tips because I can't remember that horse. You're very sorry about that. I have wild imagination for names. Oh, don't don't be sorry. It's great that you have such an abundance of names because it's helped. King B, I think, was a name you suggested, right? I'm pretty sure you suggested King B, I thought. Some of our greatest horses in the series have been from your names. You might give Abigail a fight with names? Yeah. Yeah, Abigail, be careful. You might have you might have someone else in the running for, for your money. <laughs> Fine, Saint. This is a great three. We're sitting kind of outside the money. So let's see what he can do. It's really cloudy here today. I don't like it. It was sunny earlier. Now it's just like completely cloudy. You put money on Abigail. King was a name by you. Yep. King B turned out great. Considering he came from Aunt B, we expected him to have that temper, and he did not at all. Like, he was very mild-mannered. My bad, fine saint. I know you're supposed to be at the front. My bad, bro. My bad. I got you, man. Now, I have to remember, he is also a, uh, a closing horse. I mean, a horse with a fast spurt. So I'm going to have to be patient. I really, really would like to breed horses in this game with a five-star incline rating. Because every, virtually every track except for the dirt tracks, all the turf tracks have, have an incline. And it's quite an annoying thing to deal with. I'm not really worried about you guys flying past me. I'm really not. Find St. Push. Now the favorite's probably going to be too hard to catch... Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Get up there for second. Yes. That's all I wanted. I wanted at least second because we weren't supposed to win that. Eastern Light is by Eastern Knife and Major River. Oh, so it's an original you created. Nice. I figured. I knew Eastern had to come from maybe a knife or something. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Which two horses are you going to breed next? I am breeding Goose Army and Cosmo Gal. They're both originals. Cosmo Gal, I think, has been our best Philly original. And, of course, Goose Army was our best Colt original. So I'm breeding the both of them. They both have, like, both of their speed figures are mid-80s. So they, we should really, I hope if the game is on our side, we should get a really strong G1 horse from the both of them. I'll be breeding those two, like, in June. Because two-year-olds can't run in this game until July anyways. And, you know, horses in this game get very impatient if you don't race them. You won't be able, you won't beat me. I could fill two more pages. Yeah, Kelly, that, that's a pretty tall task. Abigail could probably write a book of horse names, honestly. Cosmo Army? Ooh. Cosmo Army. I like it. Abigail, what you got? What do you got? The challenge. Kelly has laid the challenge down. Cosmo Army is the name. Do you have a rebuttal? Can you retaliate? What are you going to do? Abigail, it's on you. <laughs> Uh, let's run in a grade three here for Blues or Ebony and Blues. Both horses with the same name. So Blues is peaked. I might retire. Look at Blues is average. 60-60 speed for turf and dirt. 80-80 stand for turf and dirt. And 78-78. I mean, this horse is like a literally run an enemy anywhere. Like, kind of crazy. Let's do... Actually, you know what? I just thought about it. Because some of these horses aren't good with the incline, let's try to... I can run them on dirt. Um, My first 2004 foal is the son of two G1 winners, but he is E-ranked. Yeah, it can happen sometimes, Elite. It, it depends. I don't understand the metrics of that completely, but it happens. What's the best horse you've ever ridden in any of these games? I remember in G1, in, uh, G1 Jockey... Uh, G.I. Jackie 3, whatever, G1 Jackie. Horse called Cryptic, who is nothing short of a cheat code. Basically, Winks. Wow. Super skills. Welcome. I love your avatar. I love the purple and green combo. Um, my best horse, I gotta say, honestly, a horse that I feel like I've done the best with in any of these games, and Dom, Desert Diver. I know he's not the best horse in the game, but I can't recall another horse I had so much success with. Desert Diver is still... Across any of the games, my best horse. I'm not saying he's my favorite, but definitely 
I would say for me, he was the best horse. He, he did so well. I don't even remember how many races we lost with him. I think like two, and he won more G1s that I could count. So Desert Diver for me. Army Gal, Cosmo Lad, Cosmo Goose. Oh, man. Uh, I like Cosmo Army. I like Army Gal. I like Cosmo Lad. I like Cos. I like all your names. That's going to be tough. I may have to do a random wheel generator to honestly decide that. Probably going to have to do random wheel generator so it's completely fair because you both have suggested really good names. So once we get to that part in this live stream, if you guys are still with me, just remind me to do throw it in the in the random wheel generator I, I honestly can't pick those are all good names wonder whale next desert diver yeah wonder whale is much better for sure like i said desert diver is not the best horse but as far as horses i've actually rode in this game um desert diver i think was the best like hands down but I mean, he's not the best horse in the game and not even my favorite he was he was just a really easy grade one horse to, to win with and just really a strong dominating Colt. So Cosmo yeah, we already had Cosmo Gal, so I'll put those names in a generator and we'll see. But yeah. For me, Desert I mean Desert Diver. I can't think of another horse that was easier to work with, honestly. Alright. Nothing really here from Ebony Colors. I don't think Ebony Colors really does well in, like, anything above, like, a group two. Miles, welcome back. Welcome back. And this was a grade three, so that, that that's even more strange. That's fine. Is it raining? It is raining. Yuck. If it's a Philly, why not... Uh, Far Cosmos. I like Far Cosmos. Make sure you guys remember these names, because like as soon as I get to the random wheel generator, we're gonna put them in there. We'll let fate decide, because I, I can't pick. Blues colors, long shot. These horses don't. It's so weird. They they can do really well in opens, and then I just move them up in class to a great thing, and they're just like, ah, no, I can't do it. I can't do it, Eric. No. Name the foal. Plastic cup. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to name a full plastic cup that's like just such an average horse I have no expectations with. Watch. That horse goes on to win like grade ones. That usually seems to be my luck in these games. I'll name a horse, have no expectations, and then that horse will go on to win a grade one. It's like, what on earth? I'll let Kelly have the name. I'll let Kelly have the, have the name. I have plenty of horses. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Kelly. So, Far Cosmos. I like that. Cosmo Storm, Cosmo Fire, Cosmo Foxy. Oh, gosh, you guys come up with such great names, man. It's not fair. It's so hard to decide. It really is. I'm just going to have to do Random Wheel Generator from here on out. I, I literally can't decide. Unless we breed two specific horses with one name that everybody is like completely unanimous on doing, I'm just going to have to do Random Wheel Generator because all of you guys just have such great names. It's so hard for me to pick. Plastic Cup is hilarious. I'm definitely going to do that for a horse that I have no expectations with. Cosmosis? <laughs> Oh, man. You guys are so creative. You really are. Way more than I could be. Uh, held up. Wonder Whale can win the Universal Cup without whipping. Yeah, Wonder Whale is insane. Wonder Whale is pretty insane. do 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 Cosmosis is good? I think so. Maybe have we are we in agreement on that? Are we gonna do cosmosis for the for the for the uh the full air quotes because of course they don't actually There's no you know, they're not born as foals in this game, they're just two years old and adults essentially. Who are you gonna breed in two thousand and four? We have a lot going on in two thousand and four. Uh we're gonna do Pink Gemstone and I think King B. Lee's gold and somebody, I forgot to breed her. Yes, Abigail, I know. I, I, I probably should. I'm really mad at myself for that. Top three go to the Azalea Cup in this grade, too. I'm going to give it a shot. You're okay with Cosmosis? All right. Sedate Ruler is not a good sire. Yeah, Sedate Ruler is not a good sire. That's what I'm learning. As great as some horses are, when you retire them, 
Like they they they're not good as sires for sure. I, I've noticed that more with the with the Colts turn sires than the Phillies turn brood mares. Usually, if they were good as a as a Philly, they stay they're good for breeding as a brood mare. But like the boys are hit or miss. They can have a great racing career and then they just can't you know sire any decent foals. It's so strange. Ardent Moon, we are just outside of being the favorite, so we have a chance here in this grade too. She's the only filly running in the field with the boys. Please, may I name Pink and uh, King? They're both, yeah, for sure. Abigail, that, that's yours. The name for King B and Pink Gemstone, 100% will be yours. Cosmosis, I like that. I think that's what we'll do. See, Cos, uh, excuse me, not Cosmosis. Ardent Moon, she breaks Willy, Willy well? She breaks Willy well. <laughs> she breaks really well. My goodness, what am I, Barney? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the horse breaks really well right up the gate. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Ardent Moon, she's such a testy horse. She really like has to be in the perfect spot. Otherwise, she just will run in the green. Gosh. What is it with me and the and the hot tempered gals? Like she's she's in the she's in the lead as she wants to be. She's about a length and a half and she's still not in the blue. And she's not even running that hard. Like, what am I supposed to do? Welcome back, Miles. Welcome back. Name a horse Corona Jody run different positions to spread on wingspan. Oh my gosh. Uh I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Cosmo her stamina sucks. There's nothing I can do about that. Like and she has to be in the lead. I don't know if she was worth getting, guys. I'm kind of i I'm, I'm a little bit her stamina sucks and she's too testy. She is the prime example of like a bad filly with a bad temper. Because she's already tired before we even get into the stretch. And I'm not even running her hard. I like the spicy ones. It's like an unintentional thing. I, I like the way they look statistically. But I don't. I always ignore their temper. I don't usually do that with the Colts. I feel like I always get pretty mild manner like Colts. But the Phillies I'm always. I feel like it's a thing in this game. I feel like a lot of the really good Phillies do have pretty bad tempers. Yeah, tongue tied is, is is an understatement. Ardent Moon, oh my goodness! What am I gonna do with you? Cause like she's this is supposed to be her best year, and we spent twenty k on her. I'm a little. <sighs> I don't even know if she'll be ready for the cherry cup, but why not? If you name a horse Corona, do they get a bonus in large field size races? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy, man. Spice is right would be a good name. I like Spice is right. Fine Saint is Fine Saint and, and uh, Ardent Moon. They're very similar in their stats and their distance, but Fine Saint is much easier to work with. And his temper is only two star. Like they have ugh, so confusing. It doesn't make any sense doesn't really make any sense yeah Ardent Moon I I mean I'm gonna stick with her but how much does she cost is she's I wonder if I mean if she's not doing well I feel like we're losing money with her so her weekly cost is 510 okay that's not terrible so I mean she runs us about I mean, yeah, she runs us over 5k a year. That's not terrible, but still. I'm a little worried with Ardent Moon. Let me save again. We've made some progress. I'm going to have to be more patient with Ardent Moon, even though she's technically supposed to be at her best. And, like, she's so... Her stamina really sucks. Her stamina really, really sucks. And trying to push her to the front so much, it seems to gas her out. Two favorites here today. Co-favorites, a crazy expert in social army. And we're sandwiched right in between them with Art and Moon. Oh, my goodness. Art and Moon, get it together. Like, this is supposed to be your year. You're a grade one horse. I have not gotten happy playing, no. I have not gotten happy playing yet. Wish me luck, guys. Art and Moon, I don't know what's going on with this filly. Swing, swing. All right.
You know what? I wonder if I keep... I mean, even when I have her in the lead, she's still not in the blue. What is really the point? What's really the point? I'd rather save stamina with her if she's still not even going to be happy being at, in the lead as she's supposed to be. I'm going to keep her in the green and save some ground. She has... Okay, now she's in the yellow, of course. Gosh darn it. Now she's in the red. Oh, her temper is really bad. And I can't even move her anywhere. We're sandwiched. Oh, no. This is awful. What a terribly... Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to keep her at this point. I really don't. I don't even want to keep her. I got to be honest. Because, like, even when I have her in the lead where she's supposed to be, she's still not satisfied. Art and Moon was a mistake, I think. I think she was a big mistake. Her temper is really bad. Can you remind me to keep making videos? Yeah, I definitely will, Kelly. Don't worry. Please record more. Everybody else, I'm sure, would love to to, uh, to see those as well. Too much spice for me? Yeah, man. Way too much. She's not a filly I can work with. I really don't. Because that's... Uh, I'm just... I'm annoyed because she costs 20k. I just... I could use it for breeding, but... Ah, uh, that temper. Do I want to... Mmm... You know what? I can breed her with just an average horse, and if the horse sucks, it is what it is. It shouldn't cost that much. But Arden Moon, she's not worth it. She'll, she'll, she's going to end up losing us more money than I would like. And her rating's already... Yeah, Arden Moon, she's not worth it. I thought she would be. It's a, it's Like I said, it sucks that we spent 20k on her, but like she she's not worth it. She's really not. She won two races. That's it. She's go. She had too much chili to the sauce. Yeah, she did. It's really disappointing. Really, really disappointing. I haven't been that disappointed with the horse in this game in a while. So we have a lot. We look at all the brood mares we have. I will breed her with somebody. I just don't know who. Sends the glue factory in. No problem, KNS. I mean, honestly, I wanted to get her. I thought she looked good. She clearly is just not as well. This game, and at least for my running style yeah we, we just don't really we don't coincide i guess we just don't gel it is what it is it happens you know what i mean it definitely happens i just wish she was a little bit better yeah i'm gonna run ebony on the dirt i know he's not really a dirt horse but i'm curious how he'll do yeah i was not, yeah abigail was thinking that breeding her with striking tap that could be that could actually be worth our while Mm. All right. I would breed them now, but like the horses, their, their foal is going to be angry about not racing until July. So I'm going to wait till like June. We're going to start breeding next month, actually. We're already in May. Next month in June, we'll start breeding. <laughs> Welcome back, Mals. <laughs> Coming and going, I see. Two co favorites in this field. Ebony, whatever. Moon Taper for a horse name. I like it. The challenge is to get happy playing. I've never got happy playing before. Um, I have to beat Blue, who is winning right now. He made a lot of progress in no time. And Jen said she has got happy playing. Yeah. Happy playing is a great horse to get. I have lost even before I started. You can always make it up. You can always make it up. You're never out of the race just yet, man. Never give up in the race. Trust me, never give up in a race. I have name for a filly of pink and king gemstone. A f king gemstone B? You think that could fit, Abigail? What about king gemstone? I like the name. I like the idea of king gemstone. Striking moon. Gosh, you guys have such great names. I can't write all these down now. Unfortunately, I have to wait till uh, I can get to my spreadsheet. So I would actually say. If you guys are still here. Actually, maybe leave comments on the stream if you can. Like once this is posted as a video. Or leave it like on my most recent videos. Just so I remember. You guys have suggested a lot of names. So I won't really remember. So I can write them down. No, Gemstone B. Oh, okay. Gemstone B. That's not bad. Gemstone B could work. I like that. Okay, fourth place. It's a money place finish for Ebony Colors. That's fine. I think I'm going to retire Blue's Colors, guys, after his next race. Because we can breed him. We can actually get three new originals with breeding next month. 
you know what? I'm actually going to edit my... Uh, I don't want to log in on there with my spreadsheet. Actually, yes, I can. Hold on. All right, let me do a private window. Google. All right, grade two for fine saint. Not the favorite, but we have a chance. Warm Star is the favorite in today's field. Plastic cup for me better... <laughs> Be the horse, uh, be the better horse. Watch. Uh, what's the spreadsheet name? Uh, spreadsheet names you've currently got. Uh, I will actually after this race, I will go into that. So I might be able to pull it up on my computer. Actually, I don't know why I'm trying to make things more complicated. Yeah, I'll pull it up on my computer currently. I don't even know why I'm trying to make things more difficult. Just to keep part of mom and dad's name, keep the B. Yeah, I think the B has to stay in the name. I think that'll be great just for the lineage of those horses, you know, the bloodline of keeping B in there. That'll be, like, special. Super skills. I can't count them all. He has, like, 25 stacks of names from Abigail alone. I really do. I have, a, like, a lot. There's a lot. I will look at my spreadsheet after this race. So all the names you guys have suggested, if you don't mind reposting them once my spreadsheet is open, I will. Uh, I, will I would love to do that. Yeah, I really want a horse in this game with a good incline. Fine Saint. Look at this spurt. Wow. Look at the drive. Six. You're going to get blocked, bro. Sorry. I'm not moving. Nobody is moving for you. Fine Saint gets a win. Finally, big grade two win. Let's go. We needed that. I feel like we had a dry spell for a while. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Great win for Fine Saint. You see, Fine Saint is very similar to Ardent Moon, but he actually gets the job done. And he, like his temper is only two stars, but he's, he's not bad like her. Or how like she was. Big grade two win. We'll take it. Who would you breed blues colors with? I have no idea. I think we're going to get into that literally within the next five minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hip, hip, hooray. I give about 20 plus each video. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Look at that. 6,200 points. Fine saint. Let's go. Great win. Great win for the saint. Blues, okay, Blues Colors has one more race, and then I think I'll retire him. Yeah. Yep. Ebony is still developing. Considering he's six years old. I have like a thousand plus names ready to go for horses on starter's orders. Oh my gosh, super skills. <laughs> uh, you guys aren't going to believe this, but guess who's going to give that game a shot again? This guy that made a video about not playing that game anymore. I've decided if I'm getting criticized for not playing the game a certain way, I'm just kind of going to ignore those comments. Because that game is very in-depth. And I would like to, I like the game. It's just, it's a lot to it, man. The thing I like about Gallup Racer, Gallup Racer to me has just enough depth where it's not overwhelming. I feel like for starters orders, you really have to understand and play the game a lot. Because... It can become a little bit overwhelming. I think the average player would be like, oh, this is too much. And I feel like that with starter's orders. I like that in Gallup Racer, there's just enough depth where you can still manage and navigate through things and you don't feel like you're overwhelmed. You know what I mean? I am literally struggling to think of a fifth name. <laughs> oh, man. It's great that you guys, Abigail, Kelly, Super Skills, great that you guys have just so much that you can use for like names i'm the same way i kind of struggle uh elite I, I do struggle to come up with a lot of names myself i usually like to name horses in my got racer games based off of the parents so for example if you know the sire is going to be named blues colors and then the mayor is going to be brew mayor is going to be green earth i would come up with like blues earth or something like i always like to combine father and mother's name for my horses that's as far as my creativity goes that doesn't say much i'm it's like the laziest way to name horses you've been coming up with great names recently yeah it's awesome i wish i had that sort of creativity i'm trying to i, I would like to get to a point where abigail is but i don't think i'll ever get there and, that, and that's fine so this is blues colors last race there's inclines on dirt too I didn't think the dirt tracks in this game had inclines. I thought it was just the turf ones. That, I, okay. Well, there goes that theory. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just run on the dirt and avoid the incline. Uh, No, Eric. Apparently, they have inclines in this game, too. I started a uh, naming thing off her horse racing. Yeah, she did. 
Oh, if Abigail wasn't in my life for horse names, man, our horses would have the most unoriginal cliche names of all time. It would literally just be the mother and father's names, you know, flipped in some way. It took you three months to figure out starters' orders? Yeah, it's a process, and that's what was kind of discouraging, at least from some of the comments. I usually don't even give in to those, but I, w I was getting frustrated just kind of with how much... I had to actually learn about the game way more than I initially anticipated. And then comments like, oh, you're not doing this right. It's like, I just started playing the game. I've been playing it for like two weeks. But like you said, it's very in-depth, so I get it. The names would be a disaster. Eric would be in the mud, not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, you guys are speaking facts. Like I, I, I have no arguments against any of that because that's, that's completely right. Thank you, weather alert. It's been raining for like 30 minutes. Now you're telling me. Blues colors, you only won one race, but you have great stamina. Earned over almost 13,000 in purse. That's not terrible for a horse, considering. All right, so you just got to let the creative juices flow in naming a horse. Facts. Okay, I said spreadsheets, right? Let me save again. Now, I could open up my spreadsheet on here. Let me see. I, I think I'll do that. Hold on. I hope... Um how long have I been streaming for? I don't even know. Three hours. Wow. Put in that time, eh? Uh, Gallup Racer 3. Where is this spreadsheet? Oh, Lord. I have so many spreadsheets from all the games, man. Every single horse racing game I play on this channel. I have a spreadsheet for each one. It's ridiculous. All right. I will put, I, I'm going to put my uh, spreadsheet up on screen for you guys. Just give me a second. got to find it. Stomach rumbling. I'm hungry. I need to eat. Might make some grilled cheese. It sounds good right about now. All right, Gallup Racer 3 spreadsheet. Oh, the, you see the names are like, I think the names are like in my 2004 spreadsheet. So hold on a second. Yeah, they are. Oh, darn. Or 2003. This is what I mean. I have so many spreadsheets. I don't even remember where stuff is. So bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. And I'll put it up on screen for you guys in one second. Uh, what is okay? What is going on with my screen? Why can't I see? My window's acting really weird. Like I can't even see my full spreadsheet. I should be scary to see all your names. I don't think it does. I don't think it does much as I initially thought. Let me check. Maybe like a dozen. I'm sure there's more names I've probably just forgotten. My spreadsheet is taking forever to load. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. It's really taking a while to load, and I don't know why. Okay, Abigail, your your names in here aren't actually as long as I thought. We have used quite a bit of your horse's names. Okay. So let me see if I can pull this up. I'm going to have to do that. Okay. Um, all right, give me a second, guys. So let me do this. Source. Windows capture, I think. Where's the display? I always, I always forget which one. I think it's display. No, it is Windows, I think. Yeah, duh, it's always Windows. Windows capture, I'm going to say spreadsheet as a new source. Ah! What did I just upload? I mean, what did I just do? No, 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 no. Sorry for the duck quack. I'm sorry. That was unintentional. I just did something I didn't want to do. All right. Adding a new source. Getting the spreadsheet on screen in the next 30 seconds. Okay. Windows capture. Take my time. Add source. Add a new source. Spreadsheet. All right. Uh, and Google Chrome. Where are you at? All right. Well, this is what I have on screen. So, as we look through this, yeah, Abigail, you don't have as many as I thought. But keep in mind, we have used a lot of your horse's names, Abigail. Like, across all of the games, we have used a lot. So, I think that's probably why. I think if we never used any of your names, yeah, your, it would take up the whole spreadsheet. That was a funny quack. 2003, yeah. I haven't played 2003 that much until I started recording lately. So any tips you guys give me is greatly appreciated. So 
Unknown is names that were given to me that I don't have names actually for. Like, I don't know which YouTuber. Ermino, we have you here. Abigail, here's your names. KNS, Jenny. Kelly, I'm going to fit you in somewhere. Kelly, I'll put you over here. Don't mind how I organize my spreadsheets. It's just the easiest way I can kind of keep track of everything. So what I usually like to do is copy, paste, keep the format the same. Um, Kelly, I'll put here. I have Phillies and Colts, blue and pink. It's easier to keep them organized like that. Um, I'll do this and then just kind of drag this down for all the Phillies. And then for the Colts, I'll do this. And then I'll just kind of extend these out a little bit more. All right, yeah, names. Names right now, people. If you're in the chat, names right now while we are here in real time. Names. Names right now. All right, KNS, you've got quite a bit, so I'll need to add a couple more rows here. So, yeah, any names right now. Now is the time for all names. I can save them in the spreadsheet, and then we can roll on. That, that would be fantastic. In fact, yeah, why do I have this so long? Like, sh shorten this. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, cool. Mr. T can be taken off. Yeah, where's Mr. T? There he is. T is taken off. I thought we used Frosted Gold. She's tempting. Voodoo, Starcatcher, ugh. Plastic Cup for Elite. Elite, where are you at? Okay, I'll just put you, like, here. All right. So, KNS, let's get you going. Now, KNS, are those all Philly names or cult names? Yeah, when you guys suggest your names, let me know if they're Phillies or Colts. If if you want them to be gender specific, because I don't really know exactly what you guys may prefer. That way I can organize them better in the spreadsheet. So, I apologize. I should have said that before you guys started listing them. But yeah, let me know if it's Philly or Colt. Um, yeah, so please, names and then Philly or Colt. That way I can organize them properly. My choice? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let me see. Diamond Dust. I like that for a Philly. Quicksilver. I like that for a Colt. Sorry if you guys hear my keyboard. It's loud. There's nothing I do about it. Uh, Striking Moon. I like for a Colt. Little Vixen. Of course, that's more a Philly thing. Um, Plastic Cup. Pencil Sharpener. Laundry Basket. All right. Pencil Cup. Or, see, pencil cup. My, see, <laughs> there I go. Pencil cup, huh? Pencil sharpener. Uh, laundry basket. Plastic cup. I'm going to do plastic cup for a Colt. And pencil sharpener for a Colt. I will do laundry basket for a Philly. All right. Uh, that's not the same color. Whatever. Doesn't really matter, does it? Um, Cosmo Army for Kelly. Cosmo Army, I think I'm going to do for a cult. Any of mine can be neither. Okay. Cosmo Army cult. Gotcha. Can't wait to see one born. Yes. Cosmosis. Yeah, Cosmosis, we're definitely using super skills. Let me get you on here. Depending on the gender, um, we're definitely using Cosmosis for Cosmo uh, Gal and Goose Army. I just don't know. Whatever the gender is is what we'll use for Cosmosis. So, um, Cosmic Justice. I like that. Cosmic Justice. I think that's... Cosmic Justice could actually be good for... I feel like that's a cult name, but I think it could fit for a Philly. A really strong Philly. See, I'm going to do Cosmo Justice. It gives me like Wonder Woman vibes. All right, Abigail, of course. Oh, my gosh. Abigail, you just need your own. You really need your own sheep. <laughs> you really do. But I'm actually just going to move these up and then delete that and that. I'm just going to have to create more rows for you. More rows. More rows for Abigail. Philly. Flying Vixen. Blushing Ruby. Rose Cat. Moon Lily. I already have to create more rows. Unbelievable. Abigail does it again. Now keep in mind, um, for most of these horses that we end up naming, I'm just going to end up doing like the random wheel generator to decide, just because it, it will be too impossible for me to decide myself. Um, all right, so let's see. All right, I think we'll have enough names for most of you for now. So 
I would say as soon as I get the rest of these in, let's just stop at there for now. Sweet. Prime Rose, Cherry Blossom. All right. Abigail, I think you are set for the Phillies and the Colts. And then I'll get everybody else's. Blue Knight, Silver Bullet, Moon Eyes, Blade of Grass, Ice Clash. All right, who else? Moon Trapper for Kelly can be either. I like Moon, Trappy, Moon Trapper for Philly. Kendrick, real happy. Let me get you in here. I'll put you down here, Kendrick. All right, uh, you said you wanted real happy. Okay. Yep, so give it about another minute. As soon as I get everything you guys have suggested, I'm going to get these written down, and then we're going to get back into the game. Thank you so much for all the names. Uh, Royal Robin for a Colt, okay. Royal Robin, Fern Feather for a Philly. I put it over here, whatever, just paste it. Uh, what pink am I even using? Ugh, not whatever, it doesn't matter. You can use some of them for 2004? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right. I think we got everything for now because, I mean, realistically, we could. my spreadsheet would be pages, pages long. I think we have enough for now that that's good. Um, what is What color was I using for this? You know what? It doesn't matter, does it? I have OCD about, like, things, like, matching and, like, looking right sometimes. I apologize. Um, Storm is... Cosmo Storm is a Philly. Leanne, okay. Do I have you in here? I don't. Why not? Okay, Leanne, I'll put you down here. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. Drag it down. Do this. Drag this down. Uh, don't move it. Just copy. Drag down. And yellow. Yep, I got you, uh, Abigail. I'm going to put that in my notes right now. So Cosmos... Philly. Oh, wait. Cosmos Storm. Cosmo Storm? for Philly, and then Cosmo... Wait, Cosmo Storm is a Philly. Cosmo... Okay, Cosmo Fire is the cold. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Alright, guys. The spreadsheet is closing up here. We could... Yeah, we would be sitting here all day, honestly. We would really be sitting here all day with all the names we you guys can create. So, let me put... um. What'd you say? Gemstone B. Alright. Gemstone B. This will be King B plus... Uh, pink gemstone. All right, we're good. Spreadsheet's closing. Shop is closing. Shop is closing. Thank you guys so much. Plenty of names. Abigail just went to work. And uh, we're good to go. This is my other spreadsheet. We got that. We got that. And we're going to get back to the game here right now. Tons of awesome names. Hex, yeah. Now, let me open up the random wheel generator on my other lap. Actually, you know what? I might as well do it on here. What am I doing? Because we are going to get into breeding. Right now, actually. Let's go. You guys better be hyped. <laughs> Abigail, no apologies. You have a very imaginative, creative mind. I love that. Moon B for a cult. Last one. Moon B for a cult. Um, moon B for a cult. Hold on. Uh... Okay, Moon B, that'll be the last one. The doors are closed. The doors are closed. But I do like Moon B, so we'll keep that. And uh, I'll open up the random wheel generator. Because we're going to decide... No, we said we were going to do Cosmosis. And then the other horses we'll literally just do with random wheel generator. Um, for the other horses, we'll breed. Oh, you want Moon B. Okay, so you don't want... Okay. Got it, got it, got it. My bad. I think I actually misread that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. You want Moon B for that horse. Got it, got it. So you want Moon B for... Okay, so King King B and Pink Gemstone, you want that to be Moon B. Got it. All right. Cool. Okay, Random Wheel Generator coming up. I have to make a new wheel. Um, And the names? Well, I guess we'll decide once we get there, eh? All right. So, here we go, guys. It is time for some... Breeding here in Galt Racer 3. Um, Goose Army and Cosmo Gal. I f figure we'll do them first. Cosmosis, right? 
So we'll do Cosmo Gal. Or excuse me, Goose Army and Cosmo Gal. We're going to go ahead and get them started, and then we'll do the other ones. Oh, I'm nervous because this game for me is hit or miss with breeding, man. So here's Goose Army. 107 turf rating, our best original, highest rated original horse ever. Only seven wins, but Goose did really well considering. Him and Cosmo Gal, 95 rating on the turf. They both have really good uh, speed figures. She won eight races, 24 starts. So here it is. So we'll combine 82 speed rating for Goose, 85 turf rating. Or 85 uh, turf rating for Cosmo, 82 turf rating for Goose. Goose has really good stamina at 83 considering. Cosmo Gal, not great. They both have mid mid spurts. That's fine. 10 to 14 for Goose as far as his distance. 7 to 11 for Cosmo Gal. So something in that range, I would imagine. Uh, Goose was a stalker. And Cosmo essentially liked to uh, run towards the front. Oh, dear. I hope this works. Max GR rank for both was one. That's good, right? <laughs> so growth type average. Here we go. There's Cosmo. There's Goose. Fingers crossed we get something special. Cosmosis will be the name. We've already decided on that. Philly or Colt. Let's see. 102 turf rating already. And that's a two-year-old Colt. So 82 turf rating. Not a dirt horse at all. Completely fine. 81 turf stamina and 79 dirt stamina but again i'm not even gonna think about this uh the dirt races closer fast spurt 9 to 13 furlongs four guts your thing lagged ah oh, no are you guys good are we good i think it, it lagged during like the breeding it happened for me too like it, it literally my frames dropped quite a bit 102 already for cosmosis cost 2300 and this horse won't peak until they're four and a half all right, now, Cosmosis, how are we spelling this? C O S O. Uh, oops. I make duck sounds when I make mistakes in games. <laughs> 102, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense, man. Goose Army was 107, and Cosmo Guy was 95. That literally is like the average, pretty much. Let, let me add that right quick. I, I mean, quick maths. I can't really do that in my head. Awesome. Let me find. Divided by two. 101. Yeah, literally. Like, you take those two numbers divided by two, it's 101. Those two were the best, yeah. Cosmosis. Let's go. All right, tack. What are we doing? This horse has got to be great. Whether it's mask or not, you guys know I'm, I'm the huge fan of the masks, but I'll let you guys decide. So, Goose Army, he had green and black as his colors. Cosmo Gal was blue and pink. It's so funny to make duck sounds. It just happens. I did it to my girlfriend for the first time yesterday. And she was like, what was that? And started laughing. I'm like, you know what? It just it came out. Already insane looking. Yeah, red and white. What do you guys feel about red and white? Cosmosis for red and white? What do you think? Cosmo had a mask, yeah. I think both of them should. Goose and Cosmo both had a mask, so we should keep that as tradition. Colors, what do you guys think? Kelly suggested red and white. What do you guys think about that? For this cult. Black and blue. I was thinking black and blue as well. Think about it. Co Cosmo Gal had blue and pink. Goose Army Green and Black. Blue and Black, I think, would be a good combination for the both of them. You know what I mean? I want to do Blue and Black. How would that look? Ears. I don't really like the ears in this game. Should we do it? Green and Pink. <coughs> green and Pink. Actually, that would match our silk colors now I think about it. Red, White, or... R red, White, or Red and Black. Red and Black. Hmm. Black and Blue... Red's popped up twice. Red and white. Okay. Red and white. Okay. You guys are saying red and white. So, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do red. White ears or no? I'm not really a fan of the ears for like customization. It works sometimes depending on the horse. But it's not always a go-to option for me. Ears. I think blue and black would look good too. So indecisive. What do you guys think? Red and white or blue and black? 
Uh, can I, actually, you know what? Let me host a poll. I forgot I can do that. Poll. Let me see. Red. Oh, wait. Uh, let me see. The game is paused. Don't worry. I have to do this for the time being. Add option. So red, white, and then I'll add blue, black. Um, mask. All right. Poll hopefully will be live. Did the poll even j is the poll even there? Do you guys see it at all, or did it just like disappear? Okay, poll is live. Poll is live right now. Ignore yes or no. Don't don't select yes or no. I didn't mean to keep that on there. Just do red, white, blue, black. Yeah. All right. So you guys go ahead and vote on that. So let's see. Red and white right now is winning. Okay, I guess we'll do red and white. Red and white is unanimous. Let us go ahead and end that for the time being. Yeah, super skills. I, I like doing that in these games. I always like having the foals inherit some of the customization, usually from the, both the parents. So we'll do red and white. And Cosmos. This is giving me like peppermint vibes. I'm, I'm not against it. I, I like it. I think that could work. Trademark, uh, no trademark. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, I have to pick one. Okay. I have no choice. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we might as well just do, let's do black for that. Blinkers. I love blinkers. Shadow roll. Shadow roll. Yes or no? Shadow roll. White wouldn't be bad. I think red doesn't look bad either. And the blue looks cool. It doesn't match our silks at all, but I like the white shadow roll, to be honest with you. White shadow roll? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, super skills. Yeah, that's exactly what it, it would, uh, reminds me of, too. I wasn't, I couldn't think, I couldn't put the name on it. That's exactly what I think. Let's do the white shadow roll. Cosmosis. What a what a stud already. Let's go. All right. So that's our first breeding. Remember, we have two more to go. So who do we do next? I think we should do Ardent Moon and Blue's Colors, maybe? Let's check out Blue's Colors. So Blue's has 80 stamina. I need to breed him with another high stamina horse. Forever Beat is whatever. Black? No. Nah, we'll, we'll stick. I think the white looks good. Ardent Moon? Her stamina is bad. I, somebody said Ardent Moon and Striking Tap, right? I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we'll do Ardent Moon and Striking Tap because Blue's Colors has really good stamina, and I'll breed him with four Courtney. Her stamina's not great either, but I think... No, 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 no Ardent Moon? No breeding with Ardent Moon? What do you guys think? I know she wasn't a good horse, but she still has a pretty good speed figure. 86, and her turf rating is 88. Blue Moon? She wasn't a good race horse, but she could be a decent broodmare for our original. Um, because Blue's colors, he has really, I mean, he has an 80 stamina rating. I, I wouldn't want to ruin that by breeding him with Ardent Moon. Like, none of these broodmares really have good stamina. I mean, Forever Beat, 66 overall stam, and then same thing for Poor Courtney. Now, let's see, who's the better? Poor Courtney had two wins. Forever Beat had no wins. Yeah, I think I'm going to do Blue's colors and Four Courtney, and then I'm going to do Striking Tap and Ardent Moon. I don't really have any expectations with striking tap, so let's just do those two. So we're gonna do striking tap and blues colors, and we'll use I mean striking tap and ardent moon. And then we'll use uh, the random wheel generator to determine the name once the horse is born. Oh breed blues colors with ardent moon to see if you get a proceeder with good breaking. Ooh, okay, 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 yeah, that's a pretty good idea. So how do you guys feel about that? Blue's color, since he has a good stamina rating. Him with Ardent Moon. Try to get a horse with much better stamina with a Proceeder running type. And good breaking. That would save us. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be bad. We could have the speed of Ardent Moon. Much better stamina, Blue's colors. 
I didn't think about it that way. That actually might be pretty good. And then we can use Striking Tap and Fort Courtney. I think that they're pretty a pretty solid match. You know what? I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to do Blue's Colors and Art at Moon. That, I, I want to see. I'm very curious. And we'll determine the name eventually. Early, average, yada, yada, yada. Two, they, neither of them really won anything. Sounds good? All right. Let's give it a shot. Uh, I may lag a little bit. Hopefully not. All right. New horse. It's a cult. Really good breaking. Ah, no. It wants to be in front. No, no, no. Stats are average at best. What about the growth type? Average growth type? So, um, phenomenal breaking and everything else is just two stars. We're definitely going to the wheel for this one. Because I don't know what's going to happen with this horse. But much better stamina. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Slower spurt. Better stam. Average horse, really, at best. We'll go to the random wheel generator. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that was really a toss-up. I mean, that could have been great or it could have been awful. Uh... Whose name? We just used... Well, I don't, I don't even remember who named Ab uh, Cosmosis. Um, there's so many. You know what? I'm just going to toss all of these names in the spreadsheet, and it'll decide. So you guys won't see this. So Abigail, let's see, KNS. It's a cult, right? So I'm going to toss all the cult names in there from you guys, and then we'll just do literally whatever pops up. So Cosmo Fire, put you in there as well. Actually, no, we already have a Cosmo horse. I don't want to do that yet. Uh, pencil cup. This would be a perfect opportunity for Plastic Cup. Hear me out. Plastic Cup could be a really good name for this horse right now. Glue Factory it is. <laughs> all right. I have all the names in here. I'm going to pull up the spreadsheet now. All right. The wheel spins. The wheel spins. I don't... Whatever it selects is what it selects. The name of this tragedy of a horse is going to be Royal R Plastic <laughs> Up. no way are you kidding me it's freaking <laughs> it's destiny it's fate it is fate it's fate <laughs> it is fate the random wheel generator oh my gosh what are the odds of that insanity absolute insanity it literally just decided plastic cup it's meant to be it's meant to be it is meant to be say less Say less, ladies and gentlemen. Say less. Plastic cup. Let's go. <laughs> Watch. This horse actually like wins like a G1. Maybe more than that. <laughs> oh, not plastic cup. It's meant to be, yeah. I mean, it's fate. Sometimes certain things in life are just fate. This horse, this name, it's fate. <sighs> Does this horse even deserve tack? I just want to give it a shadow roll. I don't even want to give it a mask, to be honest. No mask. Shadow roll. Let's just do like green or something or yellow. No, plastic cup. Plastic cups are usually red, right? Red shadow roll would make sense. Red shadow roll. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't even want this horse to have a mask. Not tough enough for it. Green would be nice. I, I don't really recall green plastic cups. At least not here in the States. I don't know about elsewhere. Red shadow roll. There it is. Plastic cup. Two-year-old foal or two-year-old colt. And we have one more breeding to do. I think we're going to do Striking Tap and then for Courtney. Because here's Striking Tap. And he's average across the board. Whatever. And for Courtney. They might actually blend pretty well. Yeah, they both have literally the same stamina rating. Party Cups are red. Yes, sir. So, um, okay, Turf and Dirt are like opposite. Seven to ten, yeah, they're really identical. We'll we'll probably just get a horse that's slightly better than the both of them. So striking tap at Fort Courtney. We'll go to the random wheel generator again here. Yeah, we have blue pla yeah, yeah, blue plastic cups too, yep. Alright, last breeding. Let's see. Tap for me. Whoa! 80 and 81 speed. Stam is not great, but and it's a Philly. 86 turf, 88 dirt. Okay. Pretty nice leg type. She costs 1500 This is what I mean. This game, like, you can take two average horses that are pretty much similar, and then they, they turn out to make a really 
a pretty solid horse. That's not bad. It's a filly. Her guts suck. Her temper's not great. And everything else is three stars. I mean, whatever, yo. Uh, back to the spreadsheets we go for the name of this gal. Um, all right. Let me see. Hold on a second. Yikes for yeah, the guts is awful. The guts is absolutely awful. We'll manage, we'll manage, we'll manage, we'll manage. I'm not I'm not worried. This is I I mean compared to plastic cup, <laughs> I think this is uh this is night and day much better. Alright, let's get all the Philly names. Um So just bear with me guys as I get all this done. Moon Trapper, Laundry Basket, Cosmic Justice. Real happy. Copy all of you and all of you. Gosh, there's like a zillion Philly names. Oh my goodness. It was literally like. Oh, I can only copy one at a time. That's annoying. Okay. 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 Um, did I get all of Abigail's names in here? I don't even know. Yeah, we do have blue plastic. Well, yeah. We have plastic blue plastic cups here in the States. Actually. Actually, we have plastic cups virtually in every color. It's just they're not popular. I mean, they're, you know, only one in a few. You'll see them. All right. Uh, random wheel generator is up for this filly. Here we go. It was almost Moon Trapper. Laundry bag. Candy Pop. Okay. <laughs> Candy Pop it is. Whose name was that? Was that Abigail's? Yep, Abigail. Candy Pop. All right. I like Candy Pop. I, I think that fits for this filly. Candy Pop. All right. Now, Candy Pop. Uh, I would assume she would have to have some colorful candy colors, right? Imagine laundry basket and plastic cup. We almost went two for two. Now, the tact for this horse, I don't really remember what the parents had. Well, I know Striking Tap, I think, had the pink and pink and black uh, mask. Um, all right, Elite, we will see. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Laundry Basket, too. I'm like, plastic cup and laundry basket. Throw the plastic cup in the laundry basket. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, she is a filly. We could stick with the pink. Yeah, we'll do pink. Um, I guess pink all the way around for the ears, too. What about pink and green? Ah, pink and green looks weird in this game. Pink and yellow. Pink, red, undoubtedly. Hmm. Pink and green. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, let me do a poll. I don't even know why I'm making this more complicated. Okay, so we'll do pink, green, pink, red. Okay, pink and green or pink and red. We're just going to do that. You guys vote. Polls should be up there. And we'll let the poll decide the fate of this horse. Pink and green or pink and red. It's much easier to make decisions this way. Much, 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 much easier. Random wheel generator completely unanimous or completely random, as it says. And uh, polls, yeah, much easier because I, I can't pick. All right, let's see what we get here. So, pink and green right now. Pink and green? Okay, pink and green. Pink and green unanimously, it is. Let's just go ahead and do it. Polls, polls pull all the way around. All right, pink and green. Uh, so, ooh, how do you guys feel about that with the striped? Now, how do you guys feel about the the pink and green? I kind of like that, to be honest. I'm just looking at everything else, but yeah, I like the pink and green. I think that looks really nice. Candy pop, trademark. Can we do it pink? It's gonna look weird, ain't it? You know, it it works fine. Blinkers, Skittles. Say less. It really does, right? All right, shadow roll. Uh, it's so weird. You can do pink for the mask, but not the shadow roll. Like, what on earth? So, green shadow roll or what? What do you, Or no shadow roll. What do you guys think? 
All right, let me post another poll. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, so we'll either say, let me see, green, shadow roll, or no. Okay, you guys vote. Green shadow roll or no shadow roll? Green or no? Yeah, I don't know, Super Skill. Stripes do look amazing in here. They really do, especially with this pattern. I don't feel like they come off that way in the other Galp Racers. I feel like in this game, the stripes look amazing. With the right color combination, stripes look really great. I do wish they had more mask designs in here, like they do in the other Galp Racers, you know, as far as the different des uh, designs. Green? Okay. I think green looks nice, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and do green. That pops. All right. Green. There we go. Candy pop. All right. We have bred with everybody, essentially, and Forever Beat is just hanging out there being alone. I feel bad for her, but at the same time, um, I kind of don't. All right. Let me save because we make quite a bit of progress. And we'll do a little bit more racing here since we just got all these horses. We want to see how they obviously perform. What time is it? It's four. Okay. So Ebony Colors are still here. We have Fine Sate. We have Cosmosis. We have Plastic Cup. And we have Candy Pop. Cosmosis, 102 turf rating. Candy Pop, 86. And Plastic Cup, 80. Not bad, but still. We have a lot going on here. Um, I want to race with the originals first. So Cosmosis, 9 to 13. Let's see what we can get going for you. Oh, not a whole lot. They're all six furlongs. Uh, Cosmosis is going to... Cosmosis racing in the Cosmos till September. He's not going to be looking too good. Yeah, Super Skills completely agree. I really think they look good. The contrast. Okay, so Plastic Cup could be up first. Yeah, Plastic Cup could fall flat or could do the opposite. It, it could be hit or miss, right? And then Candy Pop, Dirt Horse... She runs what again? She runs six to nine. Okay. Grade three in the Cincinnati. That's going to be a big test for her. Uh, Fine Saint. I guess we'll get you in a race since we're waiting. Six to eight on the turf. Royal Cup. And then Ebony Colors. So Ebony is almost peaked. I can breed Ebony Colors with Forever Beat. I think they're pretty similar. So we'll do them. We could breed them right now, actually. I can run Ebony Colors in another race. Breed him with Forever Beat. We can get one more Galp Racer original out of this. I think we'll do that. Okay, I just want to make sure. I don't think he's ready for the Spring Mile, but, like, if it's going to be his last rate. Scrappy Underdog, that's kind of what I'm hoping for Plastic Cup. And all of the silliness of naming this horse, I am really hoping for, like, an underdog uh, story with him. Fine Saint is up, and not great odds in this uh, Royal Cup. Yeah, watch. Plastic Cup could be a lot better than we think, or, like Abigail said, could completely fall fat, flat. I don't think we'll be surprised however he turns out. It is the Grade 1 Royal Cup. This is a really tough race to win if you don't have a great sprinter. Yeah, Scrappy Underdogs are great. I, I love them. Wow, great start for Fine Saint. I like it. Schwang! Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Now, Fine Saint, he has a really fast spurt, so we're going to have to make sure we get going with him at the right time and not too early, otherwise he will gas out. Fast pace, 33-2 and two at the half. Okay, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Not too long. Here we go, here we go, here we go, go. Oh, look at this field. We're just in a sandwich right now. No, we're in a sandwich. Get out of my way. Sorry, I had to bump you. I don't do that usually, but I had to. We were gonna be stuck. We could have won that race if we weren't stuck. I don't like doing that, but this game allows it, so I had to do it. Otherwise, we would have fallen in like eighth. You got you guys know I hate running like that, but like we couldn't finish in the top three if I didn't do that. <laughs> It's just like get out of the way, man. They're just they're they're on a track and then they just stay in the lane and they just don't move. We got robbed. We could have. I mean, honestly, with his spurt, we could have. We really could have just boom. You're in a tin of sardines. I mean, quite literally. I hate that feeling in these games. It's so claustrophobic. 
Still a decent goal? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take it, right? Beggars can't be choosers. So, Ebony Colors... Not up yet, or was that... No, that was Fine Saint. Okay. So, Ebony Colors will be up pretty, pretty soon. We'll retire him and breed him with Forever Beat and get one more last original. Ebony Colors, long shot, of course. No chance in the Spring Mile. Let's just do our best. <laughs> Let's just do our best. Let's just do our best. It's all you can do anyways, man. Oh, Abigail Philly Candy Pop does well. Yeah, I think Candy Pop will be pretty solid. She she looks like a pretty good Philly. I mean, she looks like an average Philly that should do, you know, better than what we probably expect. All right, Ebony, this is your last race. This is your send-off. Ebony actually finished in the podium quite a bit. There was a lot of second to third place uh, victories or, you know, results for Ebony Colors, so... Breeding him with Forever Beat. Hopefully they'll give us just another decent horse. Alright, we're feeling pretty good here with uh, Ebony. Checkpoint! Oh, look at the glitching in that camera angle. Beautiful. Just looking right through people's souls, you know? Okay. Late run here with Ebony. Late run. This is a grade one after all. We have really no chance. But let's just see if we can finish strong. The baby from Ray Babe is Ray Babe uh, good for falls? I haven't used Ray Babe like ever. Eleventh out of twelfth, Ebony. No worries. You gave it your best shot. We'll go ahead and retire you, and um, we'll go ahead and use you for breeding and get one more original. I think whatever the next original is, I'm just going to go through the tack like really quick. I don't think it's a horse we should spend much time on, personally. All right. 4,900 points. Oh, my horses do cost a lot now. Yeah, that's the thing. Classic Cup, there's no expectation. So if the horse does bad, oh well. If the horse does better than that, we luck out. You know what I mean? There's like no expectations. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, if she's spicy when racing, that's going to be a, a headache. Yeah, pretty high hopes for Cosmosis. Really hope that that horse comes through. It should. Cosmo, Gal, and Goose Army were both really easy to work with. So, Ebony Colors, you know, he had pretty good speed ratings. His star ratings aren't bad, too. Three three stars and two four stars. And then Forever B, same thing with her. She has two five stars with conditioning and temper. We could actually get a pretty solid horse from both of these. Let's give it a shot. Forever B and Ebony Colors. We will go to the random wheel generator and um, let's see. Eh, the star ratings are good, but the actual stats aren't great. The stamina is garbage. The speed is okay at 74. Late developing? Ooh, kind of a late developer. Okay, that, that's actually not bad. It's not bad. That's not bad for a late developing horse. It really isn't. This horse isn't going to hit his peak to like five years old. Um, so the speed could definitely get to the mid 80s. I like the closer pacing, fast spurt. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky to navigate, but that's fine. I mean, actually, that kind of works. We could have really strong runs. Temper is fantastic. Four star gut rating. This is actually an okay horse. Actually, an okay horse. Let's go to the spreadsheet. Let's go to the wig. Wee wee wee. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Quack <laughs> quack. Had to do it. Had to do it. All right. So for a cult, swang, 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 swang. Um. Oh yeah. Can I look at my log or no? It's something else. Darn it. That's fine. Okay. Um. All right. We'll throw a couple of Abigail's names in there. We'll get pencil sharpener. Um. I mean, honestly, Abigail has, like, most of the names, so <laughs> nobody feel weird. She just, she has most of the names anyways. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, random wheel generator for this two-year-old coat. Cinder's Ash. Okay. Cinder's Ash. I'll take it. Cinder's Ash. I will take it. 
Now, like I said, I'm going to go through the tack really quick. I want to get back into racing, so I'm not going to like spend much time on it. Cinder's Ash. I know what I want to do anyways for that. So, Cinder's Ash. Love the duck. <laughs> glad glad it, you enjoy. That should be the name. I, You know what? I would... Cinder's Ash. What about Cin Quack Quack? Can you imagine Quack Quack for a horse name? Oh, my goodness. I think this is going to be a decent horse. So, I want to give him some, legitim some legitimacy. Cinder's Ash. We will definitely do a duck name for a horse at some at some point. Cinder's Ash. I just did red. Let's do black. Kelly, unfortunately, you have to go, but I'm so glad you're able to hang out with us here today. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for the names. And uh, looking forward, to, I'll be watching your videos after, after the stream. Racing Empire is the channel. I'll definitely be watching those. Cinder's Ash, I think I'm going to do black and... Ooh, that black and red looks tough, man. I like that. The black and red looks awesome. I'm not even going to do a trademark. Blinkers, of course. Later, Kelly. There's Cinder's Ash, two-year-old Colt. Let's go. That black and red looks pretty nice. All right, no more breeding, guys. We have officially... Gotten everybody out, and now we have all originals except for one horse who is fine saint. All originals. Oh, that black and red. I love that. That is a really aggressive look with the white blinkers. Stripes as usual. Of course, you can't go wrong with the stripes. You really can't. I don't think I'll do that for every horse, but Cinder's Ash. I'm loving it. And uh, six to nine. All right. Probably be a little bit of time. There we go. All right. Let's get a couple more races in here. I am hungry and definitely need some food. We're going to race everybody once at the minimum. Goal is twice. Plastic Cup is up. Look at this. Plastic Cup actually sitting fourth outside the money. I'm telling you, Plastic Cup might be an underdog, guys. Genesis, hey, hey, hey. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Plastic Cup might be an underdog. There he is. He looks ready to go. He's on the tippy of his toes. On top of his shoes. <laughs> With the red shadow roll, let's see what Plastic Cup can do, eh? <sighs> Don't like the fact that he wants to be in the lead, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ready? Go! <laughs> Here we go. All right. So not a bad start for Plastic Cup. Let's see how he gets to the front. Oh, he's running Max, and he's still not at the front. Oh, dear. Okay, 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 okay. I hope. I swear to you, if he inherits that temper from his mother, I'm going to be so annoyed. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's, it was hard to keep him at the front. I know, very hard. Not even going to go under the whip. I know he's going to be gassed. Yep. Plastic cup. Ah, oh, man. He feels like Ardent Moon. He's still hanging in there for third, though. He's still hanging in there for third. I think we got nipped at the line for fourth. You just got off work. Nice, nice. Sat down to chill for a bit. Good stuff. Welcome. Been having a pretty good time here today. Ah, Plastic Gup, he feels a lot like Ardent Moon. He has the same issue with the stamina. It feels exactly the same. Not as bad, but it still feels pretty similar. Granted, if I would have gotten him to the front sooner, it was hard from that post position. We had an outside draw at, at 9. Oh, man. Still, that's a money place finish. I, I really shouldn't be mad. We have no expectations with this horse, right? <laughs> let, let me be a little bit more realistic. Oh, my, our cost is huge. And that's only because of Cosmosis, I think. Cosmosis costs like 2500 Candy Pop is up. All right, look at that. And she's the favorite. Candy Pop is the favorite today in the grade three. Oh, that pink and green looks sick, man. Candy Pop. That looks so nice in this game. 
with the stripes. That is in the green shadow roll with the green ears. That is like a lovely contrast. Oh, Candy Pop. She looks amazing. What's her leg type again? Oh, gosh. Perfect. Yeah. L let's win this. Candy Pop looks absolutely dashing. Absolutely dashing. Here we go. Okay, not a great start. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Not fast enough to get preferred position either. Might only get a chance from Gates. Um, yeah, yeah, super skills. That's what I'm thinking. Outside draws, we're not going to really have much of a chance. But if we can get an inside draw, then I think Plastic Cup could be okay. Inside draw gives us a better position at an inside trip on the rail too. So, All right, Candy Pop. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Here we go. We are the favorite, so let's run. She has plenty of stamina left to go. Come on, Candy. Drive. Furlong left to go. Come on, Candy. Dig in. Dig in. Dig in. I'm on the whip like crazy. Oh, man. I got going too late. Uh, I underestimated her speed. I thought she would have had a little bit more speed. That's my fault. That's fine. That's fine. I underestimated her speed and her spurt. That's okay. No, I need to start her. I could have. I, I was supposed to really keep her closer to her front, too. So that's my fault. I will bounce back. That's not even nothing to be worried about. I know you're the favorite, but I messed up. Underestimated her a little bit as far as her speed and needed her closer towards the front. I will bounce back. So that's fine. I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried. If That felt like a good run. Like I felt comfortable with her. I just needed to be a little bit better at keeping her in her preferred position. Cinder's Ash is up. Whoa! Heavy, heavy favorite. Again, another beautiful looking horse with the mask with the red and black. Cinder's Ash, you are a closer. I like it. All right. Yeah, can you pop? I want to redeem myself with her. So we're running on all these horses for the first time. So I'm figuring them out. Okay, okay, start. Not bad. Not like it really matters from... Only a field of seven. Okay, I like this. Hopeful Spice, but good. Genesis. Yeah, I'm interested to see um, I fall from uh, Ray Babe. Because I haven't really worked with Ray Babe in any of these games. So, very curious. Still in the blue, slow pace. Cinder's Ash, let's see what you got. Here comes Cinder's Ash. Right up the middle of the field. I think we're just going to get there. Just going to get there. Cinder's Ash. Oh, get it there. No. Did we get? I don't think we got there. Oh, man. I thought he had a little bit more. Yeah, we didn't get there. Darn it. So close. So close. Okay. Second. Okay. This is my first time racing with these horses. I'm just getting my feel. Now I know how much. Now I know what I need to do really for them. I was used to like Goose Army and like the uh, Ebony Colors in their spurt, that speed. I I've been used to that. So I was kind of in that same mindset. But I got to be more mindful of these horses. That's fine. Everybody did well. Everybody finished in the money. Think about it. Fine, Saint. Oh, I forgot about you. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know I've been neglecting you. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. My bad. Okay. Plastic Cup ready to go again. Six to ten. Uh, let's try Plastic Cup in a grade 3. Let's go ahead and give him a little bit of a test. Yeah, fine, Saint. I'm so sorry. I, no offense. Kind of forgot you were there. <laughs> I mean, we've created four originals now. All right, fine, Saint's up. Still good odds. He's ready to rock and roll. That's fine. Okay, we still have a chance here. Cool. Let's go. I think Cinder's Ash will get a win. We'll get a win. Got to get going a little bit sooner. Again, I'm in the mindset of the previous horses we had. Their parents, essentially, had much better closing speed. They inherit the hates pack ability. Ugh, that's not good. Yeah, that, that's a really annoying ability to deal with, right? Elite, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, hates pack, that's a pretty annoying ability to deal with, for surely. I don't really like this positioning as far as where we are on the outside, but, like, I don't have a choice. Fast pace. I mean, yeah. 
outside draw. Like, I don't have... Okay, here we go with Fine. Saint. Right there. Punch through the gap. Here we go with Fine. Saint. Yes. Rock and roll, man. I know you were impatient because of the last race. Come on. Grind. Dig in there. That's going to be a win at the wire. Yes, it is. Let's go. Who won on debut? None of our originals have won yet. Cinder's Ashes was, was the closest, coming in second. Fine Saint gets it done. He was a little bit anxious, a little bit annoyed, not having raced for a bit, but he gets it done at the end. See, I'm used to horses being, I'm used to racing like that, but the originals are not quite there yet. Yeah, close race, not good. Uh, yeah, that's true. That That's pretty much, I feel like that's the one of the worst abilities you can get on a horse. That ability is so bad. Plastic Cup, he's up again. I know we're, we're kind of bouncing back to back. Um, this is a grade three for Plastic Cup. Six furlongs. Plastic Cup has been getting decent odds. I think we can really win. Pink Opal is the favorite, the seven. I'll watch out for that. Ah, uh, but outside draw. Has Plastic Cup been close to top five? Yeah, Lee, you missed it. Plastic Cup finished fourth in his first race. I, I don't think he's going to be a bad horse. I know he looks like it. I think he's going to be average enough. we got to get a good start. Oh, great start. Let's go. Let's go. Great start for Plastic Cup. That's a fantastic start. Punches right out the gate. Right out the gate. Beautiful stuff. St ah, still hard to keep him in front, though. I know. I know. I know. You're fine. You're fine. Settle down. Settle down. There we go. In the blue. Oh, great start. Great, great, great start. You get rid of horses with uh, hates pack ability. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, here we go. It's Plastic Cup. It's a race. It's a race. And Plastic Cup, he's pulling away. Plastic Cup is pulling away. We're going to get some challenges. It's going to be close. He gets it done. He gets it done. Plastic Cup wins his first race. Let's go. Gate the wire, man. The, that great start helped. He got out like a rocket, man. Oh, he got out like a rocket. Yeah, the hates pack ability. And that's a great three win. That's a great three win. Who called it? Somebody said Plastic Cup could be an underdog. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Plastic Cup gets his first grade three victory. That's huge. That is huge. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is huge. We beat the favorite by a nose. Plastic cup for the win. Let's freaking go, man. Horse feels good. The horse feels good. He really does. Double wins there for Fine Saint and Plastic Cup. Let's go ahead and save. We've made some progress. Oh, gosh. We have to start winning more than 5K because every time we win, we're just losing that money. That name, yeah, the name is so goofy. <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever be able to really take the horse as seriously as we should. Okay, Candy Pop. Got to redeem myself with her. Six to nine on the dirt. Um, we could run her on turf. I don't want to wait that long. Okay, let's... Let's run her six furlongs the week after. I called it the scrappy underdog. Yeah, went to G G3 on second Audi. Love to see it. Honestly, really. <laughs> The name is silly, but like in hindsight, this plastic cup could actually be a pretty solid horse for us. Yeah. I mean, if we sold this horse, it, we would get 13000 for it. That, that's not bad. And keep in mind, he's still not going to peak till he's four years old. The fact that he just won a grade three, that's a fast turnover. Wow. <laughs> Plastic Cup. Plastic Cup wowing us more than we expected. Cosmosis debut from Goose Army out of Cosmo Gal. Cosmos, look at that. Look at that. Almost 0-0. Zero, zero. Almost 0-0 zero, zero for Cosmosis. Almost 0-0. Zero, zero. And as a closer, yeah. Let's take a look at Cosmosis. Look at that red and that white. Look at the red and the white. Okay, Cosmosis making his debut. Dropped a little bit in frames here. Okay, we're back. 
All right, here we go. Outside draw doesn't really matter from here. Eh, decent start doesn't really matter. Peppermint, yep. That'll be some peppermint vibes for surely. Now, I don't know if the rail is going to be available, so I would prefer to keep Cosmosis, like, kind of midfield. Oh, this is perfect. I can run Cosmosis right here. You know if you can't ever complain about him now, though. I mean, after already beating his expectations. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, I really can't. He's already, he's already achieved that plastic cup, so it's like there's nothing... There's nothing left to really expect. Whatever he does is great. And again, he's still not even going to be his best until he's four years old. So we still have two years of development with him. For him to win a grade three that early, that, that's huge. All right. Now, I don't know what these horses up here are going to be doing. I'll keep Cosmosis in striking position. Okay, nice. That, that freed up pretty nicely. Oh, we're still stuck. I'm going to have to bump these horses out of the way. You're going to get out of the way. Oh, I hate I, I hate that I have to do that. But honestly, like, what else am I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? No, no whining about plastic cup. We tell you off. Oh, fair play. No, no, no issues with plastic cup. Yeah, I can't. It doesn't. The the inside rarely works for me. I'm genuinely unless I'm like on a front runner or a horse that's leading. I can't be on the inside with the closer. I'm just gonna have to keep the, my horses more to the outside. I, I can't. I can't do that. I don't want to do every race bumping horses out of the way. I hate playing the game like that. I needed that win. I wanted to win because we were supposed to win. Elite, he might win a G1. I don't know. He could. It might be a little bit uh, overzealous, but it, he could win a G1. We've had horses with similar stats win G1s across various games, so it wouldn't even be like out of the realm of possibility. Oh, look at that. Winning already bumps Cosmosis up to a 107. Cosmos got that insane turn of foot. Yeah. Look at look at how much this horse costs. 285000 I could sell this horse and not even breed it if I wanted to. Holy cannolis. 285k. I have never in my life had a horse in this game cost that much. I never dreamed of it. O M freaking G, literally O M F G. Two hundred and eighty-five thousand from Cosmosis, and he already has a one hundred and seven rating, and he still is not going to be at his best until he's four years old. What have we created? We may have created a legitimate monster. Oh my gosh, dude! Ladies and gents, <laughs> Cosmosis. <laughs> What an absolute animal. Like, pun intended. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> oh, wow. That race bumped Cosmosis up five turf rating points. That's because of his parents? Yeah. But 200, I mean, almost worth 300K. I just, I wasn't. <sighs> I got a woosah. <laughs> I have to woosah. Candy Pop, she's the favorite here today. I'm going to get the win with her. I know I got to keep her closer to the front. VX Rage, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. I mean, you're not really late. Like, I've been streaming for like four hours at this point. Cosmo Gal had that punchy turn of foot. So did Goose. Yeah, they both did. You're right, Abigail. So, it's no surprise they're full. Their offspring, Cosmosis, does the same. All right, Candy Pop, she's the favorite in this open. Let's get it done. Cosmosis. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep that horse to the to the outside. I, I can't, unless the inside is clear and we're in good position, I'm just going to keep the horse to the outside. Because unlike the other Gout Racer games, like these horses, they really don't move when they're in the stretch. Once they're in their lane, they kind of stay in their lane. So you can't be as flexible with that. Not a great start. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Still inside draw helps. Inside draw helps. Um. Yeah, I'm going to send her to the rail if I can. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. She's not in the blue yet. She'll be there. She'll be there. She'll be there. She'll be there. All right. Yep, she's in the blue now. Candy Pop's in the blue. Going to move her right now. I don't need to go yet, I don't think. I know they're rolling now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with Candy Pop. Here we go. Uh, there's somebody on the outside, but no. Candy Pop, she blows this field away. 
She blows this field away. Wins by an easy two plus lengths. Let's go, gal. Let's go. Back-to-back -back wins with our originals. Three back-to-back -back wins, actually. They all... Three wins. The only one that hasn't won yet is uh, Cinder's Ash. Right? All three of our originals have just won their first races. Candy Pop, she gets it done. Love the pink and green. Let's go. There we go. Let's get our money back. Let's get our money back. Yeah, we're getting the wind groove rolling. The wind train is rolling. Steam rolling. Woo wee. Good stuff, man. All right. Three consecutive wins. I like it. Find Saint. Let's get him in a race again before he gets mad at us for not racing him. I swear I just heard a car crash. Six eight furlongs. Let me check. Uh, grade three. Yeah. Plastic cup ready to roll again. Eighty two. Yeah, plastic cup could be pretty solid. Uh, six to ten on the turf. Moonlight, perfect. Cinder's Ash, we got to get you a win. You're the only one left out. Cinder's Ash is really solid statistically. Fifty two a thousand for cost, not bad. Not bad at all. Six to nine on Zitef, on Zitef, on Zitef, on Zitef, on Zitef. All right. Boom. Sorry about that. Plastic cup up again. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Not the favorite, but we have pretty good odds. Oh, I didn't check the odds, but regardless, we weren't the favorite, but 3.2 is actually pretty solid. Plastic cup can get another win. You imagine this horse wins two back-to-backs. <laughs> Outside draw, get a good start. Oh, wow. Plast, he really gets out well, but his breaking is five. That actually works well for him being a being um with his leg type okay really really far ahead drop it back a little bit just a little bit just a little bit i don't even know who the favorite is but doesn't matter four on the trot possibly checkpoint <laughs> checkpoint look at plastic cup Still got a long way to go. Still a long way to go. I'm not going to go yet. I'm going to buy my time. You guys see how the field was coming and then it just halted. <laughs> the momentum just halted. Uh, we're going to get challenged though. Nope. His fatigue just dropped out. Ah, man. Finish third though. Finish third. That's okay. That's okay. His stamina just tapped. I think his stamina is still in the in the high 50s anyway, so it's still inherently not great. Uh, it's very tricky to manage because you get them started any sooner, they just don't have enough. Ardent Moon, his mother, was the same way. You get her going too soon, she has nothing left at the end. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that was a bad run considering. that That, that, that is actually fine. Fine saying is up. He should be the favorite. Well, us and Stern Chief. Yuck. I'm kidding. I like Stern Chief. All right. Fine Saint. Let's go. Yeah, it wasn't a bad run for Plastic Cup. Actually, I think me running him a little bit too heavy on the back stretch there when we got out uh, in front of those horses, I think that may have tanked him a little bit. It's a very delicate matter to get the horse to the front and not use too much stamina doing that. It's very, very, very tricky. It's like walking a tightrope. Fine, Saint. Get it in the blue, please. Thank you. In honor of the duck noises, I propose the next horse is called Duck Duck Goose. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Why didn't I think about that? Duck Duck Goose. That is literally brilliant. I will definitely remember that. Yeah, Duck Duck, that's amazing. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> that's like literally amazing. All right, Fine, Saint. Show them why you're the closer. Run them down, please. Run them down. 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 Oh, no. Not going to get there in time, are we? Nope. I messed that up. I should have gotten going. I should have been a little bit closer. That's my fault. Not sure it'll fit. It all fit in. Yeah. 
Um, we could do like we could spell duck differently, honestly. We we could spell the names differently. I'm sure the proper spelling of it wouldn't fit, but we could change a couple letters. And it, and it should fit, I would hope. I think it could. Uh, that could have been better, but that's okay. I'm not I'm not really upset with that. Yeah, Elite, that could potentially work. Cosmosis, let's get you going again. 9 to 13 on Zatif. Mm, G2, I think, is a good test. There's no grade ones yet. Yeah, let's do this grade two in the daily. Or, yeah. All right. I guess we might as well go to the end of the year. Duck, duck, goose. Yeah, super skills. I thought about that. Migs, is there any horse racing games on the latest platforms? Ah. Uh, Rival Stars, I think, technically, is the newest horse racing game on, like, a main console. There's always plenty of games on mobile platforms. But, like, as far as, like, consoles like Xbox, PlayStation, I think Rival Stars, honestly, is the newest, unfortunately. Uh, Nizin, how do you say your name? I don't know how to say your name, but I have not made any updates to Horse Racing Manager 2. The only thing I recently changed, I think, was, like, the, the color of the numbers. That was about it. Sinner's Ash is up and the favorite again. I'm not really surprised. Sinner's Ash is a pretty solid cult here. Let's roll. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. There's a, there's a character in Animal Crossing that, that makes that sound, which is really why I do the quack, quack. It's a lot of that from Animal Crossing is in my head. It's one of the villagers. I forgot what his name was, but when you talk to him, when you talk to this duck that's in Animal Crossing in one of the villages... And you initiate a dialogue. His his sound is quack 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 quack. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so it's so catchy. Can you play Champion Jockey? I want to play Winning Post, but like because that game is in Japanese, I would have to like do the whole like translation thing of like holding my phone over the screen. Somebody suggested that to me, and I'm like, yeah, I could do it, but I might play Winning Post because I really do want to play that game. That game looks pretty amazing. It's just getting used to having to play it in Japanese, but it's, it wouldn't be the first game I've played in Japanese. Um, Champion Jockey I suck at. Look at this spurt from Cinder's Ash. Holy moly. Cinder's Ash driving, and he's gone. Cinder's Ash blowing the field away. Let's go. What a run. You see how far back we were? We were like, we were 10 lengths off the lead. We were 10 lengths off the lead. Cinder's Ash. I should name myself Quack Quack. I should name myself Quack Racing Games. <laughs> and my avatar be a duck. <laughs> that, that honestly, joking aside, I think that's, that's brilliant marketing. Quack Racing. <laughs> Melbourne Cup Challenge, I have not played that game, no. I have not played that. I do really want to try winning post. I would just really have to get used to playing it in Japanese. But I think I'm going to give it a shot. We've had some really good luck here. Let me save. I don't want the game like screwing me over on any of this. Alright. Oh man, we've had some really good success here. Cosmos is still going up in rating. Candy Pop is at 90. Cinder's Ash moves up to an 82. Racing Empire, welcome back. All right. I think breeding has been relatively successful. Is this your first live stream? No, 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 no. I I've live streamed in the past before. This is my first live stream like in a year, two years almost. I think two years. So, yes, it's been a while, but, I mean, it's not the first time I've live streamed. Especially not even on, on this channel. Um... Other channels, my other channel, I should say, it's anime related. I live stream more regularly, but you get the point. I'm getting back into live streaming for sure. It's definitely a goal. Yeah, well, how do you guys feel about Melbourne Cup Challenge? It looks like a pretty fun game. I never played it. I never really wanted to, but I'm just curious if you guys have played it. What are your thoughts on it? Cosmosis, up again. Of course, the favorite in a grade two. No surprise. That peppermint, I love it. 
Racing Empire. Leanne, you can't find her on YouTube? Huh, let me see. I'll look her up after this race myself. Like that? Nah, man. You might have to search like rest, Racing Empire, like horse racing or something. Usually when you try to find a YouTube channel, if it's not popping up, you search the channel's name and then whatever the content of their channel is. So if it's horse racing, you would search Racing Empire horse racing. But I don't know. You just touched your dog with a foot. He gave me a side eye. He was asleep. <laughs> he was probably like, why are you bothering me? Yeah, Racing Empire. See if you can go into your channel settings and see actually like what your username is. You know, like we can change our channel names, but like the actual username that we started with might be something entirely different. See if you can do that. I mean, Cosmosis is in prime condition here. I don't have to do diddly squat right now. Now we can go. Now we can go. Oh, Cosmosis is so strong. I don't even have to go on the whip. I'm going to anyways. Oh, man. Cosmosis is so strong. And that's a great two. My goodness. Cosmosis doing as he should be doing. So, so, so strong, man. So strong. So strong. Oh, you know what? I'm going to search Racing Empire Gallop Racer. Why are you touching me, peasant? Possibly. Oh, yeah, guys. If you want to find Racing Empire's channel, search in YouTube Racing Empire Gallop Racer. Search that. I just found the channel. Awesome. Um, I'm going to subscribe to one of my backup accounts that I usually watch YouTube videos with. The first four furlongs when we went 49 and 1, last three 35 and 9. Yeah, Cosmosis is a monster, man. Got to get him in a G1 ASAP. Got to get him in a G1 ASAP. Really need to see what he's like. I mean, clearly he's a G1 horse, so I, I just I want to see how how dominant we can still be in a grade one field. Two wins. So Cosmosis is two for two already. Two for two. And keep in mind, this horse is two years old, not going to peak until it's four. Yeah. I want that speed figure to hit 90 so bad, man. I need a grade one. What, what's our distance again? 9 to 13. Okay. Ah, there's no grade ones, though. Colt Cup in December, that's too long. It's too long. We'll run them in another grade two, and then we'll set them up for that grade one in December. Ah, seven furlongs is a bit short, though. Let me see. Uh... Because when is that grade one? The Colt Cup is... Ah, oh, that's also short. You know what? What do we have to lose? Let's run him in the grade two. I don't... He has the stamina to run seven furlongs. He might be near unbeatable. I would hope so. Fine. Saints doing well. Uh, let's see. Well, he's doing okay. Two wins out of eight starts. That's not bad. 25% win ratio. Six to eight... On the tough. I'm sorry. That's what I'm in a grade two. He needs to up his stakes a little bit. Plastic cup. Plastic cup is three for one. Six to ten furlongs on the tiff. Let's just run him in this open. That's fine. And candy pop. Everybody's ready to go. She is. Yeah, love her. Her um. Her ratings are going up pretty fast. She's worth 121,000. My goodness. Really did well with the breeding. Apart from the horse racing elite, I've been I've been pretty solid. I, I've been doing much better lately, actually. I would say the last maybe a week ago, for about a week, it was a really, really tough period for me. But I'm doing much, much better now. So I really appreciate you guys for the support. Glad you guys are here. And glad we're all having fun just doing some Galbracer stuff. Um, yeah, 6 to 9, okay. Yeah, let's, let's try Plastic up in a grade 3. Let's try him in a grade 3. Let's see how he does. I have no reason to talk like this, but I'm going to do it anyways. Plastic Cup is up. Okay. Middle of the field odds. Middle of the road. That's fine. That's fine. No expectations with this horse, honestly. Like, zero expectations. However we do is fine. 
Everybody subscribe to Racing Empire. Awesome. I'll be watching that video a little bit later. I get off stream. All right, Plastic, let's see what you do. Not a great start. I mistimed that a little bit, but that's okay. Get to the front. Get to the front. Get to the front, please. Okay. See, this is what I mean. We use a lot of stamina having to get that horse to the front. I have to run him in the red quite heavy for like a furlong, and that's probably why we're losing so much stamina at the end. You know what I mean? Like, he's not really good at getting... He doesn't have that acceleration to really punch to the front. Now, if he gets out well, it makes it a lot easier. But for the most part, it's still a struggle. So, like, his stamina is so bad. I mean, his stamina is not great. But, again, there's no expectations with this, hor with this uh, horse. Yeah, yeah, he is getting tough fields, right? I'm going to wait. His stamina is not good. Look how much his stamina drops already, man. His stamina drops so drastically. I know I waited really long, but I don't have a choice. Yeah, his stamina is a really... It's a liability, especially with him being a front runner, not having good temper. No expectations. It is what it is. No expectations. Yeah, like, why are we running against Pink Amber and Pure Knight? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are we running against those horses? Fine Saint. Back to back. This is another grade two for Fine Saint. Tidy Creek's the favorite. We have a chance to win this if we run it right. Plastic Cup is such a hard... He's such a... Like I said, it's like walking a tightrope with him. He wants to be leading. Uh, he may break well, but then he doesn't get to the front quickly. And then he has a pretty short temper. And his stamina is really low. So... Pretty difficult horse to work with, obviously. But that's why there's no expectations. Now, if he starts costing me too much, I'm not going to keep him too long. I definitely don't want a horse that is going to be a struggle to work with long term, and then it's going to be costing us. But it's still early, early days, so still some time maybe to try to develop Plastic Cup. But um, I'm, I guess I'm also really – I should probably try shorter distance races, like the shortest distance he can run. He doesn't have the stamina to do anything above his means. Okay. So let's see what Fine Saint does. Really good closing speed. Ah, oh, boom. Fine Saint punches through the field. Ah, oh, it's going to be close. We're not going to get there at the wire. Almost. All right, that's fine. Yeah. I think he won at six furlongs, right? So. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, Miles, I've been streaming all day, honestly. I really have nothing else to do today, fortunately, so I can. All right, just sending a text right quick. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, anybody else ready to run? Cinder's Ash is ready to go. Okay. Cinder's Ash is developing quite nicely. All right, super skills. We shall keep you updated. So, six to nine on Zetef. Uh, let's do six furlongs, actually. Let's shorten the distance up. We have a lot... All these horses are young. Fine Saint's the oldest one at three. So, considering... Look at it. Two wins already. Two, one, one, one. Everybody's actually doing really well. Have a nice... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Let's... Let's rock and roll here. All right, Candy Pop, she's not the favorite, but she's sitting literally right outside first place here, potentially. Urban Rose, post position two, is the favorite. We'll keep her honest. Uh, all fillies for the grade three fantasy stakes. Yeah, you're the winner. Oh, wow. 
Wow, Candy Pop, great start right out the gate. Okay, she's doing pretty well. We don't want to know if he... Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with Abigail, uh, Lee. We definitely don't want to really know the details of toilet time. Toilet time just means toilet time. The details are not necessary to share. Okay, Candy Pop. She's still okay. She's still okay. Okay, go, 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 go. 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 Go, Candy. Go, Candy. She's going to do it. She's going to get up there easily. Candy Pop, her second win on the on the year. No worries, Elite. No worries. It happens, bro. Don't even sweat it. Candy Pop, she gets another easy win. Good stuff. I think breeding was pretty successful, technically, for all the horses. Plastic Cup is literally about the only... Uh, you know, minor inconvenience, but still, I think if we run him at shorter distances, we can have a better chance. So, that's a good grade three win there for Candy Pop. The good thing about this game is, too, since you don't use the same parents twice, no inbreeding, of course. So, we can breed all these originals together. Um, everybody is good. All right. So Candy Pop, let's, her dirt, I haven't even been racing her on dirt, have I? I've been racing her on turf. Yeah, Candy Pop, she's already got over 5,000 in purse. She's developing quite nicely. Very quiet filly or only filly, but she is developing quite nicely. All right, Cosmosis is up, and again, the favorite. I mean, this is another grade two. What did I miss? Uh, Candy Pop won again. She won easily. We had a nice inside trip along the rail. She faced no real opposition. Okay, good start here for Cosmosis. Okay, a little bit distracted. I apologize for that. Sorry. He should still be fine, honestly. He has great stamina. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm going now. We're going now. Because Cosmosis is a monster. Cosmosis is a monster. Watch him go. Watch him go. Watch him go. Watch him go. Cosmosis is an absolute monster of a horse, man. Seriously. Wow. That's that's He's three for four, because I think we messed up his first race. Oh, no, he's three for three, right? Yeah, he's three for three. Three for three. Or four for four. Absolute monster. He's not even a four horse to run seven furlongs. It doesn't matter, clearly. G1 original in the making? He's Yeah, he's already there. He's already there. He's already there. Quite clearly already there. There's just not any G1s for him until the Colt Cup next month. Yeah, he'll need a monster mare for surely. Like a mare that with no temper, right, Abigail? No spicy mares. We can't do that. So his rating moves up to 109. His speed figure is going to hit 90 soon. Stamina's great. He's already earned almost close to 10,000 in purse. Let's get him in that Colt Cup. Let's see how he does. He might be in the green for it, but who really cares, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Taking a break here. When I say a break, I mean I'm literally stepping out of the room right quick. And I'll be back in about 60 seconds. And Cinder's Ash is up and the favorites. Let's take a look.
ladies and gents, we're back. This is live. Yes, yes, yes. Marcos. Yo, 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 yo. Marcos. Hello. How are you? What's going on, brother? No, I haven't died. I'm still here. I'm still here, thankfully. <laughs> thankfully. Every day is a blessing, man. You know what I mean? I had to talk to my sister for a second. All right, Sinner's Ash. We are the favorite, right? Yes, we are. So let's let's try to get a win here. It's amazing. I'm finally having the success in this game I've wanted to have since I was a kid. Finally. Finally having the success I've wanted. Now, I'm not completely comfortable with this current setup. Didn't want to bump that horse, but I can't go anywhere. Okay. Go. Go, Cinders. Go. 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 Ugh, I would have moved sooner, but I really couldn't. We can get through there. We can get through there. We can get through there. Ah, oh, man. That messed us up. That's annoying. You thought it was over? Nope. I drink a lot of coffee. I do sometimes, yes. Especially on days I feel tired. I felt really sluggish this morning, and I needed to get a kickstart. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I, I literally couldn't move. Like I, I, I didn't want to bump the horse, but... Eh, there's really nothing you can do about that in this game. If you're kind of sardined in and sandwiched in and just you, you can't do much except bump the horse out of the way. But again, I don't want to play the game like that. <sighs> but at this point, like me and my integrity and my morals, what does it really matter? I'm not going to race dirty. I, I, I never do that. But it's just annoying that I have to bump horses out of the way because like they're just going to just be sitting there. Six to ten on the turf. All right, let's get plastic cup and another one. There's nothing short for him, though. That's the problem. There's, like, no good short races for him. Seven on the dirt, and he's not a dirt horse. His dirt rating is not good. But maybe the shorter distance would help. I don't, I'm going to I'm gonna give it a shot. You race very dirty. I can't do it. I, I can't race dirty in any games. I can't race dirty in horse racing games and uh, automotive racing games, motorsports, Formula One. I can't race dirty in any of them. It's just not me. You bump horses out of the way all the time in 2003? Uh, yeah, I just, I, I guess I, I like the challenge of trying to win, you know, as, as cleanly as possible, but sometimes, it just, yeah, sometimes it's just not doable. I, I can't do it. Fine Saint, six to eight. He's still improving. I wish I could get him in a grade one. He can't, uh, can he, he can run the Sprinter's Cup. Actually, ding, wait, 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 wait. Can any of my originals run in that? No, I think the Sprinter's Cup is a grade three. I mean, three years old, three year olds and only, right? Yep, that's fine. Still can't get over Cosmosis winning by that margin. Six, seven wide. Yeah, yeah. Black Cabby, uh, Caviar as well to win. Winks, distance, and Frankel's insane talent. Super Skills, you pretty much hit it on the nail. I really feel like he's a combination of all of those horses. And I think he came from two originals. You stood in the way on purpose to win. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't race like that. I really can't. It, it would it would feel it would feel so odd to me. I only do it when I really want to get the win in this game because the AI just will not move or budge. Um, have I played champion? Jo yeah, I have played champion jockey. I suck at it. Um, and I yeah, but I've played nothing else on the Wii. I played no horse racing games on the Wii actually. So Candy Pop will get her in another race. She is uh, three for two right now. She's three for two. She's looking great. Sixty. We gotta get see if we can get her on the dirt. Um, there's, uh, Sunrise is about the best for her. Okay. Run of the grade two Sunrise. That's fine. Did you see Saudi Cup, Eric? Yeah, I did. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty decent race for sure. Yeah, this is the PS1, uh, Smith. On F1 2021, I will fully tear off the AI's front wing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are outrageous. <laughs> you guys are outrageous. Yeah. F1, I really do try to race as cleanly as possible. I, I really, really do. And all of my uh, racing simulators I play. F1, 2021. Um, GT Sport, the Gran Turismo series is definitely my favorite. I, I've been playing a set of Corsa more. Set of Corsetta. Set of Corsa. Yeah, Champion Jockey is very technical. It's much harder than Gallup Racer. It's not even close. Plastic Cup, long shot here today. Dirt doesn't do well for him. That's fine. Dubai World Cup, I don't really have a horse in that race. Not yet. 
But yeah, I will be linking my racing, like my Formula One channel, um, both channels, my gaming channel and my discussion channel. I'll be linking that at the end of the stream, just in case any of you that are into Formula One want to go ahead and show some love. Tough field, yeah. Plastic Cup is getting all these tough fields. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Dubai World Cup is this Saturday. I see. Plastic Cup, I got to get him to the front. Look how hard I have to run him at full speed just to get him to the front. It's outrageous, bro. He's already lost two bars of stamina that quickly. It's nothing I can do. He's in the blue, but like that's the best I can do. Now, his guts are terrible, so I guess winning... You know what? Because we have no expectations, I'm going to start him earlier. But watch how much he taps out. Watch how he taps out if I do. I'm going to get him going now. I'm getting him going, but there's no fight. There's no fight. Now, he's not really a dirt horse anyway, so he's just going to drop. He's going to drop. And there goes Plastic Cup. In fact, what? there's no... We're just going to let him ride on through. Take it nice and easy. Yeah, life is good. I'm gonna have to look at that field again. But yeah, I couldn't even yeah, I couldn't give you a horse right now. Huh, that's fine. We have no expectations. You have Hot Rod Charlie. Hot Rod Charlie is in that field. Yeah. I didn't like Hot Rod Charlie at first. I felt like he was too much of a bandwagon horse that everybody just jumped on. But I think he's actually proven his worth. And look at Cosmosis. Heavy favorite in the Colt Cup. I mean, this horse is too... He's too good right now. He's too good. And again, keep in mind, he's not at his peak. He still has two more years. A year and a half. No, nah, Super Skills, I didn't see that. <laughs> plastic cup getting blown out of the field blown out by the field like an actual cup in the wind that is about the best analogy of plastic cup right yeah i, I kind of want hot rod to win I i'm starting to see why people liked him in the beginning for the derby i don't have anyone yet for the derby i, I really want to do a little bit more research I, I always bet on the derby so until i know who i'm gonna bet on i um i usually don't say yet at least who i'm leaning towards yet I'll be doing my research probably this weekend just to see. Cult Cup for Cosmosis, guys. Let's go. Good start. Got Forbidden Kingdom for the Derby. Okay. Cosmosis, he gets out well, and I don't need to do anything else. Like, this is fine. Just waiting until he gets into the blue. Probably need to have him a little bit higher, maybe? Yep. Yeah, okay. And I love where we're at. I love this position. This is great. This is great. This is pretty ideal for Cosmosis. Oh, that's a different angle. Okay. Checkpoint! You made the checkpoint! Okay. Oh, give me back. Give me back. Here we go. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, there we go. Cosmos is look at this speed. Oh, this horse. This horse is like a Bob Baffert horse. Now, who is still challenging us on the outside? Somebody was still hanging with us. You can't roll with Cosmosis, bro. You don't understand. This is a champion in the making. Cosmosis gets it done. You should do a Derby Day stream. Yeah, I'm going to. I think I did the Kentucky Derby stream two years ago. Let's go, Cosmosis. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> You're fast. No kidding. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The point. The point with Cosmosis. What an absolute monster. Give him the nice little rub. The nice little pat down. <laughs> Look at Cosmosis. What a stud, man. What a stud. He's not even an eight furlong horse, bro. Not even close. Let's, we have to watch that back. Insanity. Four from four. Yeah, Cosmosis may go unbeaten. Like, like Abigail said, have to breed him with the monster broodmare. We could mess up the line if we don't. And we don't have a broodmare. Candy Pop, if she continues to do well, Candy Pop could develop into a pretty solid broodmare for him. Or I'll have to buy one once we get enough money. Amazing. Cosmo Gal, his mother, Goose Army, his father, they have created an absolute monster of a horse, man. Can we say Cosmosis is turning into... I would love for Cosmosis. He's cheating. <laughs> Not even. 
Cosmosis is like on secretariat levels of just domination right now, honestly. That's a G1 in a distance he's not even supposed to be running in. And he blows it out of the water. I mean, Cosmo Gal was great. She won eight races. Goose Army only won seven, but he was rated 107. He had really strong speed. Look at Cosmosis. It's not even a question. He's just, he's gone. He's gone. And the thing is, keep in mind, he has great stamina. Don't neglect it. As great as his speed is, he also has pretty high stamina in the low to mid 80s. That helps out a lot in this game, man. It really does. A horse with above average, and I mean like good stamina, that helps out quite a lot. You have really good stamina, above average, with a good speed rating. It's a wrap. You're racing on a horse right now that has 92 speed. That's awesome. Good stuff. Oh, wow. Cosmosis. 111. With a touch of Sea Biscuit. That little horse was a scrappy little horse. Yeah, Sea Biscuit was very scrappy. So, again, let's go ahead and look at Cosmosis. I love Sea Biscuit, by the way. I like that movie, too. Cosmosis, 88 speed figure. Clearly, he's going to hit 90. Keep in mind, he's not going to be at his best until he's four years old. Four star guts rating as well. So, he's very gutsy. He's not going to give up, even if he is challenged. 82 turf rating for stamina. He has the stamina, and he's 88 for speed. Already over 14,000. He's four for four. Could Cosmosis win Horse of the Year? I mean, I think he should, but knowing this game, they'll rob me. Be like, ah, Cosmosis, he's good, but he's not that good. So, like, you know what? Go kick rocks. How about that? Go kick rocks without sandals. Because Cosmosis is amazing. Six and nine furlongs on the turf. For Cinder's Ashes will be his last race. I need to save. We've made too much good progress now. Just got to be in the habit of doing that. How's that turn of foot like? Chautauqua. The burst is insane. Do yourself a favor and watch some highlights of that horse when you have the time. Yeah. I know she's Cosmosis Hall of Fame or High Hall of or Horse of the Year. Blah. I can't even read right. Yeah, I agree with you, Super Skills. I have seen uh, Chautauqua race. She, she was pretty insane. But um, it's been a while. He might not get Horse of the Year, but might get two-year-old. Yeah, yeah, Rage. I have not watched Dreamer. What's that about, Marcos? All right, Cinder's Ash is up. Nine furlongs, post position nine. Blah. But we are the favorite, so let's try to get the win. Okay. Oh, what is going on here? Okay. Now, because we're already on the outside, I'm just going to keep centers to the outside, probably. Oh, getting some frame rate droppage here. I don't know why. Hold on. Okay, sounds interesting. I'll have to give it a watch. I have not watched that movie, no. Sounds sounds like a good watch. Checkpoint. Rock my heart. I haven't seen that one. Sloth guy, what's going on? Alright, Sinner's Ash. Uh have to get you in prime. Getting frame rate droppage. Don't know why. Might be time to call the stream after these last couple of races. We'll see. Let's go, Cinders. Run them down, brother. Run them on down. Uh, any resistance? No. 12 can't keep up with us. That's going to be a very, very easy win. Cinders Ash. Let's go. Outside of Plastic Cup, all of our originals that we just... Um, created and did with breeding they're, they're, they're doing pretty phenomenal yeah marcos i got you don't worry I, I will definitely give it a give it a watch kim rice hello the big race is the breeders cup yeah mra 78 welcome everybody Sinner's ash good win open win easy open win we were the favorite should have won that anyways Oh, man. 
Fine Saints up in the Sprinters. We have a chance. We have a chance. We're going to have to run this really well. But we definitely have a chance. I mean, Arctic Crop is going to be tough to beat. Arctic Crop's a tough horse in this game. I mean, he's pretty tough in most of the other games. He's not terrible. Odd Sweeper. Huh. Yeah, this is going to be pretty... Uh, this could be tough with Arctic Crop and Odd Sweeper in the field. Let's see. Okay, good start. Good start. Really good start. Fine Saint. The only non-original still left out of the other uh, horses, but... Uh, Yeah, where is Odd Sweeper? That's why I want to keep my eye on. I, I can recognize Arctic Crop from a mile away, so. Unless he looks a little bit different in this game. Let me see. Where is Arctic? Arctic. Okay, he's to the rail, yeah, I was going to say. I'm like, where are you? Got to go now. Need that gap. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Arctic Crop. He's coming. He's coming. Arctic Crop is coming, man. I don't know. Yeah, Arctic Crop is gone. He's gone. He's going to be... Yeah. Ugh. That's fine. Has Cosmosis value changed? He's 111 now. Arctic Crop in three different Gallup Racer games? Yeah. He's really a solid horse overall. He's definitely not near the, the best horses, but he he's a tough value horse to have. It's not a bad showing for... Uh, Fine, same. We, I mean, we were supposed to finish third. We finished exactly where we were. Um, Odd Sweeper didn't do well at all, but Arctic Crop, if you get that horse going. Kendrick, no worries. Appreciate you stopping by. Go and get your rest. I won't probably be uh, live too much longer. I'm hungry. I've been eating all day. Cosmosis is uh, worth... I mean, he's very expensive. In this game, he's almost close to 300 k in worth. You want to play that race so dirty? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I could have, but that just... That wouldn't feel right. That doesn't feel like a... That doesn't feel like a deserving win if you go and block the horse, personally. Jello Cello. I have been live... Oh, I don't know. Five hours at this point? Four? Well, well over four. Well over four. Uh, who was I going to look at? Yeah, Cosmosis. Uh, Cosmosis is worth 285000 in this game. I want him to at least get a two-year-old award. I think he deserves that. All right, last race with Candy Pop. And that'll probably be how we end the year, actually. It's a grade two for Candy Pop. It's a field of 12. She's not the favorite. But she's sitting right outside the favorite. Expected to finish second. Uh, we got to get a good start with her. And hopefully the favorite with that wide draw at post position 10. Hopefully Grave Factor runs into a little bit of trouble. And being a closer as well, I'm hoping that horse kind of gets stuck behind traffic. You were in school and the notification popped up? Yeah. All right. Let's, um, let's get this going. Yeah, he should get the two-year-old award for sure. Horse of the year would be amazing, but I don't know. Because we only ran in one grade one, so. As long as I get two-year-old, I'm fine. He has to get two-year-old Colt. I can't imagine they would rob him of that. Great start for Candy Pop. Love the Blue Gates. And we're off and running here in the sunrise with Candy Pop. Okay, got to keep her to the front. Keep her to the front. No, 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 no. no. Stay to the front. Okay. Stay to the front. You're okay. Okay, she's okay. You lost on a horse with 92 speed? It happens. Later, Kendrick. Speed isn't a determining factor to win in horse racing games. You still got to have everything else play out with the rest of the horse. A horse is 316 and 1. As far as the odds, yeah, the, the odds in this game are pretty ridiculous. Like, when they're long shots, they are really long shots. Now, Candy Pop, we're, we're closed in here, so I'm going to have to really get her ready to rock and roll. Let's strike. Oh, the inside frees up. The rail just opened up for us. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, the seven. That's the favorite, ain't it? That's got to be the favorite. No, is that the favorite? I don't know, but whoever that is. Yeah, I think that was the favorite. He'll be a dominant three-year-old and almost certainly horse of the year next year. Yeah. You still need the stamina? Yeah. Candy Pop definitely still needs the stam. For surely. I'm pretty sure 
No, Gray Factor was the favorite. Fair Ruin, not even in the money. Okay. Her stamina was 87. Who's? The horse that you're talking about, uh, Kelly? Play Starter's Orders? Yeah, I'm going to give that game another shot. But keep in mind, if you're watching, don't expect great gameplay. Like That game is very, very in-depth. That game is the most in-depth game on PC and or console for horse racing. So it's going to take me still a while to really get pretty decent at that game even on the easiest difficulty it's it's very overwhelming the abundance of information so it's gonna take a while ah, i got you okay okay fast navy cosmic fear turf horse dirt horse 120 120 nice or neck or a lack from fast navy and cosmic fear all right we'll get there eventually Cosmosis does get best two-year-old colt. Okay. Horse of the year. No. Stern liquor. The same. That that was expected. See you, Kendrick. Best sprinter was Odd Sweeper. But Cosmosis gets two-year-old colt. That's really all I wanted. Everybody else, pretty... It's like always the same horses that win these awards. The worst horse I have won was Only Ocean on uh, grade one in 2003. It was 43 to... Or 41 to 3. Wow. Or 41 to 1, I'll say. Cosmosis gets a two-year-old award. We finish eighth, or no, excuse me, sixth for jockey standings. Uh, eventually, once we have a whole bunch of horses like Cosmosis, we'll be able to win the jockey ranking, but I'm not really concerned about that. Yeah, Rage, you did call it. All right, so what a year. Nobody's even ready to run, so I think that's probably a good part, a good point to stop the stream because I am really hungry. A cosmosis what a year what a horse already as a two-year-old had a phenomenal two-year-old season and uh, like i said he's still got a whole nother year to develop everybody really did well i mean plastic cup winning a race was still unexpected and this horse is he's still developing he's still developing uh, he's still very tricky to work with but plastic cup still for what it's worth not terrible great stuff for cosmosis so happy for this horse man you get best two-year-old colt. Cannot believe it. So we're going to have to make sure, like I said, we breed him with a monster mare. We will. Candy Pop. I would like to breed him with Candy Pop because look at her speed. 84, 86. Her stamina is not great. That's the only liability. And her guts rating isn't good neither. So I might need to actually. But her price. I mean, her cost is 121K as well. She's a pretty costly horse. So I think Candy Pop and Cosmosis could be really good if she turns out well. Will he ever improve enough to run on dirt? Prob it's tricky because his speed on dirt is terrible. So I wouldn't dare. It would be tricky. He has His stamina for dirt is really good, but he only has a 53 speed rating. So it's like that. that's confusing. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know how, how he would do on dirt. I, I don't think I'm ever going to try it, to be honest. Not unless like he hits his peak and then he's not dominating as much. I think that would be the time to try him on dirt. But while he's still growing while he's still developing I, i'm not going to risk it i'll do it like after he he's clearly peaked and we can then kind of just play around with him i think candy pop and cosmosis could be really strong if candy pop continues to develop because at this rate her dirt rating will hit 100 as well she's not going to hit her peak until another year and a half and again she has really good speed the stamina isn't great but i think it would balance out and then her guts isn't great but i think her and cosmosis would actually be really solid. That's what I'm hoping. Unless we can buy a Philly that's better. Like, We'll look in the shop right quick. Not going to buy into one now. We don't even have that much money. Easy traffic. 121k. Oh, look at that stamina. Easy traffic would be perfect for those really long distance races. But, uh, you think laundry basket will be better than plastic cut? Maybe. Yeah, until he loses, like on turf, if he does, we're not going to run him on dirt. Yeah, we got to keep the unbeaten streak alive, for sure. 100%. Yeah, I would love to have easy traffic, but, eh. I actually need to be looking at the Phillies. Oh, Scabbit, no! Scabbit is here! She's going to be gone! Oh, Scabbit is here! I don't have the money for her. I'd have to... Wait a second. I'd have to sell an original to get Scabbit. But, like, who would I sell? Nobody... Wait... Wait, 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 wait. 
Who can I find? Saint. I still need to keep. Cosmosis. I mean, of course. Nope. Cosmosis, Candy Pop, Cinder's Ash. Plastic Cup is the only horse I would sell. And he's only worth 13000 We would be 3K short of buying Scabbit. Oh, what do I do, man? Because, okay, it's January. We have 44K. If I sell Plastic Cup... Scabbit's a really great filly, man. Scabbit was great for us in 2004. And look at that leg. She can run anywhere on the track. And she's four stars on average. Buy Plastic Cup Glue Factory. So, sell. Okay, we're going to sell Plastic Cup. I mean, we did that for, for laps anyways. And we're going to try to get Scabbit. I'll still need to, I think, race one time. Um, yes. No. Only 1200 I thought I could get more for him. Oh, that's a bummer. I thought I was going to get way more for him. Apparently not. Well, that certainly doesn't help. <laughs> oh, crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. I thought I was going to get way more. I forget. I guess that's just the value, not actually what you get when you sell them. Ah, oh, bummer, dude. Bummer, bummer. No scabbit. It's not meant to be. Ah, oh, she would have been great. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, are there any gems here? Wing Shark? Has anybody heard of this horse? Five-star breaking, five-star conditioning. Race with Cosmo so you, so you make sure you get the money. Yeah, if there was a grade one this month, I could do that if the prize pool... But the, the prize... That's the thing. The grade one biggest prize pool is like 13K. Wing Shark, she's okay, but she's going to peak anyway. She's not worth it. Yeah, Spy Chatter, what are you about? Eh, speed sucks. Easy Master. I'm just looking to see if these horses are any good. Night Breeze? I thought about Night Breeze Super Skills. Um, Fast Spurt, 8 to 12 Furlongs. I mean, our stats are a little bit above average. 4-star Guts, 4-star Breaking. She's already going to peak. Nah. Nope. I don't think any of these horses are going to be worth it. Unfor Vivid Carol. Slow spurt. Speed is awful. Late developing. Nah. Um. Let me actually see if there's any races available. I mean, nobody can run anyways. Like they're they're all pretty fatigued. We've been racing them. We've been racing them pretty hard in some competitive races, like back to back. So nobody's even in condition. Yeah, I, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I, I'm not gonna buy anyone now. I, I would just. I was curious. I saw Scab and I'm like, oh, can I get her? It's clearly not even meant to be. So so that's fine. No big deal. All right, guys. With that being said, we will be wrapping up the live stream here. Awesome stream. Awesome stream. Really appreciate you guys. Had a lot of fun here today. Thank you for all of the support and, of course, the suggestions for the names. Thank uh, all of our originals, I think. Plastic Cup, I mean, yeah, got rid of him. I, I didn't want to deal with a horse with that wanted to run in the front and had that stamina anyways. It reminded me of like a horse in I think 2003 that we were dealing with that had a similar issue. I don't want to deal with horses like that. When will I try iHorse Arcade? What is that? For my mobile videos? Is that a new game? I haven't heard of that. But yeah, we're stuck with three originals and then Fine Saints. So uh, next live stream, I'll have to wait. Like I said, I'm getting new Wi-Fi. I don't know when they'll be here. They, they're never here when they're supposed to be. So whenever that gets installed and everything, I'll, I'll try to live stream again. Yeah, Scabbit would have been great for breeding. She really is a great broodmare. That's why I really wanted her. But it's fine. It's fine. Well, well, we really need to stack up our money. I would like to try to stack up our money. Why is special pool so much? 94? Okay, very fast spurt. Guts. Oh, gosh. Special. Good stamina. She would be a good one, too, but we can't get her. And she doesn't really have a major drop-off until she's like 6 and 7. It's fine. We'll stack our money. It came out last year. I horse. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. I shall give it a check. 
Yes, Jello, for sure. For sure. Like I said, I will be live streaming more regularly as soon as I get my new Wi Fi and internet all set up. Expect another Gallup Racer 3 live stream. Maybe Starter's Orders as well. Uh, Starter's Orders are so overwhelming. Live streaming may actually be a little bit intimidating for me <laughs> until I get really comfortable with that game. But honestly, I think streaming this is really fun. It's simple to set up, it's really easy. I think this works the best. Special Fool is good, yeah. It's really hard to earn money in this game. Like, you need consistent grade one horses, and you need to win grade ones or big grade twos consistently to really earn a lot of money. That's the only that's the only issue. Those horses are way overpriced, and it's hard to earn money. It's not impossible, but it is difficult. But again, that's going to do it. Appreciate you guys' love and support as always. I will see you all next time for the next stream or the next video I upload, uh, whatever that may be. Um, I'm not sure. But again, had really a lot of fun with you guys here today. And uh, we will be doing this again here very soon, as soon as I get my Wi-Fi up. Appreciate you all. I am signing out. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and your week. And I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.